so like over the top. They just said, here, why don't you have a amulet like you find at first level that has the Bless cantrip on it. Yeah, like, so you don't even need to build a cleric. Yep. Well, and one of the starting characters is a cleric, the one that you get right yeah. away. Yep. And I'm laughing because, you know, there's a scene when you're like tackled and you're being held down at knife point and you have to escape and you can use guidance. So I just envisioned the cleric there watching this guy about to rip your head off or cut your throat going, eh, guidance. <laughs> not, I'm going to stop him, not right. guidance. <laughs> Go and <laughs> help him. <laughs> Yeah, you can roll out of that, I'm sure of it. Yeah, yeah. Tapas. Dr. like, the first time I did it, I rolled a one on that. I had like a character with an 18 strength, and I rolled a one and died. Uh, well, yes. yeah, that's, that's D&D. Welcome to the game. Well, that should be D&D. More often, it's like, yeah. I rolled a one. Okay, he cuts your throat. You take four points take of four damage. four points of damage. Stupid, like, yeah. yeah, real D&D, four points kills you, so it's okay. Yeah, you're a wizard. We yeah, talked about. Well, hey, any, you could be in anything in original D&D because you rolled the die. In original, you yes. Could, well, even AD&D. AD&D, I was going to say, You could roll I one actually, for your hit points as a fighter. No, I specifically, so it didn't even matter that, that I rolled my hit points for it. I was playing, a friend of mine That's said he was going to run AD&D. Huh. This was about, I don't know, four or five years ago. Just bring up advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And I made it, I made it. I think they'll be good today. Remember that, that's, 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 that's nice. nice. Well, so, um, well, well, that's original D&D. So I mean, well, it is original D&D was a class. A I know, I know, because I played a dwarf. And that was it. Just that was original D&D. So, uh, so we, we came up, and it was it was just four of us, and we came into this room. It was a dungeon, and we came to this room, and there were. I want to say there were six goblins. Oh, you're dead. We died. We absolutely unless, died. Unless you got eight to ten characters, Six goblins, dead. four of us, dead. One on dead. one. <laughs> we're just absolutely They clean. They did a test. In an original D&D, yeah. &D, yeah. a first level character, yeah. fighter, dwarf, elf, the yeah. stand-up yeah, characters, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and a goblin's about an even match. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Six so, goblins, they, they, they so cleaned So six our goblins clocks. will wipe yeah. out most parties. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Or the wizard will use his once a day sleep spell. Right. Or her once a day sleep right, spell. Right, right. You know what I don't knock miss? them all out and you cut all the throats and then you leave because your right. wizard's out of spells. You exactly. know what I don't miss about first and second edition? Thaco. Mm -hmm. See, I loved Thaco. See, I played original D and D in first edition, so Thaco was a gift. Oh yeah. <laughs> because original and it's it's a chart. Yep. Yep. Correct. And it is not. It's not always a lit, completely linear chart. So you had to have the chart. So you would write down your character sheet, your two hits for all the different armor classes. Because that was the only way to know. Yep. There was no Thaco. The way, uh, so Thaco so was an absolute gift. So you're saying before Thaco was worse? Oh, and never. Before Thaco, you just had it. So it was a D20. So, so your weapon. argument against like getting your leg chopped off is before that, you'd get both legs chopped well, off. Well, yeah. I'm not saying mm -hmm. Thaco is it's better that than that now. He was saying that then Thaco was It's a not better than now, but it is a lot better than before Thaco. Because it's true. Because, oh, yeah. back then, if you had an infection in your foot, they cut both your legs off. Now they figured out you only have to cut one of them. Like, it's wonderful. <laughs> We're <laughs> very happy about <laughs> these rules. That is fair. I mean, yeah. Well, I will say what's fun is I've been reading my original first edition books. I've been reading all of my role playing books in alphabetical order. I'm at A still. But Fiend Folio, the monsters in that, some of the ones which have shown up there and never come back, mm -hmm. and some of the ones like Mephits that have become a thing. Mm -hmm. Still through fifth edition, and it's kind of funny. Yeah, it is. Because they were first introduced in Fiend Folio. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, there is pizza over there. Help yourselves. Also, I have energy drinks on my fridge on the other side of the basement. If anybody drinks those things, you're welcome to them. Because I no longer drink them because I don't drink the caffeine like that. So uh, I normally don't. That time shift. I have caffeine once a week. I'm like uh, not a lot. while. This is my caffeine. All right, so <laughs> roll for recap. All right. Michael, you have to roll too. Okay. Shit. Okay. It's a D12, right? Well. D12, yeah. <laughs> An eight. We got to roll off. Wow. <laughs> what do you get? You want to roll? You want to roll? I got ones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you get? Ha. Twice as high as him. <laughs> Ooh, nine. Three nine. Here. <laughs> All right. How many times are we going to roll off? Three. <laughs> oh, you could have got another three. It would have been funnier. It would have been funny. I guess I win. Mm -hmm. Oh, you win. <laughs> okay, where's your name? What happened you to you? You knocked it off. It's, it's, uh, it's right there. Oh, no, probably hey, probably Luke, died. you have the uh, multicolored... Uh, I watched it. Luke does have oh, those. Yeah. We do. Yeah, yeah. Can you get those uh, yep. Yep. exploration ah. things out, please? Okay. Also, I need a, I need a condition card. Four yeah, wounded? Drained. 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 I don't know that anyone's left wounded because you had time to treat. Which so I assume I don't remember drain. Wounds. I'm just gonna take a look at it. I don't 
I don't know how drained goes away. And you just got it, so it's not going to matter. Yeah. I think it was a long matter. Drained is when you regain hit points by resting for eight hours, your drain value is reduced by one. So tomorrow. Yep. So I sold all of those old, all of those tools from my old. How many should we have? Five cards. Vocation that I did. And uh, I, I got a little retail therapy in the last two weeks. <laughs> I bought a new pen. Yeah. And, and, and this. <laughs> the cards got mixed up. <laughs> yeah, they did. That's because somebody put them away and last time. And I organized them. Here. We're going to find out who's responsible for that. Side. It probably is me. The, the other fast fighter group? In color of red. The other fast <laughs> fighter group. <laughs> 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 There's another set. Does anybody still need a set? I thought I was already out. There's one more set, which is this one. I'm going to see if it's in the Because, I mean, I, I don't need a set. down in or something. It's called We're just short one card. Because I made an extra set last year. Because I thought we also did not have enough. I think we technically have an extra set. We're short one card. Writing them down, I have this idea that comes up. That's what we're missing. Does anybody have an extra card? I just got an extra card. Check out the set, which is fine for right now, but we should find out. I did have a question, though. A scalp card? Yeah. Is it uncommon or something? It is uncommon. Yes. Yes. There we go. So the downside of the Dampier is. What page is it? That's fine. Advanced Player's Guide. I know you're the only one. No, but good to have. It's uh, Skylar actually has three different ones out. They're just hard to transport, so I didn't bring them. Right, right, right. Is this, up, is this session 20? I assume he comes with the clothes. I think so. I don't sure. Know. No, oh. he comes naked. What? Yeah. Oh, shit. You could play the Boulder State. Where does it say that it's uncommon? Oh, yep, uncommon. Okay. Yes, this is 20. That's what XP we have now. Then we have a red Are you getting a uh, ruling on. 230 exactly. Uncommon ancestries? No, I'm all of them. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Uh, I know it was right about What there. about uncommon classes? Probably uncommon. Yeah, I got it in here too. Oh, two of them? I'm being very specific yeah. as it goes along with the character yeah. concept. Oh yeah, I did 230. Yeah, just oh, like the, in the, in the, the Guns and Gears, there's an uncommon uh, gunslinger. It's the spell sniper. Yeah, Anybody want to confirm with me that I'm right about the XP we're at? Um, say said, uh, Tara said 230 as well, so. Yeah. Okay. So damn fear is like a, is that like a... It's like a half vampire. Half vampire. Yeah. Yeah. Half vampire, so you take the first ancestry is like human or elf. You select your ancestry. Yep. Okay. And yeah. then Mars you select like damn fear over top of it. Of so it's like half speed, elf, right? half orc. As far as I know, right. I mean, check with the GM, but mm -hmm. I think so. Sorry? Yeah, okay. it's like a half orc, half elf, yeah. as, you know. And ASMR, any of those. The real thing. The real you thing pick a base and then you make it a damn is yep. It gets Beast one camp. level of light vision yeah, and small. it also gets reverse healing. So it counts as an undead creature. Oh, so you won't be healed by healing spells. Won't won't be healed but by harm you. spells do heal you. Yeah, yeah but harm spells That would be interesting. <laughs> so he's basically yeah, playing Grim with, he, with harm instead of heal. Makes my neck exactly. a little bit better now. Yeah. Oh. Uh, not that I... This is why I don't play good characters in this party anymore. Because there's really no point to it. Because I mean, nobody plays you know. good parties in this. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure, a I'm a good guy. No, so I think, so I think at this point, let's just do a general ruling. We've been playing for about a year now, so I think okay. we're, I think we're, I, I'm okay with uncommon stuff like okay. um, classes, ancestries are yeah. fine. Okay, okay. Um, not necessarily weapons and stuff like that. And, and spells get a little weird. And spells get a little yeah. weak, not spells and stuff. We're, we're strictly to talking sure. about ancestries and classes. Okay. Excellent. I'll have to change my backup. Yeah, I might change mine too. Because, uh, 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 yeah, uh, gun, Gunslayer is what I wanted to play. Spell Sniper, uh, Gunslayer. The uncommon like backgrounds are usually a one up over a regular background. Gunslayer, dude, you can um, have your so gun come out of your. Out of your arm, out to the get more point. More point more powerful. They're slightly more powerful, but they often have like restrictions or something up. with them to go with. But one of the biggest restrictions, use, usually, of the uncommon heritage is like what he's playing is the the, um, the the social aspect, right? He can't like he, people are gonna like, not uh, interact with him or like him at all. Like he looks like a background. And he can't be healed by positive. Right, exactly. But there's just there's a lot of a lot of them fall to social. It's the same thing as like the 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 tiefling in general. Where people yeah. socially are like, you're weird. But like you can be an ASMR, which has the other effect. Uh, the other eye, exactly. 
I was trying to that's, find a class. That, yeah, the, the social the social aspect of that is going to be difficult because yeah. in Ebron in general, there is just mostly a wide acceptance of most sure. races. You know, um, even Damfear, like undead, maybe not so much that, but right. almost anything else. Even you know, that, they're not that much more potent than anything. No, they're not exactly. It's not like they're they're. They heavily, usually just have a different flavor. Heavily imbalanced. They're not. Yeah. But I've I, seen playing it was they just have. I, a different I think flavor. it's okay. I was trying to find a race that I could reskin as a panda. I think I think it's fine. <laughs> I, I think it's okay. <laughs> I mean, they're in one of the the main books. They're not like yeah, one of the yeah, like yeah, one of the like beast candy weird yeah. like yeah. adventure <laughs> only <laughs> race. Yeah. Like those yeah. are yeah. adventure path. I want to do. No, I don't. <laughs> Let me, I do want to be clear about something, guys. I don't want to use the things from the adventure paths. Yeah, ever. I agree. I agree. It needs to be in a I agree. book. Those because are right too... now, look at right now, we're playing Abomination Vaults, yeah. and oh my gosh, we're like every time we're into a battle, we're just basically like questioning like game design philosophy on that thing. Yeah, yeah. So like, I've I don't told want, it's pretty brutal, but I, I, don't, I don't want anything from adventure paths. Yeah, so makes core, sense. core books, uncommon stuff, you know, races, classes, and backgrounds are fine. All right. So, sure all my here's the recap. Stuff. Trolls. Too many trolls. Bad trolls. Trolls hurt everybody. Trolls hurt Gabby's friends. Trolls almost kill Krabby. But trolls die. Krabby okay. Party sleeps. Come back. Grimshaw finds secret door. Grimshaw finds Mir. Mir almost killed Grimshaw. Pretty funny. Then Mir almost kills Say. Even funnier. <laughs> then we're done. <laughs> Cover mirror, hide mirror on ground, steal magic items but not look at because they like mirrors, and go away. And Grimshaw, not, not banish ghost. Not yet. Hmm. Grimshaw failed. Grimshaw Grimshaw failed ghost failed beat up ghost. Grimshaw. <laughs> that was about it. And we know we have to deal. We know at some point <laughs> we have to deal. a pretty straightforward session. We have to deal with that. I don't know, that's why it's lasted for weeks. Mm -hmm. Copy make cool table. Hours at least, if not weeks. Was it one, one? The fight felt like oh, it lasted hours, if not weeks. Oh, the fight lasted a month at least. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably not feel like himself. It was a, a long fight, but it was an enjoyable fight. Or just that, yeah. We were literally in it. All right, sweet. So you guys are right now in this room right here. You've just gotten some loot. The mirror is faced down in here, and you're yeah. loitering in this room. Mark, come um, There are, on this level still, there is a door you haven't gone through here. It looks like there's a passageway here that's not been explored. And then there's one here. And then way back up here, there's one up here. And you guys have found that there's a couple up here, too. And stairs down there. And then the stairs down one. here that were guarded by some horrible creature that almost turned one of you to stone. You might like gems of no great value. Yeah. One more question. Uh, did, did Marv didn't get that XP, did he? Yeah, did everybody gets it. Yeah. Okay. Everybody gets it. Everybody okay. gets it. So what's the XP? Two thirty. Two thirty total. Okay. Two thirty total. And Marv suddenly comes back. <laughs> Just walks in. Mm -hmm. Probably teleported back in, and the wizard, the sorcerer, gets teleported out. Yeah. Krabby gives Marv a big hug. Krabby <clears throat> miss Marv. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Marv, easier to hide behind. <laughs> Wizard, I, I was, the stars are small. I was really I upset. Like, I, I was are hoping none of you guys, guys, like, you're calling were gone-gone. Gone. <laughs> we got close, but we're good. The one who replaced Marv. Hard to hide behind. Marv, good to hide behind. I <laughs> love Marv. Choo -choo. All right. Go back so, to the door off troll room. So, there's this haunted mirror. Probably not do haunted. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess Krabby. Krabby some years, but not here. So, how do you think we should get rid of this? Why? Or, or we could probably sell the mirror. No, leave mirror. No. Oh. Why care? Have treasure. No need mirror. Well, let's try it. So we go back to troll room and go down other troll door. Yeah. Seems like a good call. So you guys want to go south through this door here? Yeah. Oh, I need... Uh, can everybody find the languages they speak, please? Oh, yeah, it's probably my action. Right? Common and under. Don't... Under common. Oh, no, no, this is not right? I'm just going to take it. Valkyrie. Oh, yeah. I changed it. 
Yeah, yep. No clear. Under comments. Yeah, it's like, turns out everyone speaks the same language as I do. Can I trade all my languages in? Can I retrain my languages? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, that's going to take six months. Or mm -hmm. Sylvan and okay, Shadow. Okay, six months downtime. No other options. Six months. That can, six that can months. spell learning tree. What? Okay. Um, everybody speaks common, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Last time I checked. Okay. Uh, sort of. Um, speaks Marvel, common. what do you speak? Orcish, Sylvan, and Utopian. Orc. Sylvan, Utopian is not a thing. That's probably going to be Celestial. Uh, it's, it's the Atomaton language. It's the Atomaton language. That's Warforged. Warforged okay. wouldn't have their own language. Okay. Fine. Uh, we'll just, since your heritage allows another language, though, you're, you're welcome to pick one of your choice. Undercommon. Okay, so Delk here. I'll speak Delk here now. Yeah. I don't. Not me. Okay, Simu. <laughs> uh, Delk here in common. Okay. The rest of this campaign is not going to happen underneath the ground now. I know, right? <laughs> Sela. Uh, I got common and dwarven. I was expecting to be a little more uncommon. Krabi. Uh, dwarven, oh. elven, goblin, orcish, and delkir. Oh, it's lower. Dwarven, elven, elven, goblin, goblin, orcish. Got it. Delkir. Delkir. Okay, cool. Oh, he's prepared. Exactly what everyone else speaks. Grimshaw. <laughs> Orc and common. What do you speak? Everything's going to be in Draconic. Part of oh. me. Uh, common and Goblin. Nobody, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us have more hint than others. <laughs> nobody, nobody speaks Draconian. Uh, can I actually change that Dalk here to Draconic? Sure. Totally meta gaming, but can I do that? While I'm Orc, I was technically raised by... By dragons? Well, no, Sylvan Gerbils. And oh. I, I also speak Sylvan because I, you know, I want to have the greatest diversity. As long as you walk around with like things filling your cheek pouches at all times. I, I mean, that's really yep. how you, like, how you, how you know. Yeah. So it's mostly tobacco. Right? That's a few languages. How else yeah. are you gonna speak Sylvan? I don't Which have cheeks. Is, uh, Literally, there's language. little speaker boxes <laughs> under yeah. both sides of my jaw. He speaks a few. It's my background. So. Speaking languages is good. And there's a little, a little oh, like, like, what, like. Kit in inside the car where it's the the volume levels Ooh. bumping up and down. It's basically a single one of those for my mouth. But you have a so you guys right, are opening right, that door leading yeah. south, correct? Well, I think we'll probably check for traps because that's what we do. You're checking Someone traps. else will check for traps. Okay, so we'll hold, that, hold on a second. Who's searching? Uh, Bartleby. Yeah. No, nope. you guys switch places. Mm -hmm. Grimshaw. There are no traps on that. Oh, that's like void noise, void noise. Somebody has to search. Uh, no traps? Close no the door. Trap. Well, in some traps you have to be trained in thievery to find, mm -hmm. so, or rather, I know, that's why I'm like, having one of us who's actually has thievery is not my I don't think you have to be trained in thievery. You might have to be like, Something. you have to be, yeah. I think be trained or expert in perception. All right, you that's told us before we had to be in thievery. No, I think it was trained in thievery to remove it. Maybe it's just to remove it, yes. Cool. I'll take that. That's yeah. You have to find it, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get you Secretly got me as a there is a long <laughs> corridor stretching down. At the very end of it, there is a door, and then there is a side passage leading off that way. Uh, let's, let's, try, uh, let's try the side passage. I agree with that. Copy good. I'm not going first. I agree with that. <laughs> Just minister for Grimjaw. So my wife, oh, uh, cause I my wife stole my character sheet. Did we get healing for all of those who got horribly abused by the uh, mirror? Do we need to take a little oh, time to oh, do that? Is anybody, is anybody oh, like near death or anything? Yes. You were. I know oh, Say got I, hit. I don't know because I wasn't here exactly. If you got, I, I don't think we you have a to say we did. I have battle medicine and all that too. So. Right, of course. All right, we'll just need yeah. to treat wounds, but if we're yeah. going to take the time to do it, it's just before we wander into the fight mm -hmm. and find our Grimshaws at 15 hit points and says it too. I'm down yeah, 10 right now. I can tap you. I'll, I'll hit an expert. So we're going to take 10 minutes and run uh, the treat, treat wounds. Can two okay. people treat wounds on the same person? No, because no. you can treat wounds once per hour. I missed the expert. Oh, right, okay. But he can treat wounds. Can no. Two people. It was a two. He can treat two people at once, but unfortunately, that role, <laughs> somebody has ward medic. You can still treat two people at once. I can. Nice. Like half the group is a healer. But not when I roll. Really two. Uh, I'll treat I my I'll treat my own wounds. I can do that, right? Not yeah. if he already did. No, I didn't. Oh, he didn't. Okay. He was treating. Say, I don't know. He can just do two. 
I failed. So, yeah, it's a failure. Uh, so, uh, could I, uh, I could am fail. I able to try it if you fail? I think if you fail, <laughs> But it would take another 10 right? minutes, so. No? Either way, you're done. If, you've been, if treat wounds have been attempted and it succeed or fail, you're done and for an hour. I think I spent a leak. Guys, the blood yeah, keeps coming out more. Now, you, battle medicine has a totally different time where it could be used. Godless healing. Godless healing is better for treatment. Yeah, it's 10 minutes for treatment, I think. So if we kill another 10 minutes, we can try again. It's so, an attempt of medicine check to treat wounds that restore corresponding amount. This does not remove the wound condition. That's battle medicine, yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is the combat version. Well. Mm -hmm. That sucks because I missed that by one. I take five points of damage from my superior crit, healing work. Crit, crit failed himself, yeah. Crit failed healing himself. Well, we're just having a joy here. You this crit failed healing yourself. All right, so I got the needle. I'm, I'm going down. Ooh, ah, nose, just since okay. I was. And then I bind my nose to my belly button. Right, right, right. Can we, get our, can we get our hero points? Because, you know. Sounds like we might need them today. Uh, and oh. then. Oh, yes, your hero points. Last <laughs> one. That is up to you. I can wait 10 minutes. Oh, God, I missed this. Again. Come try 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 and then we're gonna, Joe, we're gonna oh. start you off with an awesome point. Alright, there you go. <laughs> is that for, is that for stitching my nose to my belly button? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that's uh, so just to make you, awesome. you know, behave. Oh, attempt to treat oh, yeah. or you <laughs> what? Because <laughs> now you can take away my awesome point. If you don't behave, I will. What? I am always. My final message is different. I always be. That's right. Oh, hey. Both needed healing, right? Yes. Did you make the crit Yes. Um, Except he did it to himself, so he can't help okay. it. Oh. 26 yeah. points of healing. Is there anybody else who's wounded? 26, and then I get an additional 5. Nope. Because yeah. so okay. just, just those two. Where are you at? Brings me back up to 40. And that is how much down? At a 68, 28, 28 down. 28. Alright. Manageable. Mm. I might even have a healing potion. I can pop too. Probably have healing potions. I'm out of healing potions. Yeah, I'll burn a first level heal on you. You sure? Yeah. So for 11 hit points. Um, thank you. And I'll burn one on you. Could you use another one? Yeah, I'm at 51 out of 60. I think we're good. Oh, so did I you saw find it your hotel for Gen Con? Oh, yeah. Did you get that straight up? I'm about a half an hour away, so it's not that big of a deal. Not too horrible. Nah, I'll just drive in. Yep. I didn't have any problem finding parking yep. in, in, near no. the state convention. And I've, I've actually never had trouble finding parking. Same thing, yeah. but it's the hotels a bitch. But yeah. Walking won't kill most people. Yeah, and a lot of you, and yeah, most of the time you end up walking everywhere. You know. God, the scene you can't have a vehicle. Other than from the hotel convention. The about the worst thing that could happen is is cosplaying in August heat and having that. to walk a ways. Yeah. I've done that. I've done that too. What's nice is at Gen Con at least is that everything's connected by that walkway. Yeah, most oh, of the stuff is all outside. Once you're there, yeah. yeah. So you really don't have to go Are outside. Are all of you guys going? Uh -huh. I am not this year. No, I'm not this year. It's a little too big. I went last I've never year. Been. I'd love to go back, but it was this just, year I have to. It was so much. Like you, you can't move. Like I've never been, so I would love to go. It's like, like, it's like when I get old, I want to take yeah. Theo to Gary Con and to Gen uh, okay. Con. Gen Con back when I went there for years and years was a lot of fun, and I still. I'm not saying it's not fun now, but it's like standing in a crowded subway everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. 
which is just too much. See, I didn't have too much trouble with that. I don't oh, do I crowds well. It's crazy. Only like twice do I remember being but stuck and feeling really crowded, but then Stephanie doesn't. I go outside a lot. She'll go to Comic so. Cons and stuff like that. We'll go to those. And she'll go to anime, but gaming conventions, she has no. Alright. Uh, down the left hall we go, and we arrive at. No desire. So you guys follow that hall for not too far, and it zigzags a little bit and comes to um, a dead end, a dead end in so much that the tunnel here has collapsed. Rock and rubble stands in front of you. Did you need a baby? I just know she didn't have one. Uh, completely, such that it's just utterly intraversible. Where is your... So you take a look at it, and you're pretty sure um, that you might be able to shift some of this rubble away. But it's going to take a bit of time. You're going to have to build some supporting structures and stuff to hold the ceiling up. Um, it's a good thing we're not allowed to have dwarves in this party. Because then they would comment on orcish architecture. <laughs> this is dwarvish architecture. No. No dwarves in our party, oh, so yes. they can't make comment about <coughs> shoddy workmanship <laughs> architecture. All this, right, I have there's this, not going to be any. This, this this would be a matter of a quite deal of time to create to dig this out, create structures to support the ceiling and stuff. Krabby, can you do anything? Engineering work. <clears throat> Plus eleven. Plus eleven. It's absolutely hopeless. <laughs> You're never going to move thousands of tons of rock. And then we'll put a support beam, hex, hexagonal-like. Can, can you do anything? Grimshaw? Yes. No. Can you do anything magically? Fireball? Wow. No. I mean, that's how they got through to the eagles. All right, let's go. No one's going to sneak up from behind <laughs> us, at least, from here. So let's go check that door. Probably can't move that much rock yet. I won't smoke that much rock, my rock in my pipe. All right, so you guys move up to this door here. And arriving at the door, uh, Marvel and Grimchar give it a good looks over. Uh, you guys are searching, so I'm assuming you'll check out doors and crap. Um, you don't appear to see any traps on or anything. You don't hear anything beyond the door. It's just silence. Open the door. You fling the door open. <laughs> I also have my cape billow. <laughs> and your cape billows. Go <laughs> trash the book in here again. <laughs> See, a cursed thing followed us. It did. I mean, it's still wrapped, but I've still got the small one. If anybody wants to check. We're going to have to deal with it, for sure. And in this room, you find mostly empty. Debris scatters the floor. Um, across the way, it looks like there was once a chair or something sitting there. One of the legs is broken off. A lot of it's riding away. And there is a door across the way. So, question. Have magic item. If safe to look at, Krabby can look at. But Krabby not looking until Grimshaw looks in the mirror and sees it's safe. Or someone else. We're not far enough away. Okay. Go through the door, find it connects to other hallway then. Yes. What now? Oh, no. Inspect the chair. <laughs> okay, Maradon. Okay, you go over to the chair. I sit in it. It's a mimic. <laughs> you give it a good looks over, and you set it up, and it looks like it balances perfectly on those three legs there. And you sit in it, and a second leg <clears throat> breaks off and dumps you unceremoniously on the floor. <laughs> I knew it, evil chair. <laughs> I will oh. smite it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You open the door across the way and discover that it connects to a hallway. Probably called You've it. You've traveled some time before. Yeah. All right. I thought I had good navigation. Okay. That, those two were two secret doors that don't quite touch. Is that actually what it looked like? Yes. Yep. There's a okay. secret door there that connects to each other. But th are they supposed to be touching or is there actually like something a gap? There. No, there's like a... There's like a, a short little, there's a little room there. So okay. one secret door opens to a small room, opens to another secret door to the corridor. So we can go check that out and then move further to find more stuff. Or we can just go down and brave the worm. 
You could probably just say brave. It's gotta be very brave. <laughs> <laughs> that area over there. We have that too. Yeah. You got. You got. Uh, uh, no, there's a little there. area right no. there. It looks like one right there. You Let's go to the little area little. right there. This one here. Yeah. Because I'm sure that's gonna take like all day to figure out. <laughs> what about the, the small secret room? Well, that's where we can go. Through, we can go through a secret door to go there. There we go. Let's do that. All right, you guys. I'm just amazed. Uh, left, I'm just there are little brackets ways. on. There's little brackets on the wall nearby that would hold torches and stuff like that. And it, you find that it turns and opens the secret door. You push your way through, and then peeking around the corner right here, you discover <clears throat> a dragon. A dead end. Mm. Exciting. Search for secret doors. Of course. Because there's no way there could be one because the map basically ends here. But mm, it could be here. You look around for secret doors, you spot nothing. Mm. Marvel, you see the clear outline of the secret door there. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna <clears throat> kinda do a search to see if there's if it pushes in or out, or if there's any marks for sliding it, or traps, stuff like that. You look around, and again, there's a little bracket there, meant to hold a torch or something, and it looks like jostling a little bit, opens the secret door. And the secret door, you hear some gears in the wall, and the secret door pulls aside, and... An empty room. This is the room where you fought a couple <clears throat> Big ogres, I believe they were. Mm -hmm. Giant yeah. types in that room. Yeah, big ogres. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it looks much as you've left it. That's interesting. Shall we go to... We got here. Yeah. We got here. But let's we got do... here. We got here. Let's do second here. Hey, are we uh, here? Yeah, the middle. Here. Are we... Is anybody feeling brave enough to face the weasel? <laughs> are the no, probably not like weasels. It we don't want to go check on the weasels. Probably not like. Yeah, that was the funniest thing. We fought so many things. Ogres, where it's like, yeah, the weasels run away. <laughs> so was like, weird. It was <laughs> not run away. It was no percentage in fighting. It was funny. Everything we fought was to get further in and find what we were looking for. Weasels did not have hostages. Yeah, but who knows what they hide in the little holes? Mm -hmm. uh, teeth. They pop yeah. up. Weasels they hide teeth dump just in the time for your yeah. so You guys, so you guys are level five, right? Yeah. You only have the equivalent treasure of level three. Everything you're missing is Isn't in the weasel, weasel holes. <laughs> Every, oh, all everything. All right, yeah. go back it get does weasels. make a lot of sense. <laughs> I mean, weasels Weas yeah. do <laughs> steal everything. Well, they do, and especially yep. shiny stuff. Yep, they, really they hide it in their holes. It's not <laughs> wrong. So we'll find a dragon horde of treasure, <laughs> I assume. <laughs> I was at a fair, and this thing, thing was dragging <laughs> my like two hundred dollars scientific calculator across the floor. Oh yeah, I don't know what he was gonna do with it, but <laughs> choke the inside probably. <laughs> That's what they usually did. And then yeah. they came to me for surgery. I mean, I mean, I know my friend's ferret had a little ferret hoard of mm -hmm. shinies. Yep. <laughs> Dice. Most of it was was like metallic yeah. dice. Nice. All so right, we gotta go do weasels. I, I think we should just go check it out. Okay, we go do weasels. Okay. Long walk. Oh, the weasels were. The weasels okay. here. Yep. So walk, 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 walk. Hey, probably can stop at Alchemy Labs. Walk, walk, walk. walk. No, why, why are we why, going why all the way around? around? Yeah, yeah, that secret door went into that. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah, say, right there. We're literally next to the weasel. No, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't Marx's. Everything is right here. Okay, still. And there's an archway right there. I wasn't. Right. I forgot it was Marx's. It wasn't right Marx's. A connection. Yeah, yeah. So. so we're like right next to the weasels. Okay. Oh, there we go. I mean, if they're not here, then that means somebody's been back. Right. Or they starved to death or left for food. Yes. Do we still see the bodies? Well, so you guys food. head over to... Phantom cages, holes in walls. Yep. Mm -hmm. You guys head over to this area. It's yep. It's oh. yep. Open the door and look in. And similar as before, you see hair covering most of the floor. And across the way, there are a couple holes in this far wall. Filled with hair, stuffed with hair. And there's this musty stench clinging to the room. Whose idea was this? Alex. I, I just heard somebody in the back saying I wasn't sure. All right. Yeah. All All right. So that go, go rob the weasels. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first weasel I robbed. Okay, so. Uh, Got me burning here as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
how, how long is that wall? Luke, how long is the wall? Um, is okay, it's probably room. about 50 feet. It's a pretty big room. Well, almost a good whole wall. Almost. No, I didn't take wide enough to reach. Do you have a staff and wide thing? No, I didn't take wide and spell it. I'm just saying, do you have a staff? Yeah, no. Well, then I'm going to use a fire. One staff. That's true. Probably just wants a better staff of fire. Uh, I suppose I'll um, cautiously move out into the thing with my weapon ready. I will be changing my spell. Ju <coughs> judging from what? Ready for the onslaught of weasel attacks. What spell are you got? Ah, uh, shield. Shield? Okay. I'll be staying by the door, letting Grimshaw find weasels. <laughs> Alright, you guys, you move in, yep. and you're sneaking in the chat. Chanting your spell, and you guys are in the chamber now. Is it totally dark in here? There's, like... no, there's no ambient light sources. Okay. All right, so anyone without dark vision is hurting. Well, no, I'm staying outside. They have, as I recall, they have, we have ever-burning torches. But. So I'm assuming an ever-burning torch goes in with someone who can't see in the dark. Mm -hmm. Until that point, um, judging from things that I can see, does it look like the, what, all of this in here is still active, like currently active with uh, living creatures? Hmm. Um, are trained in nature? Yes. Plus 11. Plus 11? Oh, very active. Okay. There's fresh droppings all about. You can see off in the corner there looks to be some animal was murdered. There's little blood and there are bones left over was where it was devoured. There's still a lot of living activity in here. Uh, I would probably err on the side of caution a little bit. I don't know. I already have. Okay. I'm letting everybody know. And as he says that, it was a good thing. Bartleby, you spot a pair of glowing red eyes from one of those weasel holes. <laughs> I, I freeze, literally, just because I'm trying to hide in shadows anyway. So I'm trying to. Okay. So I'm gonna just slink as much against the wall or whatever as I can, and I'm keeping my eye on it. But I'm not saying anything. Sorry, guys. I want to keep my stealth. Okay. <laughs> And then you can see this tiny creature creep out just a little bit, reveal its head. This thing's, its head is like, you know, maybe this, this big or so. Just a tiny little creature, creature. Comes out, long, slinky body, raises its nose up in the air. And then it slowly slinks back into the hole. Doesn't care about you, Grim Jaw, sorry. I don't buy it. Mm. I think it's funny. Grimshaw's like walking and openly casting spells. So, no, no, don't care about him. Uh, continue walking towards the weasel hole. Uh, There's two of them, right? There are two holes. Oh, yeah. great, weasel lord of the wall. <laughs> I beseech you. Fireball. It's going to have a new god by the time we leave, I guess. New religion. <laughs> Um, there is silence in the response. Mm. Well, I, I checked not to venture out. You have angered the weasel god. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I mean, why, why? So, does somebody want to reach their hand into the hole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These holes, by the way, are probably about that big. Okay. So, the regular size weasels, at least. The holes um, are. Mm -hmm. Oh. Are they at, they're at ground level, right? Mm -hmm. the, the weasel you saw was very much a regular sight. Sure. Uh, is there anything else in the room of remark other than the weasel holes? You check the room over. You notice doing so that little massacre little thing. It looks like it was a, maybe a small rodent or a rat or something that was ripped apart and stuff. Um, and, and you notice that there is a cobra piece lying roughly in the middle of the floor under some of the weasel hair. Uh, let's see, heroic dive and roll, right? <laughs> Definite pose before I point to the sky with my axe like this, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> in a power move to pick up the copper coin. It's Don't you have a shield? It's amazing no, to me. Really. The, the, the no, little okay. amount you have to do to lure an adventure. A copper? 
be like <laughs> fighting over it. Buy copper! Like, <laughs> no, uh, Grandma's just like, oh, look, money. <laughs> um, no, two clay. Uh, I get out some rations. Like uh, some dried meat, I think. Okay. I don't know what weasels eat. That seems like they seem mummy. Um, I mean, you see, you said there's a kill. So, uh, actually, knowledge nature. Knowledge nature plus nine. Um, weasels are vegetarians. Did any of you vegetarians? Because I'm not. <laughs> Wait, I checked through my ra do my rations contain some. There should be some like hard tack, yes. Yeah, exactly. Hard dry exactly. bread, exactly. extremely hard that needs to be soaked in water and heated usually. Heated. Mm. Oh boy, that's not gonna work. Yeah, out. I've can had you, hard tack. It can sucks. you do that spicy food? <laughs> can you do that spicy horrible. food thing with the magic? Magically spice my food. Oh, Press the digitation. It's like lava spread from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I know the spell you're talking about. Does it still do that? Well, yeah, the tradition it does it, but I don't know about that. I, I was going to say, I looked it, it up last it, time. It lifts it, it right. makes it, or it tidies it. Right. It, it does, does not, not spice. spice it. It does not. <laughs> well, it does say flavor. So yeah, flavor, flavor, flavor. Oh, so flavor. I guess flavor. 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 I'm gonna cook. I could flavor it. Flavor that it does. Make it smell. It won't make it super spicy. Make right? this smell good. I think they said it's like big like, spice. What does that mean? Salt, pepper. Smell like what? Um, Find good. A fruit. Fruit. Make it smell like a really aromatic fruit. Yes. What like said. strawberries or the robot raspberries. Knows, the robot knows culinary taste. <laughs> 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 a berries of some type. All right, and then and then I waft it around a little, blow it a little, mm -hmm. and then and then I dangle it in front of the hole, and then I throw it uh, out into the hall. Hello. Fireball out into, out into the hall. Oh, I guess not, not that far. No, Just not across the, the room. Mm -hmm. Fireball. Mm -hmm. Oh, that food at me. <laughs> so for a brief moment, you catch like a little weasel head peering out, and then it retreats back into the hole. I go over and pick up the piece of crappy bread. <laughs> Set it next to the hole. Okay. I have a question. And, and then while he's eating it, I'm going to peer inside the hole to see if I can see anything back there. So you staying right there in front of the hole? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can... Just this is like a thing of nightmares. <laughs> so you, got it. You can see, like nightmare you can see right. down in the hole, you can see the weasel's head. And it's not moving any closer. It might be because there's a giant in front of the hole looming there. Who knows? But it's not getting any closer. Right. How far? How far back does the hole? Okay, go? I put the food about two feet away from the hole, and then me, I back up about ten feet. Okay. And I'm trying to get an angle so I can see behind the rodent to see if there's any shiny things back there. Oh, really? oh god, this is so horrible, guys. The hole, the hole. Why are we doing this? <laughs> the hole, the hole is like a little bit like so I would start to stuff, yeah. so you can't yeah. see too far in it. But you back off a little bit, and eventually this rodent comes out, looks around. It is a rodent. Picks up this hard tack. What should be flavored? Grabby, you screwed up! <laughs> so can I see it? I can wow. fix the screw up. Wow. Okay, it's looking around, sniffing the air. You guys can all see it at this point. While he's doing this, can I run a medicine check on that corpse to see what possibly had ate that? If it looked like it matched the teeth of something like a weasel or... Oh, yeah. What's your modifier? Uh, it is a plus 11. Okay. You check it over, and it looks like very sharp, pointy teeth, like canine teeth, from a rodent about the size of a weasel had eaten whatever this was. Okay. Okay. So, it might not be vegetarian. The it ultimate, might be the, this is so omnivorous. funny. The ultimate question is why, and so if this is really what's here, why do they have this place like locked? Remember they locked? Like it was like... <laughs> It's weasels. Guarded and locked. Like, like if you read <laughs> I, for, I forgot to steal completely your about it. Yeah, it was like guarded and locked. They were like, they did not want to be in the weasel room. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, that is a good question. It's very man. weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, Whole night's going to be spent in the weasel room. I know, right? Yeah. Like, we've faced trolls without him, but nobody wants to go near the weasel hole. <laughs> uh, no. All right. Encounter successful. Let's go. How many experience points was that? <laughs> no. All right. Let's. I, I'm. We got it. All right. 
This is ridiculous. So, <laughs> rather than pussyfooting around, all right, so I'm going to, um, I've, I've been trying to sneak this the, the whole time, being a sting in the shadow. So I'm going to, uh, I don't know if you want acrobatics or something, I want to take a running dive of that thing and grab it. Okay, just go for it and just yeah. grab that sucker. Yep. Yeah. And okay. successfully oh, snag the honey badger. <clears throat> All right. They are related. Uh, I did have let's do an acrobatics okay. contested no. by its reflex save. Sounds good. Yeah. The badgers in the weasel family? Mm -hmm. Well, they're not. The, the weasels, weasels are not a family either. Yeah. We're all in the muscular family. All right. 26. Okay. Oof. That's why I was laughing. They call you go to <laughs> snatch this thing, and it leaps up over your head, somersaults. Lands on your arm. Oh, great. You pissed off And its splinter. teeth, its eyes flare uh, red, and its go. teeth come you down right into your arm. Oh, trust uh, me. They're not as bad as me, but they're nasty. Great. You pissed off Splinter. I'm going to bite him in the other arm. Splinter's a rat. Just, you know. <laughs> the weasels are a thousand times worse than You have your baby shot, right? <laughs> oh. And they could carry um, it. Which arm class, sir? 22. 22. Um, hold on. I got 33. That's a crit. It's a crit. I just got crit by a tiny weasel, man. And you messed up, dude. And I have rabies. One of my classmates almost lost a finger. Oh, I rolled so badly. 14 times 2, 28 points of damage. Its teeth, razor sharp teeth, rend sinew, flesh, and bone. Practically, almost amputates your forearm. And then this thing, there's this. Roar that emanates from its vocal cords that is completely like out of place with the yeah. size of its body it's fills the room in echoes. So weaselly gonna do that. Yeah. And this thing now is clinging to what remains of your arm, rearing and ready to go again. Everyone, roll initiative. Uh, I gotta get a weasel mini. <laughs> oh, I have a weasel mini. Yeah, definitely Amazing. not a normal weasel. No. I mean, they're nasty, but they're not that. They're nasty. not that nasty, no. That's like three person murder in one bite. That's just good. This time, because I'm not, not sneaky. That's true. I'm sneaky and twitchy. Ah. It's not actually this big. I think I have a tiny weasel familiar that will get the job done. Yes, I do. I do. I, do. I absolutely do. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> I, w I want everybody to be aware of just half of my health from <laughs> How much damage did right. you do? 28. <gasps> I, 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 crit, did crit, I did crit. What did he crit? Again, no, I did crit. Honestly, I'd rather take it from a weasel than a mirror, though. But even a 14 for a single bite from a weasel is pretty terrifying Ooh. and high. Show and he said he sold the mirror. Show the weasel the mirror. <laughs> you can suggest Kill two birds with one stone. I, didn't expect uh, I wasn't sure how, but probably. I thought something was going to bust. That's, that's what I thought. I thought I was going to grab the weasel. It was going to scream, and something was going to come. Mama weasel was going to show up. Yeah, that's what I thought. through the wall, and like that's what I expected. And then the mole rats burst out of the ground, and I have to put them all down with my net ten millimeter. Just... <laughs> so Grimshaw was backed off like about ten feet. It said so. We'll go something like that. <laughs> All right. That was seven, I back a little more, too. You're back a little more? Just a little bit. Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a terrifying. All right, what's above a 30? Above a 25. 27. Uh, I'm at 29. 29. 28. Okay, hold on. 29? Nice. Oh, ho, ho. 29, 27. Well, who said 28? I have a 29 as well. You have a 29 as well? Good gravy. We're ready to protect. And then what were you? 28. Uh, 28. Your sale? Your simu? Yep. Let me roll my initiative. Jeez. I got 17, which is pretty good for me. Oh, gosh. I... And I got a plus 12, because it's pretty. I want three. All right. Who's, who's above me? Who's above 20? I'm at, I'm at a 20, so I'm going right for that. Go last. This is messed up. <laughs> you did just get a free shot, so you know, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, he tried to grab her. Yeah. I'm not blaming you. No, no, no. Right? no. Right? Not, that, not that you shouldn't have gotten the shot. I did also try to grab, so <laughs> I got a shot also. All right, Grimjaw. Uh, um, I'm going to make a religion check to see if it would... Well, no, hunting is part of our purview. So, mm -hmm. hunting and bounty, so I'll, I'll go cold now. Uh, going up at him? Yeah, walk up to the, the badger. Uh, and um, blast him with my great act. Or not. Unless, of course, his armor class is 15. Bad miss. Um, leaves me with one action left. Um, uh, shield. Shields. Excellent. And Crotty. Crabby burn. Bring mm -hmm. the flame. <clears throat> Twenty-two. That misses. Oof. Hits the wall behind it. Quick roll, weasel. Wait, twenty-two <clears throat> missed. <laughs> Simu. Oh. I'm gonna die. Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out. Everyone has said, "Let's go fight the weasel." <laughs> I didn't realize it was a demonic weasel. <laughs> How long have you played? Staggering stance. I told you about the weasel lord. <laughs> you did. You did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, weasel lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we did for say bring back up here. <laughs> it's true. I didn't think the weasel. So 25 to hit, and the other one's gonna miss. 25 minutes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that was too funny. <laughs> how I mean, many? How many of these we have to do? Oh, that's. Yeah, yeah, how many of them? Are we flanked or no? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you have flanked. Okay. <laughs> we flanked weasel. <laughs> we 11 <laughs> points of damage. Shoo. 11 points of damage. Oh, uh, right. Fort save. So you, uh, you hit this thing, thump, and it spins, flips, lands back on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> And stunning strike. What's it? What is this? Uh, 14. 21. Yeah. Fort. I guess Fort. Save. Fort. Oh, jeez. I got just a 21 exactly. Yay! See? So he's only stunned five. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Fourth draw. And that's it. Marvel. Uh, can I, uh, first action is going to be hunt prey. <laughs> okay. And so this is, you're doing... Uh, a recall knowledge. All right. Hunt the weasel. <laughs> uh, arcana or nature? Uh, nature, please. Plus 11. 11, okay. Woo! All right, so, um, you definitely notice that this is not a normal weasel. There is something different about this weasel. Mm -hmm. It has supernatural strength, um, supernatural uh, uh, agility, okay? Um, you believe that this is perhaps possessed by some really entity. Something is inside this creature causing it to act this way. Okay. That worms. Um, <laughs> was that a critical success? <laughs> Demon possessed worms, maybe. Oh, hold on a second. Um, so that's a. Won't be fast. What's your modifier again? It was a plus 11. Um, so 17 Scary. plus 11 Scary. is a 28. Yes. Not a critical success. Okay. One of these days you'll get a credit on one of those. <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. Okay. And then we're not fighting high level monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we're fighting goblins, I got a crit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, second action is going to be attack it. You're shooting it with a bow? Yes. Alright, it's got, um, jeez. Probably three fourths cover. Oh, it's, it's, a lot it's got of like plus five to Because it's small class. and there are lots of things around it. Yep, yep. It's going to be hard to hit it. Oh, okay. So ten. <laughs> That's a critical miss. Because mm -hmm. you said it was uh, plus five to it, <clears throat> so it was a fifteen that I rolled total. So fifteen. Yeah. Critical miss. Okay. So you feel a bolt. What kind of armor are you wearing? I'm wearing a uh, stud leather. Stud leather. You feel a bolt slam into your backside. You can feel it pierce your armor, and the padding underneath your leather just barely stops it. There's a little pinprick you can feel in your backside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Make your fort safe. You got some poison. Right. <laughs> I scream. Uh, I, I scream because I think it's another weasel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sailor. No, no, no. Arrow. Does that like damage on that? No. Okay. Scratch. Sailor. Marv. No shoot. Uh, no well, shoot. Borrow me. I really don't want Sorry. anything to do with this, to be honest. Um, mm-hmm. And they're not giving me an opening, so I... You're tall. Just stab mm-hmm. over here to goblin. I was actually thinking I was going to go tap Bartleby with battle medicine. So, <laughs> he, he needs it. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> so, well... It doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> He's very Yeah, I got plenty of movement. Uh, Tumble so. through for Tanaj. <laughs> I, I could. Double into the weasel hole and back out again. Right. right. <laughs> Dive down the weasel hole, run through it, see um, if they connect. So yeah, the, the weasel line. is unimpressed. There is three more possessed weasels within. <laughs> so good. Yeah. You never and see Sailor again. Yeah. Yeah. Not going down Ranger that with but, uh, uh, I'm just going to straight up assurance it, so that gives me. So it's just a straight success, yeah. Yep, straight success because it's a 17. It's not much, okay. but well, that, that's, take your 2d8. It's oh, okay. just fine. Yeah. Oh. It's guaranteed 2d8 with no chance for the 4d8, right. but also no chance for a failure. No chance for a failure. That's assurance. It's not a bad way to do it. Mm-hmm. Correct. That was 14. That was pretty good. Uh, and that's two. Last action. Dueling parry, just in case. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Bartleby. Oh, boy. Uh, I am not pleased with the situation right now. Um, so I can only attack with one weapon because the other one's on the hand. Um, <laughs> Are you grappled? Oh. So. By the way, your battle medicine again, like wrapping wounds mm-hmm. around its thing here, and this right. weasel the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kissing at you, looking at you. It's like, yep, yeah, you're cute, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I need to understand mechanics for this thing, as in like positioning. Because like I need to know if I'm even if I can get it flat footed in any way. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're oh, like a flank or yeah. something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you probably could by just like spinning around or something. You got friends all around. That's you. what I meant. So I position think, myself I think it's in a way. So that I'll take two off my armor class then. Okay. That was fine. So now it's a, now it's a thirty. <laughs> um, I, I hit on a twenty-five. Yep, I got a. Uh, 28. That is a hit. Okay. Unfortunately, not a crit. I knew, I knew 18 wasn't going to hit it, so that's okay. Um, uh, 4 plus the 9, plus 13, plus 4, 17 damage. 17! Do you remember if you had striking room? Because everybody has them. No, it was that an extra extra die or damage? Oh, the, do you, whatever do you the have them? Die which, is, which is a short sword, yeah. You do? Okay. That's it. Everybody has a strike. It's right true. Oh. So just another three. So 20. All right. And you give this thing a good stabbing. Um, open up a little tiny wound on one of its legs. Yeah, yeah, snarling yeah. and hissing and spitting at you. Right. He hasn't put a die out yet. Just mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was your Bartleby? First action. That was my first action. So... Um, I know I want to try and distance myself from the damn thing. Uh, what do you want me to do to, to get it off of me? To get off of you? To um, get it off me. Like, I struck it once out. Like, an escape seems reasonable. Okay, escape. Let's, I, I don't do this very often. Let me look That's all right. No worries. Yeah. Just let me know what I'm rolling on. It's typically... I'll tell you the bonus. Acrobatics or athletics. Yeah, either is... one. The DC, and I don't know. It is funny, I forget your rope where, is actually. Somebody athletics. help me find where escape Just, is in the book. Um, well, and I, I'm a playing uh, right. the game. Yeah, it's, I mean, because of the way you're built. It's a very awesome. good way. It's a very good way. I'm not as good as. 470. 470. Uh, attempt to get free when grabbed, restrained, or immobilized. Use yep. unarmed attack modifier, acrobatics, or athletics. Okay. So we'll use athletics. You're using athletics, and now what's the versus DC? the DC? The athletics DC of the creature that grabbed you. Typically, you can change it if okay. it suits the jam. Okay, go for it. So I got a twenty-five. Twenty-five. Let me see. Let me find my DC. Okay. Um, my acrobatics, my athletics DC. Okay. What'd you get? Twenty-five. I think it's clinging to you like a little mother man. Damn it! Son of a bitch. It's a simple solution. Um, just roll better. 
<laughs> Roll better. Twenty-five wasn't bad though. Um, Quick, grab your backup character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Uh, one action remaining. Yep. One action remaining. You can always try to escape again. Um, Attack it. Or yeah, plead for mercy. Plead for mercy. <laughs> all, like I said, all I see is Bartleby just that like the right one. spinning um, around trying to shake it off. Yeah. <laughs> Get out and shake it off. Funny thing will be if every time he shakes it, just jumps up. Just, yeah, just hang it up. <laughs> um, right. It's like it's not riding him; it just jumps every time he moves him. Oh, all God, that's funny. Him. I think. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think this is still an attack roll, so take the minus five. Yeah. Um, but um, I am going to <laughs> instead of trying to. Uh, Ungrapple or escape from him. I would like to pin him to the ground so that he can be hit by other people easier. Uh -huh. So, so I'm gonna try and do like I have trip. This is what I usually take trip for. Okay. I think that might be appropriate here. You wanna try to trip it? Right. I mean, it's. It, 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 I'm not saying it'll let go of me, but I want to be able to pin it to the ground, basically. Okay, right. So, so you're trying to trip it. Yeah. Which is in the skill section, right? That's so good. Athletics. So instead of being with like you know escape and stuff, I go to the skill section. <laughs> Right there. And 243. Thank you. Just have that this up, Yep. And that is contested by my reflex DC. Oh. <laughs> my reflex DC! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm not bothering I don't, I don't know if I should even tell you the number. What did you get? <laughs> 21. No. Yeah. <laughs> don't pin it. <laughs> it's just moving around, right. around your arm. Right, 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 right. <laughs> okay. That's my turn. That's your turn. Excellent. Oh, wait, it's my turn. It is your turn. All wait, right. It's hissing and spitting. Its tail is like twitching back and forth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It l rears its head back and its fangs dive down at your forearm again. Yeah. yeah. At the bloody spot that is covered with bandages. Oh, yeah. Homing in. <clears throat> Woo! Oh, it was on a 20 and then it went to a 2. Oh. <laughs> So you have five minutes. Um, so which armor class? Reasonable. Uh, twenty-two. It just misses you. <laughs> awesome. Glad it misses you. <laughs> Snarling and hissing, it launches itself through the air, directly at you. Lands on your chest, and then launches itself up towards your neck, teeth wide, hissing and spitting. <laughs> I just going to point out we were supposed to fight this two levels ago. Oh. So much fun. When we first came to this room, we were like third level. You, you do know as spirits uh, like match, match or, maternate, you know, like marinate, like they, oh. they, they, they Armor class? 24. They get more and more dangerous. It goes at your throat and you manage to push it aside like just there. a little bit and its teeth are like <laughs> right at your knee and you know, it nips your ear. And you can feel it slice into your ear just a little tiny bit. But it misses your throat, most importantly. <clears throat> and top of the round, any discussion? I'm really glad we're not third level. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Scary weasel. So did the weasel move to a different spot? It yes, did. it is now on um, So did we say, did we say out loud that this creature seems to be possessed? Yes. Well, I don't know. My, my... He never said he said out loud. Okay. You can do so now. <laughs> Marv. 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 Are you letting us know what you found out about the creature maybe being possessed? Oh. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's possessed by something. Don't really know what. Gotcha. <laughs> like somebody owns it? Somebody owns <laughs> the ferret. No, like, it's a possibly demonic or the like kind of possession. Uh, possession. Like something... It, Evil is inside of it. Are there any more coasters in that box? There is. Oh, oh there is a ton of coasters in there. Happy fireball. <laughs> I, I'm almost willing to. This one, so like, this reflex think... save will be the point. I tell you what, if it jumps on me, <laughs> well, fireball. Well, with this reflex save, what exactly, exactly so is the point? Who did it attack? Mm -hmm. okay. It jumped me. If it jumps on me again, it's do whatever you've got to do. It's on me. Sign up someone you get a blur. It's on Sayla, you know, big deal, no big deal, but it's on Bartleby. <laughs> Stop it. 
I'm just saying I would take the fireball. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Except it would just crit succeed on the fireball. Yeah, it probably would crit succeed and take nothing. It's <laughs> true. It is very agile. Yeah. I'm assuming anything that gives a reflex save is not the smart way to go. It's true. Which sadly is most of my spells. Yeah. Okay, good talk. Grimjaw. Great talk. Uh, would like to tune in my religious uh, ometer and see if I can get a bearing on its uh, possessiveness. Oh, that would be you rolling. I'll roll up. What, plus nine. I know what I'm doing. The only thing I've got is not a reflex save. I don't know if it's going to work, given this thing's possessed by evil, but it's what I got. You have magic missile? I do, so I can do that. I am a nature, so, nature of David. So this is an action, as you focus in on this. And paying attention to this weasel, the way it's moving, the way it's hissing, the way it's acting. And now you hone in your senses. And you feel this presence. Something is there. And then the light bulb goes on. This is, this reminds you exactly of how you felt when you looked in that mirror. It's the mirror. Wow. <laughs> uh, does this give me any insight as how to get rid of it? Um, like banishing it from a human So host? you you know that the mirror worked because of reflective surfaces in it, and you saw yourself in it, okay? The only thing reflective on this weasel would be its eyes. So stare deep in its eyes, it'll possess you instead. <laughs> um, um, okay. So there's a, probably a similar mechanic. You tried to, like, you know, um, exercise the spirit before. You could probably try to do the same thing again. Uh, yeah, I'll give that a go. All right, let me look that up. Uh, I forget where that was. How about I just roll a religion check and then well, let me look when up. it's like one, we just up, move let on. Let me look up the rules. <laughs> yeah. It's clean. Let me look up the rules. <laughs> So that's area nine. I thought it was area 51. Huh? I thought it was area 51. I haven't even used this spell before. My first time. But it's a fort save. Fort didn't seem absurd. Like How is that? It's not as bad as reflex. Mm -hmm. it's as bad. Oh. And my attack will... Well, I did roll badly on my attack. I don't know if there's which cover he's going to get. I don't want to burn set. I forgot about this. You just remember. You have back impression. Fireball! <laughs> Except again. Why? That is my dog. I forgot that I summoned him last time. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah. Why Krabby? Religion Mashak oh, to try to exercise the spirit. Okay. I'm going to use an action to guidance myself. And then I'm going to. Roll my religion check with plus one. Oh. The power of my deity behind me. <laughs> right. You're not even proficient in religion? No, I am. Um, so, 20. So you oh. call, what's the name of your deity? Valinor. Valinor. Lord of the hunt, the god of nature. Ooh, you call out into Valinor, the god of nature, and you can feel his presence well within you. And this little weasel, its head snaps at you, it hisses and screams. It seems like it's backing down your breastplate or your armor just a little bit, right, in response to this. And then you feel the power of your deity being overwhelmed by this spiritual presence. Beauty. Balinor flees from you. The weasel continues to cling to you, seeming more powerful now than before. Oh, amazing. Guys, I supercharged it. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, I, I relay. Uh, there's a demon possessing this creature. It's the one from before, the one from the mirror. And I will uh, strike it, uh, strike the spirit out of the creature. I call on Balador. Blah, blah, blah. Still. <laughs> and that's him. So, Krabby. <laughs> Krabby, reach spell. Krabby, chill touch. Fort save. Fort save? Oh. It's the only non reflex save I got in my. <laughs> I'm not the only, but it's the only one I've got memorized. Ooh, what's the DC? 21. I failed. Hopefully necrotic damage bothers you. <laughs> uh, 12 points of necrotic damage. Or <clears throat> All right. Healed it. Uh, if it did, it did. The Negative weasel, damage, the weasel hisses a little bit in response to that. Okay. 
12 points of negative damage, I think, is what technically it's called. <coughs> okay. Is that all, sir? Uh, no, unless it's undead. Mm -hmm. that, that's all my action. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying unless it's undead. If it is undead, it has an extra effect. That's what you're saying. Oh, what is the extra effect? Um, instead of damaging it, because undead or immune, it's flat footed for a round on a failed four save. Oh, undead are immune to it? I, it? It says, yeah, living creatures, it takes negative damage. Undead creatures are flat footed for a round on a failed four save. Okay, understood. Excellent. Uh, same move, you're up. Uh, imagine to be flanking, I'll have to shift to like somewhere in there. Okay. And I'm gonna burn my key strike. <laughs> so, key strike flurry. What's that? Yeah! That's, onyx, that's my Onyx dog that I summoned last time. It lasts for six oh. hours. Oh, so. okay. Well, oh, that's fine. I will assume we haven't been here six hours. It seems like it's been maybe an hour. So. <coughs> you have an onyx. Is that one of your new magic? One of your magic uh, items? Yes, I've had it for a long time. It's never used. Eleven. <laughs> those. Uh, yeah, since I started the game. Those both miss. Mm -hmm. Is it like one of our? Basically. Uh, and Not quite. Final action. We'll take one more strike. I can only summon it once a week. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> right. Excellent. <laughs> well done, uh, Marvel. Demon weasel. <laughs> Are they still attached to... Now it's attached to, um, Say, Sayla. Yeah. Are you holding out your arm? I think it was on my chest, but... No. Just go for it anyway. Go for it. Okay. I'm gonna attack the weasel. Shoot the weasel. Copy fireball. 26. <laughs> Nuke it for more bit. Hold on, let me do some math. Copycast nuclear. Um, <laughs> that hits the weasel. Okay. Illusory object. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be your best spell. Like cool that that works so well. I think you got to escape first. Since it seems to have some kind of weird auto grab thing. Yeah. 15 points of damage. Ooh, nice. Hissing, screaming, this crossbow quirrell went through its body. Okay, so there's now a bull as this thing is there clinging to your chest. Yeah. And then reload and anything else? Uh, no. All right, reload. Sayla. All right. Um, do I take any penalties for attacking it since it's like out of me? No. Okay. No, um, I didn't. And am I flanking with him? Uh, there's enough people around you that, yep. yes, you're considered flanking. Then, just make attacks. Gotta get it off. 29? Mm. Hit. Nice. Not a, you know, fancy stuff, but it's not a damage. Rubble three damage, because I only rolled 2 to 6, and I roll like trash. Three damage. <laughs> Three whole damage. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not doing finishers at the moment, so. All right. I the weasel see. seems most unaffected by your meager attack. To be fair, I'm probably like, because I was using my sword to keep him off me. I'm kind of like poking at him. Too. Okay. Fighting. Um, I'll do it in a second. I mean, has it grabbed her? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Has it grabbed her? Like, she am I officially escape? grabbed? No, no, you just... can still move. You're not right. officially grabbed. It's just clinging to your body, but it can't immobilize you. It's too small. That's fair. Yeah. Um, I really don't know what to do with my second action. I know what I'm doing my third. That's doing my parry again. That one again. Man. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll attack again and take the minus four. Okay. Yes, this is an agile. That's an agile. So it's three. 26. That's a hit. A little better this time. Eh, a little better, five. Five? Five. Climbing okay. up the stabby chart. <laughs> I, I, I only roll 2d6 damage. What do you want from me? Okay. Well, seven's average, so we're hoping for seven. Yeah, that would be great. And you stab it a little bit more. Now it takes a small wound from that. And then my last is going to dueling parry again to keep my AC up. So. Okay, Bartleby. Right. Keep it wedged here. Now you can unleash Hell upon it. 
Uh, I could try, yeah. Uh, no reason not to try. What's the right path? Well, What's I feel path? like this isn't the right route, but I think this is all I can do. I think those of you who are smarter than me should consider finding mirror bits. But uh, all I know how to do is stab things. Because all we need is to come out of mirrors and kill us too. Well, but if it comes out of mirrors, maybe it won't be on the weasel. I was kind of thinking. Um. Wait, am I supposed to roll once? I always forget this. No, you roll once for each once attack. For you just don't take the multi-action. I don't take the multi-action, right? Mm -hmm. For this one, but if I take one more, then I would. It's as if you did two different ones. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the one will miss entirely, but 29. That, 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 that is a uh, hit. Yes. Okay. Do you say out loud that you need mirror bits or that we should find pieces of mirror? No. Uh, I, that was a discussion piece. I will discuss it the next <laughs> because I, I'm not smart enough to know that. Um, I need one more D6. I'll just roll it again. I'm smart enough to know it seems like a bad idea to give a mirror to a mirror demon. Oh. Five, ten, mm -hmm. eleven, uh, fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. Ooh. I will say that pathfinder uh, rogues dish out the damage. They do. They set up the thing. They do. Wow. You you stab this thing nicely, ripping open a massive wound, and it shakes the crossbow bolt loose from this thing. Blood is now spilling out, running in the rivulets down your armor. You just wash this. <laughs> and this was actually, by the way, with a single, my, my short sword missed. Thank you. So in this case, a, kick, a sickle just comes down and cuts the hole and rips it back open. Excellent. Okay. And now this possessed weasel, as you're trying to exercise it, Grimchaw, it head looks at you <clears throat> and it lifts itself off from your chest floats in mid-air for a moment, reorients itself. With a flick of its tail, there's a musty spray all across you. Oh, and then it launches toward you, right at your face, digs its claws into your face. It's now clinging to your face. And then you can feel it moving around. The rest of you see its snout yeah. going to the side of its, right over his oh, ear. And then it begins diving at the side of his head. <laughs> Something in there. <laughs> Who is a big number? Oh, I gotta do some math. All right, so three. Okay, armor class? 23. I almost critted. Not quite, though. Whew. Oh, that's a crappy roll. Uh, 14 piercing damage. You can feel this thing rip off your ear. Completely rip it off. Ooh. Mm. You may not have a hag's ear to replace it. <laughs> yeah, we, already, we already did that. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh! I was going to do the dragon heart. The 12. Get your troll's ear. Nice. Um, um, just armor, keep armor class, sir. Uh, 23. And it hits you again. Ugh. For, I keep rolling really low. Um, 13 piercing damage. You can now feel it burrowing to the side of your head, down your ear canal, ripping out probably important bits of your anatomy. Hmm. Not out there that's not. Ha <laughs> 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 just found the most useless piece of paper. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, their collective right. intelligence uh -huh. might have made you both smart. Mm -hmm. Top of the round, feel free to discuss. Can I'm I... going to try to shove them in a bag. Okay. <laughs> Weasels in a bag, it's dog tradition. Could I tell if the chill touch hurt it? It looked like it did. Oh, wait a second. No, it did. It looked like it, it, it made it a little bit less of a nimble. So you made a flat foot. Not good. So it's undead demon possessed weasel. <laughs> so back to Lovely. hoping I roll on my attack checks. Hoping I roll better than All I'm right. the four on a flurry. So that's yeah. the disgusting good, good to go. Dog. Grim truck. Just murdering the mirror. Yeah, I still think the mirror is the key, guys. Because I think what's going to happen is we're going to kill this. And then it's just going to possess the next thing we come across. Well, I'm sure. But what are we going to do about it? We need to grim chop. Well, what sort of action would it be to yeah. shove it into a bag? Do we need to <laughs> smash the um, mirror, or we we can't. You would need to it. grapple it, grab a hold of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, can't so that would be a thing. grapple, just right? See right. where it's at in the mirror. At that point, once you have it grappled, you would need to use an action to probably manipulate the bag and get it open. Okay. Another action to put it in there, and it's very small. So, but it's going to be scrubbing around a little bit, so it'll probably get like an escape. You'll have to like make another check to get it in the bag. So three actions and you can easily so, get it in the bag. So three athletics checks to get it in the bag. 
the probability of doing any check in this game is what seventy five percent. So two checks. Multiplying that. Two out. checks. Two checks. One's just an, an action to open the bag up. Okay. Two times. But one I would in like eight to point chance. out how agile this thing is. One in eight chance. Keep that in mind. So it's gonna be making some awesome rolls. Oh, with the athletics. Yeah. All right. So I might as well just keep with the. All right. First, I'm gonna try to intimidate it. All right, little wizard. Oh, what up? <laughs> I want to let you know that you're currently burrowing into the domain of Balador. Every bite you take weakens you. Because there's no sustenance to be found there? <laughs> Indeed. Like chewing on sawdust, man. Like <laughs> yeah, no, one's, no one has ever survived eating an entire orc. No one. <laughs> you usually die food poisoning long right. before. What are you doing? Just attack me? Uh, no, just intimidate. Oh, Bail. intimidate. My will save and dysentery simultaneously. Uh, yeah, it's against your will save, okay. uh, <laughs> and that's a fifteen. Okay. That's a failure. Yes. Uh, <laughs> now I'm going to use my religion. Now that it's now that it knows it's burrowing into Balinor, and it's now fearful of me. You know, Grimshaw's reality. Uh, it's part of his faith. Mm -hmm. uh, he will use his uh, religiosity to try to. Uh, Call it. Call the soul out. Okay. Um, I want to try to exercise it again. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if. Exercise the demons. What did you guys say? Exercise the demons. From Ace Ventura. <laughs> Four. <laughs> uh, so that's. You're appointed. <laughs> so that was a total of thirteen. So I'm going to roll again. You, that did. Yeah. Uh, I will keep it's, my. You can feel Malinor retreating again. His power is nothing compared to this stuff. I will keep focusing my... You're trying ball. again? Yes. All right. Every time he dies, he gets 100 more hit points. There we go. 18 on the die um, for a total of 27. Okay. Now, now, Balinor's power surges within you. Sorting out my ear. <laughs> overwhelming <laughs> you. And all of you hear this weasel hiss and scream. And you can see a spectral form forced out of it, swirling around, growing in size. Uh, the people who saw it in the mirror recognize it as what you saw in the mirror. And then this spirit streams over to that copper piece in the center of the room and is gone. The weasel relaxes a little bit from your face. You guys can see it look around a little bit. Its eyes go wide and then it quickly begin skittering down your body. Want to do anything? Farewell, weasel lord. And the little weasel well, runs down his body. It's going toward the hole. It's going by you. Chill touch. Would you like to do anything as it flies yeah, by you? Yeah, sorry, guys. No, I'm, I'm just cutting him in half. Is cut in half? If he doesn't, uh, probably, yeah. Make, yeah. A, make an attack roll. Yeah, 100%. If he like, does, like, probably he's hitting him. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm going to chill touch it. I don't... Uh, 22... So you hit the weasel, yeah. you cut it straight in half, there's this scream of pain, twitching, blood squirting, and then it lies limp there. Yeah. Oh, be Ruined fur. Cleaning <laughs> my arm. <laughs> I gave you a bandage, you're fine. Yeah. It's probably a little scratch. It tried to chew through it, but... We still have to do with this thing. Yeah, so, I don't think so Luke, we should is... actually touch that coin. No. So Luke, this is for a further campaign of yours when someone <clears throat> else is walking through a dungeon. Do I'm uh, going to write etch, etch with stone right next to the copper coin. Copper coin possessed by evil demon. <laughs> Adventurers, please do not take. So <laughs> that's a please guarantee. Give that, please give that to your guaranteed next, encounter. One of your other. Okay. Does anybody have an envelope? Rules? That's a guaranteed encounter. Just <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> A piece of paper that can be folded up in a, ba a, a small bag. Probably the paper. He's a scrap okay. Um, well, but, well, Grimchild, what we, happened to you? Do we want yeah, to we, attempt to pick on. it up with a pair of tweezers and stick it, it in a bag? Yeah. I expelled the demon with my holy faith. Okay, where demon now? In the coin. Demon stuck? Mm, I think so. Mm -hmm. So we cover coin, demon can't get out? Um. That's a pretty good idea. Cry <laughs> mage hand. I was going to say, yeah, that's a good idea. So Grimshaw, with your religious knowledge, 
you're pretty sure that you have exercised that spirit completely. Um, it looks like it fled into that coin. You're pretty sure that it's going to be trapped there for a period of time. Now, sometimes these spirits get trapped in there for all eternity. Sometimes it's a, a shorter period of time. But it's, in your experience, usually at least a year that it'll be bound up in there. Completely bound up, inert, unable to affect anyone. Hmm, so we should be able to spend it in time. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, there's no point playing a good character with this particular group. No, no. Hey, I'm no. neutral. So, I, I have no objection to neutral, it's just there's no point as a, to yeah. playing a good here's, character with here's, these players. Here's what I believe. And my belief is the truth, my dear. It is that the spirit is bound within the coin. We must take it to a place uh, uh, where we can have it anointed and uh, ceremonies done to purify it and finally lay the spirit to rest. So, what you actually know, religious knowledge, is that destroying the coin will probably permanently banish the spirit back to Dolora, I think. There's a oh. plane of undead. Uh, Maybar, let's call it Maybar. Oh, okay. Maybar. So, we must destroy the coin. And the way I propose we do this is find some children to eat it. Oh. No. <laughs> so I'm destroy it. No, while, while we're having many a copper coin has been eaten by children. <laughs> while we're having this that religious discussion, child. yeah, that's, that's in all the orc villages. They tell the tales about how human children eat copper coin. Sure. So, um, that's <laughs> what they do. <laughs> well, <laughs> we can either heat it or. Ray of Frost project fire. I know it seems like my kids. Like Shop it. Okay, let's do that. Ray of Frost project fire. Ray of Frost project fire. Ray of Frost project fire. Does anybody know how to destroy stuff? And I look at Ray of Frost project fire. Ray of Frost right. produce fire. Ray of Frost produce fire. I mean, acid. Um, while we're having acid. a discussion about the coin and religion and whatnot, I'm digging in those holes. I'm fine enough that thing had anything. Better have had That's something. True, actually. I've never been taking list. something out of this room with me. Well, <laughs> not be pressed the digitation uh, cleanup, help, say. Help. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, you might have some new mittens. Now, the hole is like that. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to be really squeezing to try to get right. right. squirm into this hole. Right. But you're going to need to remove all your equipment, mostly. Otherwise, there are things that you backpack and stuff, and there are Weapon belts and stuff. These are things that are going to get snagged as you're trying to go into this hole. It's much. It's it's too small to leave. Yeah, stuff anybody? Behind. Anybody got lamp? I'm afraid of that. Okay. So I, can, I, can I take off all my clothes. clothes. Like Forrest Gump in a rat hole. Nope. So you now I have, have a naked, wrinkly old goblin yes. before you. Wrinkly old. Oh, wait. Old is correct. Sweet. <laughs> um, I have. By the way, on, yes. before I forget, everybody gets eight experience points Woo! for exercising the demon. Seriously. <laughs> That's what it says. XP for a simple hazard. <laughs> this was not simple. This was repeated. This was a deadly <laughs> hazard. Well, but a simple hazard like... goes off once and oh. it's gone forever. Well, this is a complex trap because it's going off repeatedly. Well, technically, technically that weasel was. Uh, I mean, just for me, like that's the difference in simple and complex. Yeah. Simple hits you once. That and was done. that was trivial. That was I know it's the complex trap. trap that's more. Uh, I, see, I see what you're saying. Okay, fine. Instead of eight, that'll be forty experience. So, points. like, if it's a complex trap. Oh, 40, Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yep, sure. It, it was. Does. A, it was essentially a complex trap. Yep. Mm -hmm. So while whatever they're doing, Grimshaw, <laughs> Krabby is studying his spell book, switching out a cantrip for acid splash, and then he's going to acid splash that coin into oblivion. Okay, how long does it take you to swap out a... Ten minutes. A cantrip, even? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's ten minutes for a spell. Okay. All right. And this is a wizard thing, I presume, right? But it is, yeah, it's a wizard with his particular thesis. Okay. Cool. You do how that. How many of us are wounded? Me. You, you melt that coin into oblivion. Uh, and that's after little cleaning little up, say, because I'm losing prestige yep. station for acid splash. I agree. So first he cleans say up. Yeah, battle medicine did me quite good. So. While but I'm he's still changing out spells, I'm meditating and refocusing. Okay. Uh, I'll tend wounds. And as you as you're as you're melting that coin away with acid splash, it's slowly melting. You can hear a moan, a low Fuck. moan of pain no echoing e through the room. And then once the coin is melted away, the moan slowly damage, dies off. Are you serious? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> what did you do? He's like, 
let me treat your wounds. And I'm like, okay, before I go in that hole. And then he... He, he, he hurts did, you? He dead rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Grimshaw no longer is allowed... Right, no longer allowed medicine. Treat two Jeez. people. <laughs> And save us a treat wound. Worst cleric is I ever. Think our one <laughs> well, he can't, his bad wisdom means he can't be that good at yeah. medicine. Because <laughs> um, wisdom is, medicine is yep. a wisdom skill. Uh -huh. I battle medicine, but I haven't treated wounds yet. That's the same. I haven't treated wounds yet. Oh, it's a different oh. Oh. These are These are lock picks, and these I are the medicine for ten minutes. <laughs> That's what I'm going wrong. I'm refocusing. I can't help you. What's the treat medicine? What, Sorry. <laughs> what do I have to roll for that? Hang on. Well, hey. first you can only do it once, and then you have to wait an hour. Correct. Yeah. It's already been done. Okay. I don't know if Say got it, but or That's if Say correct. needs it. I, but I've already, right. it's already it's been done. So Bartleby can't be treating wounds again correct. for an hour. That's correct. Okay. Uh, we could battle medicine, but that's once a day. Everybody gets 19. Perfect. Nineteen hit points back. Nineteen is what I need. Did you do a three, level, level three? Yeah, yeah, level three spell. As a, gets back as I realize oh, my right. surgery is going horribly wrong, yeah. I'm just like, oh my god, get the heart back in there, heal. Quickly, <laughs> hold everything in place and cast the heal. <laughs> don't you, don't you wish you'd take a risky surgery, surgery to go with this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, you do the D8 automatically, and then you do the uh, other one that I got. I think it's the, yeah. I don't remember the exact number, but you do yeah. damage before you Before you heal, like you a boost to the damage. Yeah, you get a boost to the healing, but you do damage before you do it. Yeah. And you crit fail when you go, wow. Yeah. Yes. Because purple is my favorite color. Yeah. And it's royal amethyst. Gotta be having fun. Almost fun as burning. It's been blob blob fast as you keep going. I was like, ah, this week's my birthday. Sure. Yeah. That's because we were when we were fighting the trolls. Probably used it. How did I do that? Yeah, I figured out that's his place. Remember, it's a miracle. Well, I did my, my uh, birthday uh, one shot. Oh yeah, because he yeah. got such a wimpy spell that yeah, I don't yeah. normally carry it around. But. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I tend to lean into No, I think it was right, right, right around there, there is when I started. Yeah. With the yeah. 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 That's not just going to be Well, we, we fought like everything spit acid at yeah. us, so we were so, so sure. Yes. Bartleby, yes. as you're squirming into this hole, um, please give me an acrobatics check. Probably looking at this 24. All right, you're squirming through there, not a problem. There's twisting and turning. There's some Probably jags really in there. Check. Give me another one, please. <laughs> Uh, better. 26. Right. Bartleby has now squirmed to this, into this hole out of the rest of your guys' view. You can no longer see him. Probably now going to And give sure. me a third one, please. We should have tied a rope to him. Yeah, we should have. Uh, 24. 24. Alright, you squirm through this hole and it opens up into a little bit of a larger area. You can't really stand in it, but you're hunched over and stuff. And you can see coins scattered all over the inside of this. Perhaps dozens of copper coins. Ooh, dozens oh of copper. And lying amongst them yeah. is a ruby of considerable size. And then this giant worm comes to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and in the reflection of the ruby. No. <laughs> right. All we hear is little screams coming from out of the hole. So I, uh, I will gather everything up. Okay. Um, The ruby I will uh, put in my mouth so that okay. I can crawl back. You have placed the ruby in your mouth. Yep. And you have gathered up almost almost a hundred copper coins into a little bag or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, you you didn't bring anything in with you, so no. you probably have your skivvies on. Oh, you got your prison pocket. Oh no, you said you were naked. You took it all off. I did. So you prison got uh, so you got you got a little under a hundred copper pieces. How are you going to yeah, get those now? Prison wallet time. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh, If it was gold, <laughs> yes. if it was gold, we'd find it. Nature, nature, nature would find a way. But <laughs> with copper. Mm. Keep it. Copy not what? Not shiny anymore. It's not worth <laughs> copper. Yeah, it's not worth copper. I can't do it. The not ruby, on the other hand. The ruby, though. Ruby. But I can't do it. Now, I know it's hundred. Oh, it's, it's a hundred copper, but I can't carry it. Mm -hmm. it. All right. So leaving the copper. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. You leave the copper behind. I mean, it's all platinum with copper coating. It's all tarnished platinum. <laughs> I could do some copper. 
don't know. I want to keep my hands free to Call be able to manipulate. Dollars. But out in the uh. other, out in the outer chamber, you guys feel a tremble in the ground. <clears throat> oh. Uh, by the way, everybody gets another hero point. Yeah. And there's coffee ready over there. Bobby, worm's coming. So if anybody wants coffee, help yourselves. Uh, uh, the cups yes. are in the cabinet up there. Barbie! Yeah. Worm yeah. coming! Yeah. So dead copper is a silver. It's gotta be worth at least a silver to me. So... I'm gonna eat ten copper. <laughs> Swallow that? <them>? Yes. <laughs> okay, you're swallowing Who's ten copper. Who's got risky surgery again? Because yeah. we're about to need it. Alright, you swallow ten know. copper. Okay, and then I'm gonna crawl back. <laughs> and you have the, de- the room in your mouth yes. and you crawl back out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> tomorrow you got to be going through your exactly. Poop. You got to keep an eye on things. Yeah. Yeah. You do realize it's poisonous, right? <laughs> I'll be okay. <laughs> Goblins eat worse things than that. All right. Uh, give me three acrobatics checks as you squeeze your way back out. Okay. Um, the lowest one I got was an eighteen. Does that make it? Um, so. You get stuck okay. part way out. Um, there's a jag that digs into your side. For a brief... Oh, oh. she's fine. She does it all the time. Yeah, Who's coughing? Okay. Give me another acrobatics to okay. get past the stuck. I take 10 points of damage. Okay. And it's still an 18. <laughs> Ooh, give me one more. We broke the ribs now. I know, right? Uh, that's Sadly. Then the uh, that is a 20. All right, you manage to move your way back out. You swear that that tunnel has narrowed just a little bit. Thanks. And then as you move out, you feel something tug at your ankle. Oh. Sure enough, that tunnel is getting narrower somehow. Yikes. And you manage to get out of there just as that tunnel closes in behind Yikes. you. Yikes. Wow. Worm coming. And then you notice this tremble in the ground as well. Okay. Uh, I, I was going to say, I grab my stuff, lay it on the ground, okay. and scoop it all up, and then run out. All right. At the moment, Krabby decided to become a lich. <laughs> yeah, come, by the way, I come crawling out like, with a ruby in my mouth. I don't take it out of my mouth. I just grab my stuff. We are going to run out. So you're, you have a ruby in your mouth. You're shouting to them. I just say, we are going to Let's do a fortitude save. You found a donut? Is that what you said? That's what I said. 25. Okay. Yeah. You do not swallow the ruby Good. as you're trying to shout. Good. It'd be hard to pass. <laughs> I speak Scooby. Hold on. Yeah. Um, so he's, he left the I'm room. I'm going right with you, man. Yeah. I figured okay. out the room's coming. All right, you guys leave the room. The question is, where are we going? Yep. Yeah, that seems good. So we need to stop somewhere along the way so I can re-gear. Uh, we'll just stop in the hall. The first room we come to on their way to that. We're, which path are you guys taking? Uh, we're coming from... Coming here. Yeah. Right there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think it's... <clears throat> and then once we get here, you can get dressed. So once you get to this room right here, you notice the corpse of something lying in that room, and it is crawling with maggots. Blood splatters all across the ground. That was the room, if I remember correctly, you found the little rust monsters in. Yeah. Um, but now there's a corpse of some creature it's completely ripped apart and crawling with maggots. Yikes. Uh, yeah, no, I'm putting all my gear on. Medicine check? To do what? See what killed it. To see what killed it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let, me, let me roll it. Right. Okay, plus nine. Um, it looks like it was killed by curved slashing weapons, similar to a scimitar. Ah, curved slashing weapons, similar to a scimitar. Mm. What was it? Mm. Uh, what? Somebody want to identify the humanoid? What? Is it easy to tell that it was, you know, a Duger or, or 
throughout the world. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this thing is mangled and slashed all the crap. So you, you somebody who's got to have to try to determine what this is. Who okay. wants to take a shot at that? I can. Is it a society check? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with straight perception to try to suss out what the heck this thing was. Mm. Oh, I can yeah. do that. Too. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, Grimshaw, you have absolutely no clue what this was. <laughs> yep, pizza face. <laughs> pizza face monster. Um, he eats pizza. That makes. Could I try a medicine check? Or nature to do what? Perception. To, oh, perception to kind of follow what he was doing to maybe find out what it is. So what I what I kind of don't want to do <clears throat> is just do the game where we okay. go around the table and everybody rolls to see okay. who gets a good roll. So generally speaking, if somebody makes an attempt at something like this, I'd like to consider that to be the group's attempt, since we generally have the person with the highest. Well, we they don't, they don't, I don't think we did in this case, right? He wasn't even close to the highest. He's an eleven. Right. Yeah, so you have like kind of 12. 12. 12. Yeah. Yeah. But I also have the higher medicine. Right. So I'll take his die roll and apply it to yours, okay, and you have no idea what this was. That's fine. Okay. Go down the hallway. Mm. Right. Is, there, is there a trail of of like droplets of blood leading off to whatever killed this and which way they went? Um, all the blood droplets are around the thing's corpse. Um, you look around, what's your survival? My survival is an 11. An 11. You look around and you don't see any droplets of blood or anything. What you do notice is a dirty rag on the floor that has blood covering it. Mm. Killed the rag too. Somebody <laughs> killed the rag. <laughs> okay. Somebody cleaned it. Somebody cleaned up after them. That's interesting. Trying to make sure that they couldn't figure out. Is there what happened? Tracks on the floor. Mm -hmm. Tracks on the yeah, floor. Yeah, like you, like now you take a look at the floor. Uh, what's your survival modifier again? A plus eleven. Plus eleven. You don't notice any tracks on the floor. Well, no, 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 you do. Mm -hmm. um, there are some boot prints on the floor. Um, some of them medium-sized creatures, and then a couple of them smaller creatures. Um, as you study the tracks, you're pretty sure there are probably six creatures passed through here at some point. Okay, so probably us. Us, yeah. They're ours, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, let's head down the tunnel. Are we ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. The tracks don't look like they go down this tunnel. They are on okay. tracks, right? Uh, yeah, the tracks, they go out this way. Go the like. other way, yeah. So you guys are going down the tunnel you haven't gone through before? Yep. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Uh, we, we already have a scout, so you're starting uh, okay. as helpful. I'm going to... Uh, you searching would be helpful. I'm I, a, I will search. I'm going to take the rear position. Oh, no, I don't think more searchers hurts. <laughs> Everything indeed. <laughs> That's preposterous. You guys aren't. You guys aren't. You guys aren't. You guys aren't. Clerks, you probably don't even know the culinary arts of orc cooking, which usually involves napalm. Cookies. Kill object. I just think eat funny object. If, if, cor if orc cooking was like the blandest blah stuff, because they just don't care. Right. Okay, so you guys go down this tunnel. Move up this way, yep. and stand by. And when you get here, there is a portcullis mm. down, blocking the way. A door here to the north, and the tunnel curves around that way. And now I'm going to describe what you see inside that room there. Three trolls trapped by the portcullis. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm grabbing it for them. They each have magic bows. Uh, hold on a second. Fireball's still fun. Yeah. At some point, y'all are gonna have to explain to Mark what happened when he teleported away. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all right. We will. No worries. Mm -hmm. we, like, we probably have. Um, yeah. You probably have. You've been adventuring. Just FYI. 
but I want to say this before it happens, just in case it does happen. I am taking up the rear position specifically to keep an eye on our backs because I don't trust whatever was happening back there. Okay. All right. Um, that room here that's blocked off by a portcullis is mostly bare. The floor slopes down toward a large hole on this end of the room right there. Um, and a chest stands in the corner near the hole, and it looks like it's on the brink of falling into this hole. Are there bright red trap signs over there? <laughs> you do not notice any <laughs> glowing fluorescent lines indicating that this is a trap. Uh, and the portcullis is down, right? It is down. Is there any sort of levers or anything? Look for a lever, I suppose. Looking around, you don't notice any levers in this area here. Darn. I could lift it. Is there? All right, I left the bar. Please lift it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Somebody get a, is there a, a brace. keyhole in this portcullis. Port 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 no keyhole. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to lift the portcullis. Okay. And you go to grab this portcullis, and your hands grab onto it, and you find it is covered with grease, old grease, but grease nonetheless, making it slippery and difficult to get purchase on. It's still attempt, of course. Piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Clean. Yep. Got crummy. Crummy custom. No, actually, I can't. I traded it for acid splash. <laughs> ah, can you yeah, use acid good. splash then to Back get rid off, of the acid as a degreaser? The door. It wouldn't be a degreaser, but it might de, de door. <laughs> yeah, oh, that works too. <laughs> If you back off because it splashes. Yes, yes. Uh, back it up. True. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> All right, so you're going to sit there and just start acid splashing this iron, slowly melting it down. The metal is very vulnerable to acid. It'll be easy. Okay. So you guys sit there, half an hour goes by, and you're able to open up. Oh, but don't work. Oh, poor Colt. I know, but I can hit it for D6 plus 4 every 6 seconds. That's <laughs> all. So, a lot of acid. By the and rules, it probably only does two points of damage every once in a while. Because of the hardness. Hardness. Uh-huh. And, and eventually, however, you manage to melt away a large enough hole that you could crawl through. A medium-sized creature could crawl through. I think we should tie off whoever's going down there with some rope and so that that way if there's anything in that hole down at the bottom and we can pull them out before they get stuck down there yeah, you guys know, don't strike me as the reasonable precaution types <laughs> <laughs> we should have actual actually two ropes mm-hmm. one, I saw, and, hey guys i saw this on him ropes. on one mm-hmm. and leading on one so he can tie off the the handle of the chest um I'll move toward the edge of the hole and look down it. It would be better to have some talk small and just go in. Right. So Grim totally talk. ignoring all of us. <laughs> and there, there's that, there's that lack of caution you mentioned. Yeah. There it is. Because we're all like tying ropes on bars. Everybody's making plans. We're over Grim yeah. at the whole group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anybody down there? We're planning on sending that. Right. You guys, are, you guys are getting your ropes out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. I was gonna say, I was thinking one of you two. Well, I said the acrobatics expert one could send a heavy orc. <laughs> so, like, then we have the strong Let's people holding the rope. No, yeah. apparently not. Send the heaviest guy. Yeah. <laughs> no rope. So you're moving across the chamber. You can feel the floor shifting slightly. Oh, I go back your feet. And then you back off. You only got about halfway across the chamber before that started to happen. Hey! <laughs> Totally not safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I um, to send you. You can definitely, you guys can definitely see that the floor is literally sloping down, right. and you sense that it was unstable. So putting that together, you guys are pretty sure that this floor is in the midst of collapsing downward. But I mean, that chest is sitting there at the far end. All right. Thick iron bands around it. What's climb? Is that a- 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 uh, athletics? You do yeah. athletics. Climb? So yeah, athletics. My suggestion yeah. is that. Hold up. I might have a tool for this. I, I have a grappling yeah. hook. Well, oh, athletics? I'm actually... Try to grapple it and bring it in. I might, I might be the best climber. Here. I'm 13. Yeah, I have, I have a plus two because of my tail. Oh. Oh, yeah. Tail goblin yeah. came in here. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Yep. All right, here, tie a rope to you. So if you if you die, we'll at least be able to retrieve your corpse. 
What's up, grappling hook again? <laughs> Are you sure? Sure you well, don't want to just go fishing? I'm not. No, I, I want to do both. Yeah. I Fair agree. Enough. I don't want to, because I don't think going to grab it is reasonable. You want to use pittons so. in the wall? By fishing. Does there seem to be? Uh, could you could you use mage hand to tie a rope off? I don't know if I could tie the rope, but I could certainly hook a grappling hook on something if there's something to hook it on. Is there a handle Assuming on the chest? Assuming it's within the range of mage hand, which well, somebody with better athletics than me should be holding the grappling hook, feet. but I will offer it up to you. But Mei Chan could tie the rope around the chest. I don't know if Mei Chan ways. can be that. Yeah, I don't know how oh. how how much it can do. Yeah, we should check that. Out. Might animate rope or something. Is it fifth e Mei Chan where you can pick locks and stuff with it? Mm, do not believe so. No, there's there's not a lot of places where Mei Chan is terribly useful. It's just supposed to be. It's like really like, good for picking stuff up and moving. Yeah, but it's not open, like open uh, doors. It's yeah, not a it's not a, not a, not a tool. <laughs> huh? Most doors are kind of heavy for it. Although yeah. I, I can now do a little more weight. It's bulk, so it's hard to say. I can now do bulk one, which is like small weapons and things. Yeah, most weapons, but not a chest. I want to say. I can't imagine I can make the chest. The of, of a bulk one is like five to ten. Pounds. Yeah, I mean they don't ever say. But yeah, you could definitely like, tie a rope. Well, I, most weapons are more. Like you could. Heel you could tie more. a loop, a lasso loop, around the chest, and then Back you can pull it taut. Right. So I, I have. Um, I have, because of my tail, I also automatically get a combat climber. So I can hold the grappling hook and still climb. Yeah. So I can try to make sure I get in there and it doesn't fall. So we can, if, we, if the mage hand can't do it, I can get in there and get it. I mean, if it's, if it's a matter of weight, the grappling hook is light, so that's not going to be yeah, issue. So the manipulate if you can do it or not. Right, exactly. Right. So I would think hooking the grappling hook, if there's a, something to hook it on, would be no big deal. That's all with it moving a tiny How rope. far out was it starting to collapse, it looked like? He uh, said about halfway. halfway, but I don't know how big the room is, so. But I can mage hand out to 60 feet, so. I mean, it roughly looks about the same length as the mm. diesel room, so I'd guess roughly about the same, which I think he said was 50 feet. Yeah, it's probably about close to that, which means no air of the chest is I should be able to get the grappling hook to it. It's up to Luke to decide whether I can hook it or not. Because it isn't supposed to be a fine manipulation spell. I mean, it's like I said, it's not picking locks and things. It's yeah. moving an object is officially the the definition. I have like three month old beef jerky here. I should probably eat it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Beef jerky lasts forever. Yeah, it's, I do know. It's that's kind of the point of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get a refrigerator too, so that's really yeah. Fine. So, if someone wants to tie the rope to the grappling hook, we can try the main channel. If that doesn't work, we can send in the uh, climbing well, goblin. Yeah, uh, how how fine of manipulation does uh, second edition mage hand, hand mage hand have? What's the question again? How, how question? fine of manipulation does second edition mage hand have? Because in like fifth E, you can like pick locks and sh you, you, you can't. The arcane trickster could. Arcane trickster because of their thing, but yeah, most of the time. Mage uh, hand basically says it moves an object. Is all it says. So. Does the chest have a handle or anything that we could hook a grappling hook to? Okay, then Mage Hand's probably not going to help. However, if we make a lasso... It says it, it grasps a target object and moves it slowly up to 20 feet. Right. Because you're levitating the object, you move it in direction. When you sustain spell, da 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 um, It's got to be a... What is it? It's, I have third level, so I can do a bulk one object. So a bulk one object. This, I'm sure I can't move the chest. Yeah, I'm not sure offhand what bulk one is, but the chest is pretty darn big. No, I'm yeah, sure we can't move the chest. He was trying to move the, the, the grappling hook. The question was, could I do the, the put a grappling hook or a rope in? And... I mean, by the by the description of this, it literally is intended to just grab something and move it. Right. 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 Which doesn't imply fine manipulation, right. such as tying a rope. And I said, that's why I'm like, I can't imagine any way I could tie a rope. No, no, we don't. We definitely, yeah. I definitely did not. It was so, whether you could move it enough to like hook a grappling hook. I was going to so say, could you, could you that, position that's the mage feasible, but, but there's but nothing there's, to hook it to. No no could you position the mage hand behind the chest to where it pushes it back in the room? Only if it's bulk one. Yeah. Well, what is bulk one? So it's incredibly annoying because they don't really They tell. don't last, but I mean, like the armor, the adventurer. I think it's all dependent on the weapon. Musical instrument. It's all one. It's like anywhere from the Bible is five to fifteen. <laughs> a ten foot pole right. is bulk one. Right. Mm -hmm. A four person tent is bulk one. So I mean, yeah. So five to fifteen sounds about accurate. Yeah, it's a hoe. It's that size of something. A ten foot pole size. Ten foot of chain. That's 
Let's see if uh, nothing. An item that weighs five to ten pounds is one bulk. Mm -hmm. Five to ten. Theoretically, after about ten pounds, I could. A basic. No, this thing is chest. more than ten pounds. Right. I'm sure. I'm sure the chest is for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Hmm? A basic alone uh, is too without to you. Yep. You climb out there, I hold the rope, angle. make sure you don't fall, or we tie it to the remaining bars of the portcullis. So, yeah. chest is probably dry. All right, well, I'm going to go to the, the bathroom where you die. I mean, will you go <laughs> <Yes. just. laughs> so, Will you go out to the mimic? I'm going to go Tying to a rope to our, our, our rogue, our faded rogue here. We're going to loop it around one of the pol remaining poles of the portcullis, so right. it gives it a little bit of extra torque, mm -hmm. like a pulley sort of thing, and then I'm going to brace to emergency pole if he falls. All right. And then maybe and just tug it occasionally. And you're climbing, uh, what? What are you doing? So yes, I'm, so I'm gonna go into the room slowly, clinging to the wall. Okay. And I'm just gonna walk against the wall, right? Mm -hmm. And when it starts to get too shaky, I'm gonna- So to actually climb on the climb, wall. Yeah. So you know there's no pressure at all the floor. Correct. Okay. Yep. And, and by the way, I have, I have combat climber, so I, I can I have one free hand. Okay. So I will be able to. Excellent. So. That's you're well um, made for this situation. So let's do some athletics checks yep. then. Give me one of those, sir. Uh, Thirty-three. Ooh, you you get up when it starts to get the you can feel the wall the floor giving a little bit. Get up on the wall, climb around. You're now over the chest, mm -hmm. um, and you can see down this hole as well. Okay. A little ways. Um, you have dark vision? I do. You do? So you can see down below, um, and it, it looks like there's a tunnel that goes down a little bit, um, and then it opens up into a, a larger cavern down below, and you can see water, calm, tranquil water down below. Interesting. And you're within reach of the chest at this point. Okay. All right, here goes nothing. Wait. I do have a tiny bit of thievery. I'm gonna look it over and see if it's trapped in some way if I were to touch it. Okay. <clears throat> what do you need from me? Uh, perception? That's perception. I got it. Okay. I did the Kickstarter. You're in plus nine in that. Yes, sir. Not yet. Mm -hmm. It didn't turn into anything. Not yet. Not yet. Luke, I'm a little disappointed. Dice. Push button. It hasn't, we haven't gotten there yet. Oh. Okay. It, might, it might. So, as you're looking this chest over, yeah. you notice that there is an ever so faint rune of some sort that's etched into this chest. And it looks like it, there's some sort of enchantment over this rune that's supposed to keep it invisible. But your eyes notice the engraving that was placed on the chest, or perhaps the rune somehow impressed it a little bit. There's definitely a rune of some sort laid upon this chest. All right, I'm, I'm just stick to the wall and yell that. Crummy, there's magic on this thing. How far away is the chest from us? <laughs> Made you <a> nudge <laughs> right. from the chest up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, on we go. All right. Let me see. 10, 20, 30, 40. It's about 50 feet away. I'm probably not going out there. Mm -hmm. Probably I'm going to tell you, I'm probably not able to climb out there. Mm -hmm. He no climb. How far? Oh, I'll climb back and we'll throw things at it. Mm. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. it occurs to you, Bartleby. Yeah. That you might perhaps. I mean, you've spotted the rune. You I could try to, to disrupt dis the dis magic disable. of the rune yeah. by maybe scratching it out or something. Ooh, it's like a so as a uh, let me ask this mechanics question because I don't know. Maybe you all know, but um, I don't use my thievery much to disable. Is this would this be a disable? Would this I be able to disable? Absolutely a thievery. Well, I'm sorry, would, I, would I be? I'm trying to say since it's magical, would I still be able to disable it? You're, pre you're pretty sure that because you spotted where that room okay. is, that you could use your theory okay. to try to scratch it out and then disable it that way. You're pretty sure. You are trained in thievery, right? I am. Yeah. I am trained in thievery. Oh, crap. You're just trained? Yes. However, you've heard many tales of minor thieves trying to mess with magic and getting yet. fried. I see. 
Maybe so this is best the left for experts. Uh, yeah. All right. So, so I yell back. So. I can't. I can't figure it out. I don't know enough about this stuff. Do we have another rope to send me in and try to get there? I got a rope. <laughs> How's your climb? Climb pretty good. Uh, my climb isn't bad. Yeah. Athletics. Athletics. Athletics would be not, not bad. I do have quick jump though. So yeah, that might not be bad. <laughs> and. Um, how strong Marv? <laughs> uh, 16. Oh, Marv's strong. Um, uh, what's quick jump? It basically reduces the speed of the, the amount of... It allows me to jump in single actions instead of double. Mm. That's not long jump. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. I do have ways of saving myself as I fall. I rope, give Marv. I'm willing to try it. <clears throat> Stay, you come back. Um, no, I'm going to stay. Uh, the question I... Um, Copy me, popcorn. <laughs> is it worth following the expert here? Is it ever not? What does... I always forget. Yeah, I was exactly what follow the expert does. Basically, it gives you a plus two. Because I am an expert. If you trained in, in no. athletics, it'll give you a plus but two. But if he's going to attempt to disable it, how does that help you? Oh, no, follow the expert to climb out. Just for his climb check. Oh! Just for his climb check. Not not for the fever. Yeah, that could. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah because you I could, could tell him, hey, yeah, put your hand here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. that would work. That's it's effectively two, because you're already trained. If I remember when we looked for it, gives you a plus two. It gives you a plus two, right. If you're not trained, it gives you something else, but yeah. if you're trained, it gives you a plus two. Makes you trained, basically, but if you're not, you just get yeah. plus two. Which is so still am better than what you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. That's my thing. I don't think there's ever a downside to No, it. there's never a downside to it, but. But. I think the worst case is if you're already an expert, it doesn't do anything for you. Yeah. Yeah, you gain circumstance bonus based on your allies' proficiency. Plus right, which right now I'm not a master yet, so you're just gonna you get plus two. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you, you get your level as a proficiency bonus, and then the plus two, which he already has the proficiency bonus so that can't be doubled, but Correct. he still gets he the already plus has two. proficiency bonus. Right. Okay. So untrained athletics, right? Like Kabi. Like Krabi would get. Yeah, did, exactly. did we already go over, judging by the decline, how far up is that ledge from where the decline meets the wall? What, Estimation. what ledge are we talking about? Well, you, you said that it, it. Or is the chest at the bottom of that decline? Okay. Yeah, it's the bottom of the decline. Okay, alright. I, I thought it was up on a ledge. Nope. Okay. Alright. Well, we get a rope tied to me and I'll. Work my way down. Okay, so, so another rope tied to him. Yeah, All right, who's holding that Marv rope? Marv, uh, I'll thread it through. And You're holding both Marv, ropes now? No, Marv's got one. Marv's got, got one. one. Okay, all right. I'm assuming Say doesn't have So, so athletics Marv. check, and you have a plus two because he's helping you out? I'm super excited. Uh, Marv, how, how about you hold his rope? And, cause, and I'll hold that rope because I'm okay. super strong. Cool. And, okay. And I'm lighter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and I loop it through the gate again. I'm going to burn the hero. Where'd it go? You, you never gave us second one. Second one. So I never, never gave, gave us the one that we don't have one. That's <laughs> 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 athletics. <laughs> Only because I have the untrained improvisation. Right. right. Alright. You've been very good today. Awesome point. <laughs> Two awesome points. So that first one will be a 30. 30. Alright, yeah, you get over to the chest without a problem at all. It's just more for you to lose, though. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and so I'm up to the chest. See, here's why she and and so I'll says. point out to you the runes. He carefully you look right there. You can see that. And make my thievery check to disable the All runes right. that he's showing. And you're an expert? Yes. Please make your thievery check. Oh, yeah, 30. 30. 30. That's good. All right, you scratch okay. those runes out without a problem, and you're pretty sure you've disabled it. Do we want to? 
I mean, bring the whole yeah, yeah, now's the time. Yeah, that's if we can, yeah. All right, I reach down and I will. Is there going to handle or anything? Yeah. Like, how, how, what? The idiot already said no handle. No, yeah. okay, yeah. so can I. Like how big is it? Is can I pick it up? Oh, but it's, I mean, it's a decent sized chest. Uh, probably something like could, that. Or okay, something. if it's like that, though, it's theoretical. He could, that I could, he could hold on to it. I have an 18 strength. So, right. Uh, they, I'm it's, really it's, strong. It's going to make it hard to climb. Well, could I pull him out? Mm -hmm. He's on the there. floor, and you're dragging him on the floor. That would probably help. It might be a little easier for me to carry as a. Why don't you empty the chest? Climb? I'm not climbing. I walk. <laughs> you what? As far as I knew. <laughs> What? I Did I climb? Open oh, the climb. box! Yeah. That was climbing. That athletics o was climbing. Op okay. Open the box and empty it into your pocket. Mm -hmm. well, that might be a bunch of coins. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Put it in a bag! Mm -hmm. They look like look like this. Jingle, jingle. We can at least... Oh, no. Not on the... On the Would the you board. take the grappling hook with you or not? Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to, we don't have it, any, depending on how I have it, if you were to like, tie it to tie your it back around. or something somehow, mm -hmm. then you'd Wrapping be able to climb the thing, a little bit less back, be or in. Okay, that's where you can help. <laughs> tie that thing to me. <laughs> tie it to me. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start using that one. <laughs> I don't, there's, the, the, what, what am I going to put the grappling hook on? I'm here, what am I going to put it on? You wrap, you use the wrap. Wrap it by what, by, by what? Not Picking up the chest? No, you wrap How it. How am I going to wrap it? Picking up the chest? If I wrap it around like this, it's going to slip right off. You use the grappling hook to tie it around the chest. <laughs> you, you find, okay, you're not going to part. And then you hold the loose end, you guys come You're not going to the part where in order to tie it, I have to do this. And in order to do that, I have to lift it up. And if I have to lift it up, these guys are shouting back and forth. You can hear some noises coming from down the hole. Of course. Of course. We gotta move. <laughs> All right, we gotta move. Let's go. So I'm tying friendly noises. To you. Yeah, friendly noises, happy noises. Tying the chest to you. <laughs> what kind of check am I making to, to tie the chest to him? How heavy is it when he picks it up? Yeah. Oh, how heavy is it when you pick it up? Well, Just curiosity. That's you know. a good thing to, to know. See how much explosive. <laughs> <gun punch. laughs> yeah, empty chest. That would be hilarious. Well, hey there, Twitch. Hey. How you doing, old man? Um, the chest is probably about maybe 15, 20 pounds. Okay. It's more bulky than it is heavy. That's fair. <laughs> so maybe I could have moved it. Mm -hmm. It's right on the edge of moving. It's quite familiar. Oh, so, that's my other I guess if we're going with planning to tie it to you, you I mean, tie it to him. What? What, 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 okay, what, what, would you, what is your plan? We gotta, we gotta go. So, yeah. what, would you, what would you like um, to do? Do we want to do we want to open it up and try to scoop it out? We're waiting for this thing to come to get us, or should we just yeah? That's probably that our best. Right. Bet. So we're just is it out. is it locked? Would be the other. I don't know. Option. I don't. We don't got time to check that now. Something's yeah, you, coming for us. I'll try and open it. Okay, so you try and open it. There is like a little divot or whatever you know that you can get your hand sure. under to open it, and it opens right up. Okay. And Oops. inside the chest, you can see there is um, a small pouch. There is a single bolt lying in the bottom. There is a vial. And there is a suit of hide armor, it looks like. And this hide armor looks like it was made out of decayed, diseased skin. And it seems to move just a little bit, rippling of its own accord. See, you want to carry it? <laughs> Not immensely, but someone put the lotion on. <laughs> right. <laughs> Going to stuff all the small stuff into a, a pouch. Okay. That'll be probably everything except for that hide armor. Yeah, and I guess we just grab the as disgusting as it is, grab it and carry it out okay, yeah, so we can get it figured out. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. You can gather that stuff, get the hide armor. Mm -hmm. You guys are trying to make your way back. Yeah. And the noises coming from down that hole are a lot more audible now. And they begin to echo throughout the chamber. All of you can hear the noises now. <laughs> and you guys are beginning to go back across. Yep. Yes. Okay. Just give me athletics checks. Now let's and, on the noise. Plus nine. Um, so you're studying this noise and listening to it. And as you do so, you see something come up out of the hole. And you hear a metallic ching as a grappling hook grabs into the side of the floor and then clings in. You guys are like halfway across the room and then the brick cobblestone on the floor gives way, rips off and you hear a plunk down below. And then you hear voices down below, um, stand by. 
find page number for this. <laughs> and throw away the perfectly good chest that's worth money. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, Simu, Simu, um, you, the rest of you can hear something faint. Simu, you're close enough as you're climbing through the wall across the room that you can just make out what the voices are saying as they echo up. Um, it is in Dalkir, and the voices are saying, Cry again! Assuming I have time to cast a spell, mm -hmm. illusory object. On the other side of them, there's a wall. On the other side of them? Yeah, between them and the hole. What is that? A, how big is that? Uh, 40, uh, 50 feet. I'll look at that big. I think it's 20. I will check and make sure. I think it's 20 or something like that. 250 feet. It's a special version. Um, I, meanwhile, I the, the two of you get back with the rest of the group. 20 foot area. What did you get in your athletics? Uh, tw uh, I got a... Uh, 24. Okay. And 27. Okay, yep, you guys are back with the well, rail. Well, it's a 20-foot burst, so it's 40 feet wide. I take a spot and it goes okay. 20 feet. Okay, so way. you put a, a looser wall there. Yep. All right. Can I see whatever this thing was? Perfect. Perfect. Sure this will burst up. That popped out of the hole no, briefly. Out of the hole. The Nothing came out of the hole. Like Only a grappling hook, but then it hit the cobblestone right. and it fell back down. Mm -hmm. in. Judging from the noise, it's Hunt Prey specifically bridge. says a creature that it's I can hear. Uh, can I Hunt Prey the creature that I hear and try to do a recall knowledge on it? Um... Yep. What's your society modifier? Uh, plus eight. You've no idea. Okay. Uh, gotta try. <laughs> gotta try. All right. So you guys are all now. You're back by the portcullis, and you can hear voices echoing up out of the hole. What are you doing? All directions from a single square. Uh, so the floor has fallen out from under them, right? No. 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 Okay. Single yeah. cobblestone fell down okay. in. Okay. And what exactly did I hear them saying? Try again. Try again. Try again. Okay. And now there's a wall between us. Yeah. Uh, a beautiful dungeon wall. I think we should assist in getting them out of there. Yeah, by collapsing the floor down on top of them. Yeah, they were yelling in Dalkir, right? Not that I know what that is. I just thought they were not yelling. They were all yelling I, language, all I, I heard was, kill me, I'm an unholy worshiper, mm -hmm. I'm unclean. That's what I heard coming from the hole, and I'm about to oblige them. You can't see him anymore. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> can't see him anyway. What was the decision on Kravik and see through his own illusions? I assume I know they're fake. Can, yeah, yeah. We, I was going to say, we said that. Yeah. I assume I know they're fake, so I can We said that we, we can see through your own illusion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, get everybody to the side of the port to listen, and let's see what happens. Yeah. Right. It's my thought at least. You guys just waiting? I mean, unless we just want to leave, we can do that too, if it makes you happy. Yeah, uh, yeah, we could just ready break it, ready for an attack. Well, I was going to say, they're, they're, they're coming either way. Yeah. Maybe they'll get stopped by the wall for some period of time. Well, I figured once they're up there, throw a fireball at them. Well, no, that's my point. <laughs> I agree with you. My point is not to go away. Yeah, yeah I agree that's what I figured. That. I'll wait and see if they actually do come up while fireball them. I, I hear you there. Mm -hmm. I'll stand blocking the door so they can't get through. <clears throat> but another, see if they come up. Another grappling hook comes up. Mm -hmm. This time it finds a purchase. Or I can just make you have the grappling hook and throw it back off. Repeatedly, is that long the patient's face? Oh, that's funny. Did you knock down the stuff so it was in the I did not, because I wasn't sure it was ever getting back to us. Oh, but fair it's enough. It's like the little coconut pygmies from Moana. So it was a small bag, I remember that. Yeah, small pouch. Small pouch. Small pouch. The horrible hide armor. Yeah. The really horrible hide armor. Yeah. That's a good name for it. That is a good name for it. Horrible hide armor. What else do you remember? Those are the two things I remember. Single hole. Oh, single that's right. Yeah, single crossbow hole. That's right. Because I was like, ooh, that's either nothing or something really cool. So, after a few moments, you guys see the head of a creature. It looks like that. Pop. Well, 
Krabi sees this. The rest of you, I think, are looking at the illusory wall, right? Correct. Krabi yeah. sees that. So Krabi, you see a creature. It looks like that. Pop its head up. looks around. And it looks back down. And now, Krabi, you can hear it say, you speak Delkir. You can hear it say, Hey, this wall! Was it here before? <laughs> and, and it climbs up where the chest once was. It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a medium creature, but it's pretty scrawny and light, not too heavy looking. Battle and it's staying <laughs> back against the wall, uh, almost as though it knows this floor is unstable. Right. And several more creatures begin to emerge from the hole. And Krabi, and who else ever understands down here, you can hear a conversation <laughs> of they're basically discussing this wall, how it got here. And then one of them says, Shaman! The Shaman will know! The shaman can bring it down. And then another says, The chest is gone. No, it's not. They didn't take the chest. They took the stuff out and left the chest. Right? It's, it's open. Okay. <clears throat> the chest, it's empty. There you go, okay. She can shove it down. Top I of wanted to take the That chest is worth 15 gold now. I'm just saying. <laughs> and then one of the creatures leans down over the hole and says, Thieves have stolen the treasure. And a voice echoes up. You can't make out what it says. And then these creatures begin to make their way toward the illusory wall. They're coming. Ready, fireball. There are um, a total of six of these creatures making their way across the room. Does the floor look like it's shifting around under them? Um, they're sticking. They have their backs to the wall. They're not at the center at all. They're right up against the wall, and they're inching their ways around. Way how around. wide is the room? About 40 feet? The room is... It's about 30 feet wide and 50 feet long, roughly. Perfect. Once they're about halfway to the wall-ish. Uh-huh. You drop a fireball on Oh, yeah. Okay, you drop a fireball! Finally! <laughs> All right, you throw a fireball in there. Flames rip through the room. And then give me some damage. What kind of... Um, reflex save. What's the DC? 21. 21, all Mission. right. Assess a penalty because they didn't know it was coming. Mm -hmm. I don't think that exists. I don't think it does either, but it you're the GM. You can make anything exist. Yeah, exactly. You're the GM. Who's to say you couldn't but, but, make uh, it exist? I don't really know what that you used to get. Me, <laughs> I you know. don't. I 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 don't. Oh, baby. 20, 29, 32. And the DC is what? 21. 21? Two critical fails would be really cool. It is my first fireball, well, that I cast. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. I'm so happy. Happy first fireball. Grab fireball! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the smell of bad guano in the morning. It um, smells like victory. And the DC was what? 21. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. What was the damage? 32. Okay, so double. Oh, happy, happy dice. Happy dice. Happy dice. Yeah, yeah, plus two from the burn. So flames yeah. rip through the oh, I apologize. Room. 31. I added three for the burn. When the, when the flames have cleared, you all. The flames have now revealed this as an illusion because they've interacted with it in plain sight. See how that works. You guys works. all now see five blackened, charred corpses <laughs> lying against the walls, and there's one of these creatures remaining. Burns all over its skin. Part of its skin is melted and dripping down its side. It screams <laughs> in agony and begins running back toward the hole. However, it's not sticking to the wall. It's just making a bead line right across the floor. And as it gets toward the hole, the floor collapses underneath it, cobblestones falling downward, and the thing drops out of sight. And you hear a long scream, and then a pss -pss -pss and splashes as cobblestones and creatures presumably fall into the water that a couple of you have seen below. Hi! Fireball. <laughs> uh, I bet that was quite a sight to see. Um, I, of course, didn't see it. Prevent your evil ways. 
Walk away. Not even. Got me fireball. No, no, I was just telling them. To... <laughs> oh, Luke, can we get the contents of the chest again? I'm sorry, but it didn't get written down. I want to make sure you miss anything. A small pouch, the hide armor, and the single bolt. But yeah, that's it. That's it, right? Was that all three? I just it was a small there. pouch, which you had not looked in. A, vial. a bolt, a vial, a vial that contains that liquid, and then there was the hide armor. Yep. I felt like there was one more thing you said. Yeah, that was vials. What we missed. Yeah. So, would you like to look in the pouch? I don't. I mean, uh, I don't have it. I just uh, have to cut the. I mean, let's. Once we're somewhere a little safe. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty safe here. <laughs> For the moment. <laughs> so. <sighs> Anybody know what those were? Uh, ah, you all got a good sight of them. Um, I think they were. Can, can I roll a base knowledge nature check? Yeah. They cook. Um, nature will be fine. Sure. Uh, what, what's your nature? Uh, plus eleven. So, it's certainly some sort of reptilian amphibian creature, okay. right? Um, you think you've heard of subterranean creatures before, um, but <coughs> these particular ones <coughs> you believe are something called a boggard. <coughs> um, but they're not normally subterranean. These are normally creatures that just live in swamps. What they're doing down here you don't know. Um, but they're almost never far from water, that's for sure. Um, these creatures are evil little buggers, and they are given to worship. They will always find something to revere and worship. B O G G E R T? Boggart? B O G G A R D. A R D. Found something to worship. Fire! Yeah. So I, I, re, I just let everyone else all know right, all good. this info. Good, good. Okay. So. <clears throat> Excellent. We, I mean, we have a bunch of stuff to identify. We do. Oh. We, we do. <laughs> do we want to look in the check pouch, the rest really? of this hall? Uh, these other two doors. I think it might not be bad to at least check out here and make sure. Yeah, because we don't want to get ambushed. Yeah. So what are you guys doing? Going down to the door there, I think. Yeah. The one on the left or the one check down the door on for the traps. L. Yeah, there's an L there too. So. Right. I figured we'd do the door because it's yeah, on the way to the L, right? Yeah. You don't see any traps on the door. Uh, open the door. <laughs> God, all of his stealth is now like disadvantage because he's like, I'll be happy. Cobby's a disturbing little goblin. <laughs> You open that door in a very large room, Ooh. and there is a shelf holding dozens, if not hundreds, of skulls running around the entire perimeter of this room. You can see a suit of full plate armor lying against one of the walls. Easy, big fella. Now it's, <laughs> co <laughs> it's, co <laughs> it's covered with dust and cobwebs, but from where you're standing, it looks to be in remarkably good condition. You also notice there are two levers on this wall. So there's a lever, or a couple levers like right here and right here. But one of those is for the port <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but maybe another port goes somewhere. Two for second lever. Uh, this is probably a trap scanning. So, somebody with a better perception than me. And animated armor, which I saw in Delicious in the Dungeon. Oh, Apparently, that show is hilarious. Apparently, animated armor is a type of shellfish. Have you seen that show? Delic that. Delicious in Dungeon? No. It's about a, a deep, like, D&D &D adventuring party, uh -huh. and they basically culinary eat their way through a dungeon. Like mm -hmm. eating the monsters and the creatures in the dungeon, mm -hmm. and the the, sh the chef is a dwarf. Okay. Yeah. He's awesome. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you. Which one are you? Okay. You got the better. I don't care. You have better perception. <laughs> than I do. You're doing what? Scout. Uh, 
looking around the room for traps. Sure, and traps. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm going to uh, stand parallel with the armor with my axe, staring at it, just waiting for it to to animate and 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 eat everybody. <laughs> okay. All right. So he looks around, and you take a good look at everything and. You you don't notice any of any traps or anything, necessarily. Um, but have you gone into the room? Or are you just from the doorway? Uh, assumed we were going through. Gonna have to scan. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then you as well. Okay. So you begin searching it. The moment you step in the room, every single skull in that room, the jaws and the teeth begin chattering. <laughs> All of them. Hundreds of them. This sound fills this room, this chattering of bone on bone, grinding on your senses. It's very nerve-wracking, but you're able to proceed through the room if you choose to continue. Mm -hmm. This happens as soon as you step with, through the threshold. Reminds me of home. Reluctantly, oh. we gotta figure out what's going on, so... Yeah, um, somebody disabled the school chattering. Yeah. Give them, give them a piece of bark. <laughs> yeah. How anyway, many hours do we have? <laughs> many channels? Right, how many hours? I take position near the armor. Okay. Because I am almost certain we will animate and destroy us all. All right, you're staring down the armor. You're looking for traps and other hazards and yeah. stuff. And you don't, I mean, besides these ominous hundreds of skulls, you don't notice anything in there that looks like a hazard or a trap. The suit of armor looks mundane enough to you as well, despite his conviction that it's some sort of animated thing. No, oh, it's always animated. Pass that info along to the rest. Seems safe enough to enter and try to figure this out. How far is the armor from the door? Not too far. The armor's like right here. Oh, good. For without going in the room, detect magic. <laughs> it's not magical. I didn't think it was. Yeah. Boring idea to die, but there was a chance to have a room. But it's still worth people. a lot of money. Um, Who's going to carry it? I would. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Right there. I don't know if I'm ready to touch it yet. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? Um, Every board. Yeah, I'm kind of bored too, so... Everyone wants to throw more fireballs. But when I'm bored, I tend to stab things I shouldn't stab. Alright. Um... I thought that was when you were confused. Bored. Annoyed. Yeah. Bored, annoyed, confused. We never did look in the small pouch, I'm just gonna point out. We didn't, yeah. Well, yeah. we were supposed to have. Um... Because it wasn't safe there to look in a pouch. <laughs> yeah. It's safer here. <laughs> the chattering <laughs> skull room. Um... Uh... Okay, well, if you, if you think it's safe, I'm going to go try to pull the armor out of the room. Okay. <clears throat> you move over to grab the armor. You're just finishing up your search, and you notice that in one of the skulls, you can see um, in the eye socket, there is a gemstone, a quartz. It's a dead image. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> you grab the armor. Yep. And as soon as you place your hands on that armor, all of the skulls stop chattering. They go completely still. Going down the hall. What if I? So I put my hands on. I'm trying to pull. What if I take my hand? Lift your hand off. Yeah. They begin chattering again. So the only option is you have to wear the armor. So he begins to tap yes. on it in a staccato rhythm, <laughs> causing the teeth right. to chatter, creating a nice little Start playing a song. <laughs> um, or you could hit like the perfect resonance where they shatter, the skull shatters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the bard thing to do. It is definitely. Yeah, if you were a bard, if you had to go, this guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun if you were a bard. Chopsticks. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Guys, <laughs> right. so. I had to roll the natural one, which means I've hit the harmonic re um, yeah, frequency yeah, yeah. of the dungeon yeah. itself. <laughs> the dungeon. Oh, on. We know when you touch the armor, they stop. Yeah. And I have found one with a quartz eye. Okay. What are you thinking? Do you want me to touch the armor so you can grab it? 
to see if that's right. some kind of a... Mm -hmm. Not a terrible idea. <clears throat> Willing to try it if you are. Mm -hmm. I, I will place my hands on the armor. I'm not dragging it out yet, but I'll put okay. my hands on put it. Put your hands on it and the skulls stop chattering. And I will make an attempt to grab the quartz from that one okay. it, skull. It looks like it's um, set in there pretty well. Um, you're probably going to need to, like, you know, use a knife or some sort of tool to get it out of there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Strike. Right. the skull. Uh, yeah. I've got a throwing knife or... I mean, I've got thieves' tools. Yeah. Something, probably something in thieves' tools, like a bar yeah. or something. Knives weren't really meant to pry it. Things. Yeah. But I figure something in my... Yeah. You, if you've got thieves', thieves tools, there's thieves probably tools some sort of yeah. little bar Chip in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can work on that. Give me a thieves', the thieves tools check. Uh, 20. Okay. You managed to pop it out of there. It's a small little quartz. You estimate that it is probably worth about seven gold pieces. Alright. Once I've got it, I'll let him know and see if when you I, take If I take my off, hands off, they start chattering again. When you take your hands off, they do not chatter. Okay. okay. All right, so now it's at least quiet in here. Now we'll see what. Well, now 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 phase two of the heist. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I will. Uh, is it, it's on some kind of an armor stand, right? No, it's laying on the ground. Oh, laying on the ground. Okay. Yeah, the then ground. I'll begin to drag it. I'll try it just a little bit and see. If, okay. Yeah. You begin. You begin dragging yeah. it out, and the skulls, all of them, shift a little bit and orient toward you. And as you're dragging it, they're slowly rotating, and their eyes are following you. you keep dragging? Just imagining this hideous noise. Dragging pull plate arm over someone's <laughs> right, right, right. Did anybody look inside the cavity of the plate to see if there's something inside of it? No. <laughs> you do that real quick. Okay. <laughs> um, you look inside the cavity, yeah. and you notice that there is one skull inside the armor. Oh. God damn, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I'll, I'll reach in <laughs> and remove it. With which hand? <laughs> well, my, my, not good, my not good climbing hand, my other hand. <laughs> you tail. reach in toward that skull inside the armor, yep. and the jaws open and it launches itself at the same forearm that the weeds <laughs> are. <laughs> Give me a reflex save, okay, please. It's not the reflex. <laughs> Having nightmares. <laughs> reflex. Hey, that's pretty good. Twenty-eight. All right, you pull your hand out yeah. in time, and it clap snaps into the air, and then it goes inert once more inside the armor. Okay. okay. Change your name to Bartleby the Stump. You keep it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, I bet it weighs less than one bulk. Yeah, I know, right? I want to I wanna get that thing out of there. Is it possible to pick up the arm and shake it out? <laughs> do you do that? I do. Yeah, you pick up the arm and you begin shaking it, yeah. and the skull falls out yep. onto the floor, mm -hmm. and it's lying there on its side, just lying there. I take the armor and run. All right, you get the armor and you book it out of there, and the skull's lying right there. Okay. It doesn't do anything. All right, good. I'm good. Shut the door. Oh, wait, shut the door. He's inside the room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I'm following him I mean, away. <laughs> what about the lovers? <laughs> Yeah, you want to go to the levers? That's cool. Oh, okay. I'll go over to the levers. I'm cool. That's why I was walking through that just full plate on his back. All right. I'm sneaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess I should get rid of that. No more void notice for me. You go in there and pull those levers. Other. And where are <laughs> the dragging full plate <laughs> armor? Okay. You, yeah. you guys all hear like mechanical grating as he pulls these levers <laughs> in the walls, right? And you can see this portcullis right here the raise thing. upward, the one you put a hole in. And then you also hear some noise off down this tunnel right uh, here. Okay. You just let the beholder out. Yeah, right, yeah. Might as well. I mean, it can get out anytime it wants. It's got to disintegrate, right? Mm -hmm. but... So. All right, let's head down that hallway. I think that's all. Unless, of course, we want to collect skulls. Nope. Chattering skulls, they probably nope. sell for a lot, especially nope. around certain seasons. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> National Prank Day. They stop chattering. Not for me. Yule, or the equivalent. Not for me, thanks. Or Samhain. 
Can you grab your seat the skull that fell out? Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel bad for it. A little crummy. We made you have the skull back up on the shelf. You feel bad for it. Hold them on the ground? Yeah. Okay, you put it back up on the shelf, make some room for it. Yeah. Crabby oh. feels bad for it. Wait a And then you get your mage head out. Nothing <laughs> happens. Mm -hmm. I get back on there. I was waiting to try to eat the mage hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that probably feels better. All right. Other hole. I think we're done with that Let's one. Let's go see where the other port was going. We still need a room to take like a five minute break in. Mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a room. Mm -hmm. Not a room for a break. Not a room for a break. On the other hand, if those skulls attack me and yeah. touch them, I could be taking me awesome weapons from Mage Hand. That's true. <laughs> Throw them at people. No, if our, if our uh, goal was to get rid of our sanity, you know, to make us better adventurers. Sanity? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Oh, hey, did we need XP for the fireball? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a severe encounter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, uh, that was actually a trivial. Trivial, trivial definitely. So there's yeah. no experience points for that. Yeah, for sure, that's trivial. <laughs> um, so you guys get down here, and there's like a dead end corridor here, and then the, what? The, you can see the tips of a portcullis yep. protruding from yep. the ceiling. It's probably the one that was raised by the other lever, yep. and then you can see a very large room here. And I shall describe that room to you. I've got enthusiastic in this part of the mystery. Yes, well, we're going to try the little room. We're going to call them big ones. We need to be smaller than that. Oh, that one looks pretty big. I don't care that I wasted five balls on trivia. I saw I do. You want to be rich. And this huge room uh, looks clearly to have once been a barracks. Bunk beds are collapsing in on themselves. Sheets and bedding and mattresses mostly rotted away, eaten by bugs and insects over the decades. Uh, you can see trunks lying about, most of them rotten and rusted as well. And that's pretty much most of what you see in that room. Okay. We toss it. Yeah, give it a search over. Mm -hmm. Marv, check out other opening, just make sure. So you guys are you guys are going to go through all of like the debris from the bunk beds and trunks and stuff, just searching them down, yeah. right, seeing what you figure out. Sure. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna we have... definitely don't want to have anything here that we don't know about. I'm going to look down that other opening, especially any kind of. All right. So you guys are beginning to shake down the room. You're moving over to that other opening, and then as a couple of you disturb some of these trunks and they break away, several massive. Uh, the insides of these tr these trunks looks as you're breaking them apart. Too late, you notice that there is some sort of cocooning inside them, yeah. okay. and as you disturb it, swarms of spiders begin Blah. pouring out. Just hundreds, of thousands of I these do. things. Good. <laughs> Good. Everyone, Good. roll initiative. No, thank you. Bobby has a fireball for this one. Good fireball. Actually, I'll stand actually right in the middle of this one in real life. Huh? Actually, did this one in real life. There was a tarp in this garage, and I, I pulled the tarp away, oh. and there was a, a, a hornet's nest that had built on the inside. Oh. And I, tore, I just tore it right in half. Oh my lord! I was just like, they don't like it when you do that. And you ran, and I ran. Waking nightmare right there. They don't like it when you do that. The only time I did that, it was the middle of winter, and so they were dormant. I was ten, and I was playing hide and seek with my buddies out in the woods. I lived in the woods, and my aunt had a shed out there. And they were like, okay, when you count, we gotta hear you. So I was like counting, I was slapping okay. shed, like one, two, and there was a hornet, uh, uh, it wasn't a hornet, it was um, uh, yellow jackets uh, nest up there. Ooh, and those are worse. They are worse. Nasty. Yeah, yeah. they sting twice. And they, they do. They sting they as many times. They, they, they don't lose their stinger, they just keep stinging. You throw the hornets, but the wild yellow jackets are just mean. They're horrible, man. Yeah. So I got stung in the face about six times. Oh, yeah. I got away. I only got stung twice. Yeah. Their yeah, they just stung, 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 and I was like, ah. I'm really hoping my son hasn't inherited my dad's uh, allergy to uh, bees and yeah. wasps and hornets. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't allergic. My kid got stung because he was out mowing, and he's like, Dad, I don't know my father. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a yellow jacket's nest in the ground. Just yeah. mow the other side of the yard. Yeah. yeah. I'll do with that tonight yellow when they're all asleep. Nasty. Showed <laughs> the kid how to play with gasoline. Yeah, no, Last I used to just I remember being stung. All right, so Marv was specifically going over here, so he was not guys. screwing around with trunks and stuff. Shirt. So you're heading that way. Yes. Oh. And who was screwing around? Everybody else was... I was searching oh, no. through the stuff. Yeah. Krabby was directing people to use. Okay, so Krabby was directing. Who was actively searching for the room then? You? I mean, I'm set on search. So I was you? Say, well, I'm not. I'm 
not. I'm not searching because I'm carrying something. I'm going to have to. In Were fact, you searching? Oh, I'll try to spend my first action dropping it. So I was so. probably by one of the two doors. Keep an eye out. Okay, we'll say you are positioned back here. So well, if we were far from the spiders, damn you. Who was, who's was this? This yeah, was your onyx. That's, That's the puffer that we haven't been using. All right, so we'll How long does that be? Oh, so I'm going to use him against the. Like six hours. Six hours, so, so it's probably going to get on diesel? a couple, two, three hours. And we're going to say this is for you, and this is for you, and you got screwed. Mm -hmm. oh, fine. So two of them break open on you. One breaks open on you. Oh. And then I gotta get my car. You also have a flask of oil. Burning hands just might be a good spot. Because it's not a good fireball spot. No, so it's definitely It's a cone, cone though, right? Yes. Burning hands? It is. Does it encompass the whole cone or is it lines? Oh no, it's the whole it's cone. It's the whole cone. It's a 15 foot cone. It's the whole cone. Yeah, that's like flamethrower action right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, it's a wimpy spell, but it's good area effect. Good area effect. I'm thinking area effect might be important. Uh, yeah, I agree. Hey, just yeah, throwing out there that you would know that Sem has a good reflex. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't mind. <laughs> I can actually shoot it right around you. I just have to get really close to the spider. Oh, jeez. Sure oh, do you have uh, something that lets you he, he, I found it. curve it around? No, the 15-foot the cone. Looks like this. Goes up and then out. Oh, is that what it looks like? That's what it looks like in a straight line. Yeah. I've looked it up many, many times. Interesting. Yeah, it's a really weird shape. Not technically. Because a cone, of the yeah. squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of a cone, but it kind of skips some because of the All right. Because of the use of squares. I'll check it and make sure because I know yeah. I always have to look because if you go diagonally it's pretty much a cone, but if you don't, it's kind of a weird shape because yeah, of the yeah. squares. It's, it's it's basically that. Well, it can be, but if right. you, if you can't do orthogonal, be. it does that. Does the okay? What it, does it do? It does like a T shape. It does like a T shape. Yeah. Oh. So okay. I can shoot right around and see one. But I have to go right next to a swarm, which doesn't seem like something I want to do. Mm -hmm. True. So we'll see what it looks like when Krabby gets his turn. All right. Um, over thirty. Uh, thirty. Thirty. Natural twenty. Thirty-three. Nice. Oh crap, spiders. Over 25. Them. I got 26. I have these clues inside. Over 20. 24. I still want anyone on this page to know. That seems like uh, 23. 15. Sorry, 23. 15? Uh, 17. Alright. Let's roll 2. Cool. <laughs> I mean, I could get them all in a fireball. No, not just you sure one of those. Yeah. It was only like four oh. I don't know if it's worth it. <clears throat> all right, there we go. All right, Marvel, you're up. Um, uh, it's, I am going to hunt prey on the spider swarms, and I'll do a recall knowledge on it. Yeah, I might as well. It's, Okay, this is going to be uh, nature or arcana? Uh, nature is plus 11. Okay. Um, job. These Please are swarms of little tiny spiders. Okay. Um, oh shoot, this is actually... It's actually crap. It's drow. These are drow spiders. So crappy campfire wall? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh god. These are much larger. <laughs> and have they already engulfed them then? Yeah, yeah, they're already around them. Okay, um, very small spiders. Um, you know that they are poisonous. Absolutely 100% poisonous. They have little red hourglasses on the bottom of their bellies. Oh, well, oh they're from Michigan. Don't eat them. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'll, that's our I'll relay all that Black knowledge. Um, um, it's not. I, yeah, they're from the South. Are they? Yeah. Black, are brown recluse is the brown Michigan recluse one. Is the Michigan one. one yeah. uh, okay. well, brown recluse is not from Michigan. Mm -hmm. That's a Michigan. I've seen them in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Sure are. Yeah. 
It's horrifying. That's um, why I hate spiders. I love them. Spiders are so awesome. Incredible predators. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a boss. Predators, but yeah. Uh, uh, if you're in Australia, there's the one that's nasty. It's still not a predator. The, uh, the, the trapdoor spider. Uh, the trapdoor. What's that? The trapdoor spider. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure which one I'm thinking of. I've seen a, a documentary yeah, about it. Or the funnel the camel web spiders actually, even cooler. The funnel web's a really venomous one. The camel web is a cool Camel one. spiders are... They're totally are harmless, but they're like... Horrifying. Nice. horrifying. The biggest they're one I saw in Iraq right. was as big as my yeah, hand. They're like that big, uh, but they're like harmless. They just look terrifying. I saw one in Florida that was like as big as your hand. And I was in Honduras, I, and I saw one as big as your hand. We were supposed to sleep in this house. There was no like... There was a roof and stuff, but there was no ceiling. It was just rafters, right? Mm -hmm. And we were all of us were like piling into this house because we were gonna sleep there. And somebody spotted a spider, this massive spider in there. And we're like, all right guys, nobody is sleeping here until we get this thing out of here or something. So we basically had to go up into the rafters and get this thing. My buddy was in Okinawa and he said he saw a banana spider there the size of a dinner plate. Yeah. I treated a spider the size of my hand. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so the yeah. spiders that are on yeah. Grim yeah. are those are those already um, like all over swarming him? They're not on him quite yet, but they're swarming into his space. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna attempt to. I don't know how much an arrow is gonna be worth shooting at this, but what the heck? I'm gonna attempt to shoot at the swarm of spiders. My life got bit by Okay. A thirty. A 30? Yeah. That's it. Wow. 13. Guys. I'm going to attack you. 19 damage on the swarm. The armor. 19 damage on the swarm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, you shoot a crossbow bolt into that swarm space, and it hits the ground and squashes a whole bunch of them. Uh, hits the wall and a big brick falls out, squashes some more, and the swarm disperses. <laughs> Reload. That's my turn. And Grimshock. Oh, I'm safe. Oh. Um, good for you. <laughs> Whatever ones are getting more scattered. Yeah, I yeah. suppose. Uh, um, it's pretty impressive. I can get uh, a flash of the axe. Uh, encouraging words. <laughs> encouraging <laughs> words. Squish them. Uh, I yell really, really loud, but uh, intimidate. <laughs> There's like a. If my intelligence is low enough, it doesn't do anything, if right? You're mindless. There is a mindless uh -uh. trait, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Or something like that that makes you immune to them. I don't, I don't know, know the details, but I think there is something that makes you immune to them. Yeah, I don't think it's, I think that's like uh, something else. Is it something else? I think it, it, you can scare stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Even if it's a dumb animal, it can get scared. Yeah, so okay. anyway, I got, what'd you get? <laughs> 33. Against my will, right? Minus yeah. four, because you don't speak its language. Uh, I, I'll have that one feet. You have intimidating glare. Uh, so you don't yell, you okay. glare at the spiders. Glare at the spiders. <laughs> Alright, you give them a good glare. It was successful. They are intimidated. The people's eyes are out. And... Uh, critically. Frightened too, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. You and give them the look of that. <laughs> and I'm like, say, don't let them meet you. That's not say. That's oh. Cebu. That's Cebu. Same mm -hmm. most says more. I mean, I'll, I'll still take the, the advice. I'm gonna. Okay. Say. No, I, I'm more concerned about say. Appreciate <laughs> it. <bro. laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's my turn. That's all you do is run. <laughs> okay. Bartleby. Uh, yeah. A lot of spiders. Well, well, like, a lot of spiders. We're only on Simu. I don't even know. Which one did you intimidate? Uh, the one in the corner. Okay. Well, I mean, I can. I mean, I can. But... You. That's been nice knowing you. Yeah. Whole party's just gonna let me get eaten. I mean, spiders. I don't want to go spiders. <laughs> um. <laughs> Probably will help. He doesn't want to cook you. That's. That's better than dying. Who, who's who's okay. turning into? All right, I, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll, I will go over and uh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I even? You're behind. You're behind, the, behind the wolf. Oh, okay. Behind the hound. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'll go over and try to. Um, it's like what, like squish, squash, you know, whatever, as many as I can off of Seymour. 
Okay, I can attack. Can you flank a swarm? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's possible to flank a swarm. I'll move to the flanking position and find out. Is there is there a flanking position? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I said. I don't know. I don't, like, know. I don't know how that works. I mean, you're, you're on opposite sides of one of its squares. I mean, I don't. I don't know any reason why you wouldn't. Be so able to. for for what it's worth, uh, none of that matters. So. Yeah. What'd you get? I rolled. I uh, sorry, two two evans. Right? Uh -huh. I got one and a three, uh, and so that what, one of them might hit. The three was a seventeen. That hits. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one obviously cannot hit. So, <laughs> um, that's, so that's the uh, D four. There's no space on the other side. Uh, too big. <laughs> Did they take half damage? Come to here. Swarms. I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. There's two. Oh, let's, let's talk later. I have 13. 13 damage. 13 damage? If they'll let me have. All yeah. right. You, what are you attacking it with? Uh, I, the sickle. The sickle. The sickle. Sorry, sickle. All right, you begin the like smacking yeah, the floor yeah. all over the place, and you've dispersed almost all of them. There's just a few little tiny right. spiders still swarming around there. That's cool. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay. And purple. Oh, that's me. Hey, those guys are still alive! Wee! What do you got? Very full. Oh, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. And you're right there. You're already in a swarm. Let's go over here. Five, ten, fifteen. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second! Excellent! Didn't he frighten? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I can tumble through. <laughs> um, yeah, it does. What can I do? Okay, each enemy in the spider swarm. Ooh. Wow. Oh, that's cool. I think this that's really cool. Okay, cool. So, um, Grimshaw, please give me a reflex save. I don't know. Then I get the Uh, 22. Dang it. Um, you will take half damage. Let me roll my d4. I rolled a one, so you will take one damage. Woo! I brought that down. As it bites you, and um, you can you can feel there's some sort of venom or something trying to get into you, but you shrug it off. It doesn't seem to affect you much at all. And then they continue to swarm, crawling up over you. They're getting in under your clothing at this point, and you can feel them trying to bite you yet again. Make another reflex save. Um, that would be 14. Oof. You'll take half damage, so you will take two damage this time. And still unaffected by their poison. And then, that's my purple guy. Sayla, you're up. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I can tumble through a swarm, but I'm going to try, I guess. <laughs> Okay. I'm pretty sure I've got the speed. Yeah, you should be able to. Uh, you basically 15. do a somersault over them or something. Yeah, I can. I, so the goal is to try to get to there, but I'm gonna stop there until I make a check. So it's my or my acrobatics versus I always forget. Reflex. Reflex. My reflex. Okay. Easy. Hmm. Sorry, this is Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, that's the same now. Twenty six. That's successful. Awesome. So that would put me on the other side of them, and I believe that also regards me panache now, which is the important part. Mm -hmm. uh, flat -footed did you want to be? Did you want to be here on the other side of them, or here so? Or I, it doesn't really matter. I think we're all flat-footed, but yeah, that's correct. They would be. Those yeah. four spiders are totally impressed right now. That's <laughs> so totally impressed. <laughs> it's like four um, little. <laughs> When she tumbles through, that she's squishing several issues. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not only like that, but also just. Somehow, with my sword came because totally flat weapon that can smash them. Um, confident finisher to go for the strike. I'm just more thinking All she right. like bounces off Seaman's head or something. That was a fun bounce. Uh, I can't wait. 31, thank you. 31. That is a critical hit. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember if Gavin a finisher has a critical effect. Almost, Hold on. It's like almost a double critical hit. Are we, are we really battling just plain old spiders? <laughs> we for for now just, we are, yes. So for heroic like adventurers. Let me double check. Yeah, we are the best adventurers right now. Well, you know, I tried throwing trolls at you and you saw what happened. Yeah. So now I'm dialing down a little bit. Dialing it down. Common spiders. It doesn't say it. 
I know I'm gonna do this. Pass the off position. The next room contains two rats. We gotta be on our game. I'm just gonna double it. I don't want to. I don't think there's another effect. That's not great. Let's see. I'm pretty sure you killed all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Probably killed all this. More than enough. That's six. Since his fourteen Chris Crossbow Bolt did. Fourteen because it's a. Right, that would be doubled, so... I, 14 times 2. 28. 28, thank you. 28 damage? Oh yeah, you go, there's like a few spiders left, you're stabbing them. And you clean up what remains. Which is absolute precision. Just poking them. Well done. Only one swarm remains. Are you also a sailor? Yeah, uh, no, do it in parry for my body. Okay, Krabi? That doesn't really do much. Burning hands out of the so staff. Used to just Copy burn, burn reflex save for them. Okay. It's a pathetic spell. Oh, I critically failed. Oh, Amazing. well. Um, you guys were the best adventurers. Now I'm covered in flaming spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I missed flaming you. Spiders. 14 fire damage. All right, flames spew out from your staff and burn away the spiders that remain. Good job, awesome. okay? Mm -hmm. Look. You guys have defeated the yeah. common house spiders. We've done it. The hardest encounters ever we've done. I can't it. even ask for this one. We do like speed. No. Can't even ask. No, we do not. I didn't even have an action. Wow. You get an experience, boss. Do we? Got do we? I know I did damage, but, but I really, I really spiders. pictured that more like. Uh, uh, Bartleby running up there, just brushing the spiders off of it. All the wild, Stepping on him. All the while, Grimchild's this like, tell me about the rabbit's George. So just like, so bombed or something, and just been like, uh, can't sure. can Um, Alright. Anyway, this is like the what same I think is like Temple when he's like, turn around and takes the whip and he's wiping <laughs> the spiders off the guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, well, combat's over. It was fairly useless. Alright, and keep searching. Hey. <laughs> I learned my lesson. And then Bar, I proceed to keep looking the next box. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, what's down that hallway? Go <laughs> back up. Copy fireball. That's so, I'll get to the hallway in okay. a moment. You guys click, manage beating down and clicking out all the trunks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And old equipment, clothes, <coughs> rotted away. However, you do find a scattering of valuable coins. All told, 34 copper pieces. <gasps> And two silver pieces. Mm -hmm. nice. Man, we are just Whoa. racking Rolling up the it. coins. We have the coins needed to pay for Charon. <laughs> but we're dead. <laughs> hey, I can get you silver tomorrow. <laughs> just give, give, me, give me some coffee. <laughs> There's coffee over there. Yeah. I'll get so you a silver piece. Well, I mean, it, it's going to be broken, broken into coppers, hall, but you'll be all right. See what's down the hall, but if we might be a place to stay and let me do some identifying. That's kind of what that I was thinking. Great. Take a quick look down the hall and then secure the room. <clears throat> you want to sleep in the room with the spiders? I'm not sleeping. I need like five minutes to identify magic items. You guys, so Marv, you finally get around the corner here and look down this way, down that hallway. And. The person who made this adventure didn't put everything in numerical order. Well, geez. well that would be simple. Give him a bad Yelp review. Yeah. Yeah. Don't back any more his Kickstarters. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't even put things in the right order. Right, right, right. It's like area 22, area 20, and then area 21. Um, I do believe that's pretty much the standard for mapping in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> and then they get weird when they wrap around because you're like, oh, I fish. Oh, wait, that's area two. You go yeah, room to room 33 yeah. to room five. It's usually the issue. It's like... So, um, that was 21. So this little cubby here it looks to be a storage area. You can see shelves rotting away, debris covering the floor. And there is a cloth package that is partially eaten away by insects. And you can see sticking out from within a large tome. Uh, Krabby! <laughs> Marv! There's a book back here. It's a vault large book. Traps? Uh, yeah, I'll check. Is there any, like, wires? 
sticking out from under it or, or traps or anything. Tommy's not paranoid. Everyone is out to get him. Mm -hmm. You do not notice any traps on this thing. All right. Uh, I don't see any traps. No. Mage hand. You retrieve it. Bow book over to me. Mm -hmm. And you mean looking through it? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm glad we just forgot he has friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's the sound book? All right. Question. So you begin perusing through this quickly. And over the next few minutes of just skimming through it, you get some basic information about what this book is and its contents. Most of the ink in here has faded and is unintelligible, but there are a few things you're able to glean from it. First of all, this is the journal of the architect who constructed this dungeon. Ooh. A dwarf named Ungtar Noldrun. Hey, Noldrun. And that's the tribe of dwarves that disappeared a few hundred years ago. This dungeon is named Kor Badir. The compound, the entire compound, was constructed as a stronghold for delving into the realm below and recovering, quote, additional symbionts and living weapons to bring us closer to, and then it trails off. It was designed as a fortification in case things from below tried to come up. But it was also a staging point for them, the dwarves, to delve down deeper and retrieve right. these symbiotes and living weapons. There are a total of three levels to this dungeon. The journal ends after mentioning a skirmish against an army of aberrations led by, quote, squid-headed creatures, mm -hmm. and saying that the dwarves were mobilizing their fortune forces. But there's no other mention after that. Like, that's where it ends completely. And there's more pages in the book. It just that was never picked up after that. I will relay everything there because nothing was that interesting. No spells. True. But cool information, so I'll relay everything I had to. Squid heads. Squid heads. Squid heads. Calam Calamari people? I can go for some information. <laughs> Definitely. Maui stay, Krabby identify. I coat my weapons with tartar sauce. <laughs> Probably Seems not a bad idea. Melted butter would be better. Mm. Seems like an area we can keep safe. Keep Krabby safe. Krabby like safe. Are we in the dead end? Uh, yeah. Basically pretty yeah. close, yeah. Okay. Unless it's there's hard. secret doors we missed. Yeah. Oh, I just searched over. Uh, so the next question is, is do we go here as we're backtracking to go here? Or because I, uh, or is this where we came in at? No, we came in that staircase. Okay. That was the cave-in. Oh, the cave-in. Oh, cave okay, so we have here left and then here left. Basically. On this floor, it looks like. So we'll probably, we should probably hit that up on our way because we have to go around. So, good. assuming that you'll give me any treasure we had, yeah. Krabi will do the detect magic thing and have people bring it in and out so we can figure out which of it's magical. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> um, also and fine this is open the, 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 open the pouch. pouch. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll open the pouch because, you know, mm -hmm. finally feel safe enough to look in the pouch. Okay, so, pouch. The pouch contains 75 gold pieces. And then the things I have that we haven't identified, we said the full plate was not magical. Mm -hmm. right. We have the shimmering green scale with the polished clasp. From the haunted area. From the area nine, level one. Okay. Which we did. So let me talk to gorilla. Keep your the back haunted here. one. All right. Have you identified that at all? No, no. I've done nothing with it. Okay. Area you nine, level one. You want to start one. going through and identifying stuff? That well, first I'm seeing what's magical. Okay, so that's magical. The the, the bolt. bolt, the single bolt's magical. Oh. Um, that vial with liquid is magical, and that hide armor that's like moving and made of like old nasty disease crap. That's magical as well. 
Okay, the single bolt we found in the chest is magical. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because we also found a crossbow bolt with leafy stalks. Where it's the same area as the Oh, that was the same area as that. Shimmering green scale. The haunt. Mm -hmm. um, that's magical as well. Okay. Then yes, I will go through and identify those five items. I'm okay. assuming the book was not magical, for example. The journal, I would see that it was, but... The journal's not magical. Just because I'm doing it anyway. I can see, send everyone out 30 feet from me, walk in with one thing, leave, walk in with... My hand's magical. Oh, and the, 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 the ruby that I have is not magical. Well, I know that. But you know so that. I, I can ignore it, but thank I just you. I'll have to check it and make sure. But I oh, yeah. But it's fine. You didn't swallow it, so the I ruby will be the other one. That... So the shimmering green scale attached to a golden clasp is a dragon turtle scale. This is an item four. Um, it is affixed to armor. It requires you to be an expert in athletics. And when you activate the scale, for one minute, you gain a swim speed equal to half your land speed. Hmm. That's cool. Nice. If we ever get new water, well, that's a talisman, I assume, then. Uh, correct. Okay. The bolt, with crossbow bolt with leafy stalks. And I have current act, my current arcana is plus 13. I do not believe I ever got assurance with it. No, I've had too many other fun things to get. What in the world? Oh, that's why. So, the bolt is something called a vine bolt, which is the same thing as a vine arrow, only it's a bolt. Um, item three, it is a magical bolt. And when activated, the vine bolt hits a target. The arrow shafts split and grow, wrapping the target in vines. It has a circumstance penalty to its speed, a negative 10, for a certain number of rounds until it escapes. And then if it's a critical hit, it's also mobilized. So it'll slow something down. Tell Marv, give it to Marv. Yep. Like a vine bolt. The hide armor. And then... We have anybody who wears medium armor. It's kind of funny. We have heavy. Light and not. Well, can I look up the fine bolt in the uh, fine arrow? Fine arrow. Fine arrow. Look up fine arrow. Uh, yes. The uh, archives and yes. just copy that over. Okay. Because that's what you do light, right? Yeah, you can put some flesh on the robot. It can't be light. You could. It might mess up your decks anyway. It's only two decks more to make for hide, so. Okay. The other bolt is oh, something yep. called a beacon shot. This is uh, an item three. It is studded with tiny flecks of glimmering gemstones. When activated, the beacon shot hits a target, it embeds itself into that target and spews sparks for one minute. If the target is invisible, it becomes merely hidden to creatures who would otherwise be unable to see it. It also negates the concealed condition if the target was otherwise concealed. Okay. You're the one I think you use the crossbow. The crossbow. I mean, if someone else uses crossbows and speak up, but yeah, it's yeah, a crossbow yeah. man. Yeah. Him, but I don't have yeah. one, so. right. The horrible hide armor. Oh, you're supposed to be rolling like checks for that stuff, aren't you? Too? Typically, yeah. Let <laughs> me roll some checks over there. All right. Well, usually you roll them, is why I. Oh, have yeah, that's right. Let's go to the next one. So, what's your. Plus 13. Plus 13. Oh. Oh, geez, you could almost not fail. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't know what the vial is. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need to note that that vial of liquid was found in area 19 of Corbadir. In case I have to look that up someday. Yeah. And the ghoul hide. You guys, I know what it is. <laughs> so what I'm saying is I should be getting assurance with my. Uh, I think it should be. Uh, pretty soon. Oh, I yeah. don't have it. Yeah, I'm, that would be that would be helpful because I rolled a three yeah, <laughs> on something that really was easy to identify. Be on That'd be an the, 19. the next one that hide armor is something known as ghoul hide. Yeah. This is item six. Uh, it is six. it is hide armor stitched together from pieces of ghoul skin. This suit of plus one hide armor grants you a plus one item bonus to saving throws against disease and paralysis and makes you immune to the paralysis of ghouls. 
Ghoul Hide with a Resilient Rune increases the Resilient Rune's item bonus to saving throws against disease and paralysis by one. Maximum plus four. Um, and this Ghoul Hide hisses with a symbiont hatred, the touch of elves. Uh, does anybody know elves around here? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Right. Anyone who, an elf who does wear it, uh, the armor gains the noisy trait because the hide is constantly hissing because it doesn't like elves. I like I said, I don't think anybody here uses medium armor, do you think? I know you're heavy, and I think everyone else is either light or not, so... I think I can. Right, but your dex, I suspect, is high enough. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, no, it's, it's not worth it. All right, well, we got a level six item to sell. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to make us a couple of bucks. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, so that took five minutes. It's good to be quick identified. Is it one, one minute for each one or something? I have quick identify, so okay. it's one minute for identify. Okay. You know how long it took me to find a ruler that was less than five inches, or exactly five inches? Probably a while. Yes. Unless they're either a full butt or six inches. So I can try again on the potion tomorrow. All right. Let's head towards that passageway that's in the dead center that we haven't explored. Oh, yes. I love it. Our loot list is too long. Mostly it needs to be consolidated. Hmm? Well, yeah, just rewriting it would help too, just do this. Yeah. So, Barbara, you don't want to start wearing ghoul hide? I don't. I was just checking. Yeah, it's not worth it at all. <clears throat> no, there's no way. Even if you were proficient in it, it probably Even proficient, yeah. It would totally blow you I was just seat. curious if I was proficient. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. That's fine. I'm, like, I'm assuming the same with Barb, that it would just hold it low as AC, so... You wouldn't drop uh, one in? And yeah, yours would be even worse, I suppose, because I don't want you either. I'm not the only one who could. Yeah. So the question I, is, I is can we transfer armor rooms? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah but there's... it's That is a unique item. Okay. So... Probably comes with It all. doesn't have rooms on it specifically. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah that, that, that is... At least, uh, as it reads, it, it gives you the, you know... Plus one hide armor, so at best, I don't know, I guess, I think normally unique items you can't pull the runes off of unless it's got other runes attached to it, if I remember right, because it's, it's typically not like makes sense. a rune, if that makes sense. Yeah, not to mention, it kind of takes away from its overall creeping creep right. factor if you could just like I said, yeah. pull it apart. Like right. Yeah. Throw away the icky bits. So you guys move your way. Yeah, you cannot. You can upgrade fundamental runes, which it does not right, have. Fundamental. But you can't do potency runes, property runes. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt Luke. I just was no. getting through. So you can't remove, transfer, or do anything with the runes on it because it's not an armor with runes per right. se. So you guys go back up to here, twist and turns a little bit, and then you have a door. Check the traps. We got three people searching now. And none of you detect any traps on that door. Open the door. This is a problem. Hmm. Better use getting a knife when we to see it. You open the door. relatively small room with a passageway leading to the south here and the interior of this room there's a little bit of debris and dust in the floor and cobwebs in the corners but you notice the walls and floor shifting ever so slightly pulsating and moving and then somehow you notice that at certain times part of the shifting the walls and the bricks and stuff they appear at impossible angles, things that seem to defy reality, defy physics, and then it shifts back to something that's normal. It almost gives you a, a headache to look at this odd phenomenon. Detect magic. So you cast Detect Magic, and you this is definitely some sort of magical thing that's happening. 
but you get a feeling that this isn't as simple as a spell laid upon something. This is something much more powerful. Um, you are trained in Arcana, I presume. I'm yeah. expert in it. Expert in Arcana. Spectacular. So as you look at this, Krabi, you determine that this is probably a manifest zone. This is a part where the material plane is so close to another one of the planes oh. of existence that they have become coterminous. And elements and facets of that plane are bleeding into the material plane at this point. And so what you're looking at is the effect of this other plane on the material plane. Now, where planes are manifest and stuff like that, usually, not always though, there are also gateways to lead, that lead to that other plane. Now, here's the thing. Manifest zones aren't always permanent. Sometimes they shift back and forth. In fact, manifest zones are one way that people find themselves on different planes of existence and sometimes stuck there. Hmm. Interesting. This, zone, pati this particular planes. manifest zone, as you're studying it, you believe that this is probably a manifest zone of Kaithri. The churning chaos. This is the plane of chaos and change. Kaithri is a realm in constant flux. The elements collide in fantastic explosions of unbridled power. Motes of earth careen erotically through space as gravity constantly shifts, and a riot of colors blazes through the ever shifting sky. It's rumored that certain creatures, monk like creatures, exert their will over these elements crafting monasteries and islands with amid, uh, earth amid the chaos. There are also chaotic evil creatures that live upon this plane as well. Those bad plays, many booms, elements go everywhere, yuck. Don't would go you, there. What'd you do? It doesn't sound fun to me. <laughs> Probably not do. <clears throat> You're usually responsible Everything. for most of the booms. Yeah. You create this. Uh, the so does this appear to be localized to just the wall or the whole room? Um, the entire room appears to be a manifest zone. Sh shifting, levelness. shifting and moving. Yes. Any uh, chance I would know if that giant worm thing could have come through something like this? The giant worm thing? Yeah, the one that turned him to stone and ate gems. Um, I thought it was like a turtle for some reason. I thought it was. Maybe like it was a turtle. I don't know. Was, I described it as a Pokemon. That's all I remember. I it was a dog. <laughs> it's possible that it came through here, um, but the turtle is like a uh, an elemental, so it doesn't necessarily have to have come through here. It's quite possible possible that that earth elemental thing is just simply from Kyber, um, from the center right. of this planet itself. Okay, I just wasn't sure because. It's a fascinating idea for Rep Krabi. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it's, uh, there's a hole on the other side there. I can, I can see it. Krabi, <laughs> tell you, no go. Adventurer in me, it's like, can't you just tie a rope to my butt? If I fall into the elemental plane of chaos, then you can just kind of pull, pull, no, pull, no. You no. fall in, you're gone forever and ever and ever. Wait, it's because you flush it, right? Mm -hmm. you're gone forever, ever, ever. I might just like for gold before you go. <laughs> you want to go find, give crappy shinies first. Mm -hmm. And armor, and axe, everything else with, with value. I, I probably need them. There's monsters. No, you'll be dead. Won't matter. No, I'll, I'll, I'll survive. I'll use my, my, my righteous might and will. But not need axe. Righteous so might take care of problem. Uh, forge, forge a righteous region within the plane. You heard, you heard the stories. Strong-minded individuals, and I have the strongest mind. I once got hit in the head by a great club and didn't do a damn thing. I can't Broke the club. Or we can try to find a way around. I don't think there's a way around. Or we ignore that part, go other part. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And see if maybe portal thing go away. Even better. All right. 
You've got the vine arrow bolt thing written down in the other? Yeah. I'm just refining the loot list. Yep. I wanted to write yep. no, not I write down. Those, I got those written so down. I don't think the adventuring party wants to slip into another dimension, so I think we're going to go to the I'm top of the wanted. circular room. All right, so you guys backtrack around back to there. So the manifest zone doesn't sound appealing. No. It sounds like a way to start a new campaign. <laughs> or at least really change the nature of this one. We're going to play Descent into wherever right? that was. <laughs> there. Oh, well, if I want to. Transfer it over, much more room on the loop this time. Yeah. The way things are going, I'm sure we'll be dead next week. All right, so you guys go back up to those okay. tunnels and begin exploring down them. I struggled against a weasel. That wasn't an ordinary weasel. <laughs> no. I was half expecting one of the spiders to pop up, float up into the air, and go like, shriek <laughs> with like Super Saiyan might. Transform to the next Which, stage. And double in power. He's only, <laughs> he's only power level 9,000. So you guys explore some tunnels around here. And at this dead end right here, uh, you notice that there is a massive amount of sand piled up. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Some other adventurer went this way and triggered the trap. Detect magic. Um, you cast detect magic and you don't detect any magic. Not magic. Well, based on the architectural uh, structures of the Orcish Handbook. We should be able to build a mighty castle from the sand. Is it just like a pile of sand on the floor? It's a very large pile of sand on the floor. Mm -hmm. I just make sure it wasn't like a wall that was covered by the sand or anything. It's just on the floor. And then when you see that kid on the beach who has his mighty castle, you do the Orc thing. And I stomp on the pile of sand. So you go over there. At least we can guarantee Grimshaw will set off every trap and, <laughs> and stomp what, what on the pile of the sand. What are we here And for? it collapses in on itself into a tunnel you can see there. And then you hear a within. Run. And you can see <laughs> you can see a scorpion as large as a man rushing out this tunnel, stinger poised back as it launches itself oh, at you. Uh, good thing it's scorpions. <laughs> There's no poisonous oh, hold, scorpions. Oh, oh, hold on, I'm sorry. It's not a, it's not a giant scorpion. <laughs> it is a swarm of hundreds of scorpions. Oh, hundreds. Not giant scorpions. Just another swarm. Okay. No, another swarm. Yeah. Fine. We've so hit. Hundred giant scorpions. scorpions. Hundred giant scorpions. Hundred scorpions the size of a man. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Wait. I misread it. <laughs> A hundred, yeah, a swarm of and giant, swarm scorpions. Of giant scorpions. We run. So you just go, what? Well, yep. All right. That's why we have the backup characters. <laughs> and they all look Exit. like stage left. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock from the Scorpion King. <laughs> bad so, CGI. I can't handle it. <laughs> Hundreds of bad CGI. So as this swarm of scorpions, you can see the swarm of scorpions the coming up to the top. And uh, this is a massive swarm. Massive swarm. And as they're swarming for it, you do notice that there is a vial down in that tunnel amidst the swarm. <laughs> and they are currently swarming over it toward you. What do you do? Uh, well, I, I uh, back away really fast. <laughs> Wait. Uh, and then swing my axe to bat them away. Okay, so you're attacking them. Basically. Yes. All right. Poppy, what's going on, buddy? I gotta, I gotta get my Goddamn attention. Bugs. I'm, I'm a true, I'm a warrior of nature. This is not nature. Yeah. Insects have this. Yes. This is on the bug hunt. Basic species. Uh, so we're rolling initiative against the scorpion swarm. Yay! This will be wow. another creature zero Remember, swarm. You do get the plus one for my scout. Another. Can, another. can I just take help. a swipe at it and then if, if I hit it and kill it? It's higher than last time. It's higher than last time. And then if I don't, it's it's an point. attack on me. <laughs> Exactly, 
Youngin. Uh, I don't even remember 41. Well, that's not true. Like that. And you're right there. You were supposed to build the castle before you stopped on it. It was already a pile. It wasn't the castle. I mean, interpretively. Ah, they have to squeeze. They have minus two to everything. No. And what's a reasonable formation here? I mean, Krabby's always in the middle. In the middle? Always. I think Barbie was talking about being in the rear. I don't know if he still wanted to be, but... I was probably also in the rear, since I'm talking no, about we're... scouting. And scouting is supposed to be in the front or back. There you go. We'll go with that. Okay. Roll initiative. We're getting attacked by a giant roll swarm of scorpions. Roll initiative. Giant swarm of scorpions. Yep, just one swarm this time. Just one. Just one swarm. I'm pretty sure I can fireball it. Okay. Uh, Bubba 30. Oh, that's bad, actually. Do we have anybody roll initiative? I did. Nobody roll initiative? Okay. Uh, Bubba 20. I got a 30, sorry. 25? Okay. 25. Twenty. Twenty exactly. Four. Wow. Nineteen for me. So this also is how this goes. If I roll Four. good, you all roll bad. I see. Nineteen. Marvel and Bartleby, who wants to go first? Uh, Bart. Bartleby. That's fine, sure. Same 18. Move. All right. We clustered pretty hard, actually. Other than uh, uh, say, we clustered pretty aggressively. Mm -hmm. And I can't do anything because I'm all the way in the back. Mm -hmm. Sayla. <laughs> Um, <laughs> tumble through it. Wait, you don't have to tumble through us. I mean, I could. I'm not sure what you're going to do after that because you know, once that's going to eat all of my speed to get up there. Um, and you'll be standing in the swarm, which might not be the most positive thing to do. 10, 15, 20, 25. If I make the tumble through, I technically have just enough speed. Right, but but I nothing, have to make the check because otherwise I can't. But there's nothing on the other side of them. Well, how would you? How would you attack it or do anything? Exactly, that's the mm -hmm. other problem. Also, Grimshaw is I mean, you in could, the way if I end up You could technically get to that square, but it's got crap tons of cover. No, I meant like I have enough speed to I could get to the other side of it with Tumble Through. But You'd I have to be in it. the swarm. There's no wall beyond it. There's, There's no wall beyond it. The other, the other okay. Side. That's right. Right. It's like coming up a tunnel. I don't know whether you could theoretically go down the tunnel, which probably don't You work. could, right. but. I don't recommend it. No. <laughs> the thing is, you don't even know any of that from where you are. Yeah. You Except just do you hear high pitched screaming. I mean, manly alerting. Manly That's right, manly alert. alerting. Yeah. Finally, roll good and have nothing I can do. Um, actually, I think my best bet is actually just back up and give you guys more space. Go ahead and back up wherever you want to go. So, you got like what? You know, 40 feet of movement, so you know. There ish, and we'll use the other two to ready the action if it comes in range. I hit it. Okay, Krabby. If I step up here, can I peek around the corner and see it? You can. It's got tons of cover. Electric arc. Reflex save. All right. Tons of cover. Don't matter. Uh, All right. Which of these? Twenty one. Uh, I made my save. Okay. That would be half damage. I can electric arc grim too, but I'm not gonna. Well, that's just an awesome, awesome roll. Beautiful. I'm gonna be terrifyingly intimidating. <laughs> It started at eight, so four points after having it. Oh, amazing. Three D four, I rolled four. Cool. I got a two. Well done. That makes up for the fireball. You you scorch uh, one of the tiny scorpions. <laughs> it's, it's like a little bug zacker. Shrivels up. Ha! Ah, ah, do it again. Krabby like, kill. Five more times, real fast. <laughs> well done, Krabby. Grimshaw. Krabby. Uh, Krabby go Battle axe. <laughs> Krabby will do her great axe. Whee! Uh, twenty-five. Yes. Uh, like this D12 thingy that I never use. Uh, 18, 22, 22 points of damage. 22 points of damage. <laughs> Bugs! You're slashing through the scorpions. Um, should I do more bugs? Or... You do notice that your slashes from your axe don't seem to be particularly effective. Oh. Probably taking stupid bugs. Uh, well, I really don't have much else to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure any of us are going to. Yeah, I'll just very attack it again. Slashy. Uh, well, wait, wait. 
Uh, I'll shield, shield bash it. Oh no, I don't have a shield anymore. Uh, my second attack misses, um, and then I'll cast. Nope. Shield doesn't give you a bonus to thorns. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll cast my thorns. We need a brush. Only when I attack you, at least it takes me down. It's okay. Yeah. Thorns. Thorns. Huh? Okay. Excellent. Though I think the wording is such. And Bartleby. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Things are happening. <laughs> Things are happening. <laughs> right? I, I'm not sure what I can do about it. That's <laughs> like, why I'm like, I'm just going to back <laughs> up. I mean, I really can't get there. Right? There's nothing I can do. So, yeah. Legit. I mean, Oh, okay. Right. Am I right? Anyway, to correct me if I'm wrong, I legit no. can't no. get there. Right? I think no. we all back up into the room again. Yeah. yeah, I guess I am. Th that's what I will do. I'll back up. If we can draw it back in there, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So, plus, it makes Luke draw more stuff. <laughs> Which I'm great at. I will back up. You are great at it. That is a good idea. I will, I will back stuff. up into the other room. So that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. And we just keep backing up so he has to keep drawing. I mean, if you want, you can do what I do. Spend your last two to ready. Can you command him to go with you? I can't. Yeah. Okay. Do you have to use an action to command him? I probably yeah, do. You do. Yeah. I, yeah. Not that I really. I yeah. say you, usually you typically follow. do, yes. If it follows the minion rules. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You typically do. And then it gets its two actions. Yes. Which actually is kind of cool. Yeah, right? yeah. Like I said, a conjurer would be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've been like trying to play a wizard that con does conjuring and stuff mm -hmm. in a Pathfinder 2 game, and it's abysmally underpowered. Like, is it? Is the, it, conjure, yeah. the things you conjure can't do. They were so weak. Wow. So weak. Wow. And the action economy is bad because you spend your entire turn conjuring it. And then on its turn, you have to use one of your actions to command it. Command and then it. it's pathetically weak and dies in one hit. It's like, oh my goodness. We're level two in Abomination Vaults. Conjuration thus far Jeez. has proven to be mm, that's weird. stupid. Are you playing with a bunch of other contact raiders? No, no. It's just some, some people I know. Yeah, yeah. One of the guys who works for me. Um, but yeah, it's. I've heard a lot of things about it being really good. Right now, <coughs> well, I, I mean, this is low level. Who knows? Yeah. But right now it sucks. Right, right it now, sucks. Terrible, yeah. Okay, so that was Bartleby Marvel. Yeah. Uh, I am backing up into the room with Bartleby, and I am going to. Uh, load my crossbow. Uh, if it's not already loaded. Okay. Same move. Do the shotgun thing. Mm -hmm. Unload and reload it. Yeah, right. Uh, right. Are you going to be hearing? I mean, Grimace, though. <laughs> pick up Krabby, carry him with Yeah, you. I was going to say, I could just pick him up and go. <laughs> I'm only boat three. I'm good. <laughs> you could, probably can carry me. Yeah, probably. I don't have anything yeah. on me. Yeah. No, no, no. Krabby's no. certainly not going <laughs> to hurt you with you doing it. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Why don't we just... I, I assume it's an action to pick up Krabby. Okay. Pick the action to pick up Krabby. Move to the. All right. Use your movement to go where, as far as you can, or how are you can we go on? Yeah. Thirty-five. The stuff is here, and then an action to set him down. Okay. Sure, See whichever side you friend. want. Bye, friend. <laughs> My turn! Grim. Whichever side but Krabby Grim wants to be on. Swarming over Grimshaw! Like Grim's yeah. Grim like, we gotta go! Guys? <laughs> guys! <laughs> right, 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 right. Grimshaw, these things begin swarming over you, stinging you with their little stingers, mm. pinching at you with their claws. Sweet. Please give me a reflex save. Whee! 19 on the dice for a total of 28. Oh, oh, that's gonna be a successful save. You'll take half. Crit success? No. You'll take half damage, though. Half damage. Um, so I have 16, 16, uh, 22, 23. So I have a 23. 11. Eleven, and they take three points of damage. Radiant. Little points. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A couple of them get zapped. Yeah, yeah. It's a bunch And zapper. I also need you to make a fortitude save. I don't think anyone needs. Uh. I'm not Plus twelve, so twenty-eight. All right, you successfully yeah, fight one. off whatever their stingers you injected you. Your character isn't feeling uh, great. Or you are. Wait, oh. does it make me a little bit drunk? Can I? No. I mean, it's not. 
And they continue stinging you. Please give another reflex save. Right now. Um, 18. Okay. Total? Total. total. Oh, oh, yes. Woo! Oh, I rolled that. I mean, honestly, none of my saves are spectacular. 8, 13, 14, 15 <laughs> points of piercing all. damage. I mean, flame the same And give me another fortitude and save. You look better when you do it. Crabby looks like a panicked little goblin. Uh, <laughs> 23. 23, so unaffected. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you look like an anime character doing that. Flashback flips. And Sayla. Uh, question. Uh, so that I, I deal three damage every time they hit me with a melee attack. Uh huh. What are those melee attacks? Um. What else would they be? I mean, what else would they be? <laughs> I mean, I think it's fair to say that they are. Okay, so three more radiant damage. Okay. Which I was like, I've healed myself about my thorns. Some more of them pop and burst. And Sayla. Uh, I've got just enough moment. The question is, how much of a pain is it going to be to swing through the grimshaw? Uh, that's the question. Since we, we technically have a discussion, I think our plan was to get them to come back here so get off our show. True. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, if you want to run forward, go for it. Just that was the plan so that you guys didn't find him alone. I'm assuming if. Grimshaw moves, they move with him because they're covering him, right? If they I'm don't, they presumably will chase out. him. <laughs> and That's what we could do is have you delay I mean, until after Grimshaw so that we know whether or not he can move. I'm going to yeah. supercharge it next round mm-hmm. for sure. Nice. <laughs> Just hang back while Grimshaw the ones yeah, all right. <laughs> I sit down yeah, yeah, into a meditative thing. Bugs after them. You're going to do what? I'm going to delay until Grimshaw goes. Crappie. Um, Crappie, I think, is also going to delay. <coughs> I'll go after Sayla then. I'll let. Grimshaw. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to back up around the corner. How far? Um, I can move a total of 35. Even with the armor? Uh, I believe so. Because the armor is minus oh, no, 5. 20. Uh, so 30 total. Thanks, sorry. 5, right. 10, 15, 20, 25. Oops, sorry, that was 35. All right. And uh, two action heal myself. Nice. Don Sayla. Uh, oh, that is not at all where I thought he was going to go with that. Um, 30. And I begin glowing with radiant thorns. Yeah, I can get there. And ready action. Then okay. they get in range swing. All right, Robbie. I'm going to delay until after they go. Uh, I don't think we want to keep getting... Can we do continual delays, like just delay, 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 delay? Is that a thing? Officially you can. I mean, if you want to say no, that's fine. But. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now you we're delaying to... until after... After the scorpions. Okay. So you don't want to just ready? No, because you can't ready spells. Because okay. you can only ready one action thing. Uh, Two yeah. actions mm-hmm. to ready one action. So I can ready right. a shield or throwing my club at them, but neither of those is right. not that useful. Bartleby. <coughs> Well, that's they're gonna. I'm trying to keep them going around the other way. That's my hope. Um, I don't know that there's. A, I, don't, I don't. Usually, uh, intimidation and faints and stuff like that. But it's intimidation. Hide. You can't raise a shield. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can hide. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'm not sure to hide behind, but they're hiding in like plain sight. Plain, well, shadows, right? Kind of pushing. Is it? I mean. It depends on what their senses are. I was gonna say they can't. They can't technically see. Oh, 
see me right now, so I can hide anytime I can't be seen. Right, but as soon as they right. can see you, go away. Yeah. yeah, you have nothing, to, you have no cover or anything. This hiding? Yeah, not, well, climb the wall. You <laughs> climb the wall. So that they can climb the wall so nobody else can get them, they just tell me. <laughs> um, well, if, if that's the case, if hiding dog. here is not going to work, then I'd rather just it go there and hide. Yeah, it wouldn't so work. That's fine. All right, uh, give me your head roll. Yeah. Not the best. 17. Marvel? Uh, I'm going to start my, making my way up to uh, be right behind Bartleby. Right behind Bartleby. Alright, I'm to get there. Okay? That's it? Yeah. Same move. Oh, I will take out my bow and ready in action to... Uh, is it? No, I'll just take out my bow and... You can't take my bow, Joe. That's it. Okay. Uh, I'll take out my bow and enter archer stance. Archer stance. Okay. Battle and now, huh? Which is much better, mine doesn't have a rune. Sometimes it's not worth getting in. I don't know, that monastic archer stance is pretty dull though. So this thing is now swarming over the walls and floor, comes barreling around the corner, and then comes at Grimshaw. Yep, and then it'll occupy your space, and then give me a reflex save. Sixteen? Sixteen? Yep. You're not good at these. Woo! Um, Fifteen, nineteen, twenty-six points of piercing damage. Uh, that would be three. And, and a fourth save. That is seventeen points of radiant damage. Holy crap. <laughs> he charged his things. He did. You've burn up a whole bunch of these oh, scorpions. No. They're raining down blackened bodies onto the floor. You failed your fort save, huh? Turn that failure into a crit fail. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, I it it was pretty close was. to a crit fail. Uh, so 28. 28, all right, no effect. Okay. And uh, there are threes, so Krabby. Electric arc. Electric arc. Save. Reflex save. Uh, what's the DC? 21. I made my save. Well, nine halves, so four more. Four more. Excellent. But then, because I can do it as a single action, Krabby throw club. Amazing. Using my, Throwing your club? Using my apprentice, hand of the apprentice, okay. one action focus spell mm -hmm. to fire my club at them. Okay. I love this. Uh, 20, let's see, 19, 29, 31. That. 30, yeah, 31. 31? Nice. That's yes. a hit? <laughs> Six points! Woo! You crush some of them. Remember. There aren't that many remaining at this point. Oh, was it, was it the red ones? They've been betraying me too. It was double one. And top of the round, any discussion? I'm going to eat them. I like this much better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. Good job. Swing, swing the axe. Whee! Uh, 23. That is? 22. Yep, that is. Uh, 14, 18 points of damage. And you destroy the rest of them. Squish, squish, squish. Oh, I hear I was going to tumble through them again. And I immediately drop down and start rolling around, trying to remainingly squish the ones that are certainly climbing in my hand. Oh, still. Metal oh, your no. <laughs> Do it! Do it! Right here! <laughs> Emperor, unlimited power! Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Taking them all! <laughs> I think you missed one again. The swarm of sand scorpions has been defeated. So, you my, my clever uh, wells, I have found a secret potion. So I'll go back over there and get my potion. Grab your potion. All right. Or right now, puts around to the sand too. It is a small vial filled with purple liquid. Bing! Robbie. Magic. Uh, it is indeed magical. Purple is my color. Okay. Eleven minutes. 
I just don't know, like, if you want, if you want to, yeah. you know. How are you looking, Grimshaw? Uh, 33. Are you identifying it? Well, that's, I'm checking if we're taking the time, but yes, okay. if we're taking the time, I will try to identify yeah, I mean, if I'm down 30. And then I will repost So I need 10 minutes to, which if he's doing this, yeah, I'll, 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah, okay. Three wounds. <coughs> this is a moderate frost vial. Straight 2D. Yeah. Uh, 13. All right. So, moderate, so a frost vial, um, a frost vial list deals the listed cold damage and cold splash damage. And then on a hit, the creature takes a status penalty to its speed until the end of its turn. And they, many, many of them grant bonuses to <coughs> attack rolls. This is a moderate frost vial, so you gain a plus one item bonus to attack rolls. The bomb deals 2d6 cold damage and 2 cold splash damage, and the target takes a negative 10 foot penalty. I will point out it's not magical, it's alchemical. Ah! Alchemical. Which I yes. can fortunately identify with. Yeah, I was gonna say. This is alchemical! I think I might not be. Not the sure? same numbers even. Are you sure it's not psychic matter. resonance? I was like, I, I just picked this up on my butt, on my butt, character. <laughs> I know what this is. Nice. Uh, I, I would like the bomb, because I don't have any AoEs. Or is it, it's not really AoE, it's single It's got some splash. It is splash. Yeah. It's a whole two splash. Yeah. The big thing agree. is the ten foot speed yep. to your primary target. Yeah. That penalty is huge. I drink it. That is huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bomb. You throw it. What? Oh. Oh, oops. How long does that speed go? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's true. going to be a bomb in there. <laughs> 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 end of next turn. Bombs are typically only until end of next turn. It's elixirs and mutagens that last longer. Okay. There's this glass over the toilet. So make sure, it's, <laughs> make sure you got it. It's moderate. It's, exactly. Yes, the moderate makes a Don't difference. Forget. It's it perfect. Let so, me use it next. <laughs> I got to get some copper coins. What is he going to do? What are you guys talking about? The copper coins that he's going to get in there, there too. He said he was going to drink the bottle, and we were laughing about how it would be a bomb in his stomach. He goes, like, could you see there's this frosted over toilet with ice? I'm like, let me use it next. I'm going to take some copper coins out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. You can freeze them, you just break them open, it's easier. Yeah. Ah, yes. It's better than, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Harder to dig through, but maybe cleaner. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah. Good. Good <laughs> yeah. I might it might like uh cut down on the smell too a little bit. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's frozen, right? Exactly. Oh. Alright, so uh you guys have explored the <coughs> entire level, with Done the exception it. of the manifest zone, which apparently terrified you. Yep. When you talked about the falling through into another plane, yes. Yes, that, that terrified us. That's, what's a little chaos plan between planes, Yeah, especially right? of all the planes, right? It wasn't like you said it was a plane oh, of happy You know, like, <laughs> I know what you know about you, cowards, but I am planning on going there after I level up to level 50. Yeah, exactly. Let's yeah. just do this later. That's, that's the plan. So yeah. we need to get, we found what, two ways down, the stairs or the big or, hole in the floor? Or possibly right, the hole in the floor or the stairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hole in the floor it is, because we know it's the other way. Yeah, the Unless of course the you wish to, uh, is the other way. Right? If you wish to cough up your ruby. Right. That's the only You did the only find gem. a ruby. You can feel it. Oh, we have a quartz too. There's a quartz. And four gems of no great value. Ooh. And to three pieces of polished glass. Nice. Hey. I wish that glass be valuable if you're running to cobalt or something. True. That's why I wrote them down. King Q. King Q. <laughs> like shinies. Oh yeah, that's true. There are plenty of things that like shiny things. And we did those. determine the ruby was not magical. I believe it. I asked about it. I don't know if Blue Curtis asked. But. Oh, it's not magical. Yeah. Did you get a value for it? No. Mm -hmm. Not at this point. I just wrote Bartleby from Weasels. From Weasels. <coughs> weasels. One Weasel. It wasn't even Weasels. We're not sure. Maybe there was earlier in that one eight all the rest when I got possessed. So I think we're going to descend uh, at the Froggerts. Froggerts? Bogger. Bogarts. The frog. Bogarts. 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 Well, remember that there's water. 
the, oh. the, the, that weasel, the weasel, I'm sorry, the, the rubies were 25 gold pieces. Okay. So that's part of it. Okay. I assume Barbie yeah. goes back, but there's only the chance he did. No, no, no. Sorry, party loot. Uh, so we're going to descend into Please the Bogger pit. Go back to that room and see if we think we can get down that way. Yeah, um, you want to go through the Bogger pit? We're too yeah. afraid of the stairs. We I mean, there's a like Pokemon, Pokemon there. Krabby Cra supports being afraid of stairs, so it's okay. I, it was a Squirtle, I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, it was. Uh, it was that's one of the Earth ones, because it turned it's you to stone. It's going to be one of, the, uh, one of the rocks. It's not an onyx. It's not <laughs> <coughs> All right, so you guys go back to the <laughs> like room with the big hole in the end of it, <laughs> and you're staring at this hole now. Well, yeah. there's still most of the port clues here. Is there any, any moving noise? Can we see anything down the hole? So you guys, somebody's going up next to the hole? We're, we're going to listen. We'll send Marv. Yeah, Okay. You send Marv up into the room with the collapsed well, floor. The floor right? collapsed. The floor so, is collapsing. So I, I figured, does he have to get on the collapsing part? I don't know how much fell in when it fell. I mean, the part that is destabilizing and collapsing is the part around the pit. It's sinking around. Down right, right. The pit. right. When the frog but ran But the frog away. made it collapse. Yeah. So I wasn't sure how much of the floor collapsed. I guess yeah, probably like about. a 10 foot area of it collapsed downward. So there's still more unstable floor, I guess. That's, that's correct. The key. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> but you have the, somebody has the, the thing to make them fall. Maybe we never gave it to anyone. Uh, I have it. There you go. We know who should check. Probably. All right. Yes, we also have a, la a ladder. Probably not long enough. We have the ladder feather to open. Oh, no, no, no. Let's find out. <laughs> I saw my grappling. And the tree feather token. So we can make a tree and a ladder. Sadly, we don't have any anchor ladder. It's a 20 foot long ladder, so if we can get some idea of how far down. The first question can we knock the rest of the floor down to make get all the unstable floor knocked away so we can go down there? Yeah. Uh, Luke, uh, I think Grimshaw is going to creep into the room, tie a rope around his waist, tie the other side of the rope to the, the bars, and then get to where he remembered the floor became a little unstable. Yep. And I'm going to knock it loose <coughs> um, with my battle axe. Okay. Hopefully not the part you're standing on. That, that would be the goal. Well, the, the rope will <coughs> catch me. It'll hurt a lot, but I'm sure. How long of the rope did you leave? Average length of rope is 50 feet. Yeah. I know. How much of it is between you and the port clues? Oh, no. I mean, it gets me to the edge of the... There's probably about 20 feet between him and the port clues of rope. Uh, there, there's probably there's extra spare rope unless you tie it off. Yeah. But there's... Yeah, yeah I do tie it off to okay. the port clues itself. Okay. So you got the rope that's taunt between you and the port clues yeah, as you're standing there. And, and then okay. I'm taking my axe down and trying to okay. cause it, force it to collapse. All right, you begin beating on this stone there. And it doesn't take but like a couple strikes before large sections of the floor begin falling away right in front of you and off to the side. <laughs> and it falls down and this entire area now, this hole, is opened up into a massive pit that leads down into this opened up chamber with water down at the bottom. Now, there, you can see as you're looking down now, uh, there is some land in this chamber along with water. <coughs> and some of the stone that you're knocking loose lands in that water with large plunks. Others of it lands on the land area. Um, and you don't see anything down in there, especially. Uh, no creatures, no real Ooh. objects or anything on the land itself. And after you make your big racket and things splunk down in there, the, the noise of that dies down and you don't hear anything else down there. How far down is it? Oh, yeah, how far down? How far down is that? <clears throat> uh, it looks to be probably about 40 feet or so down to the water. Hmm. Not also true. Well, uh, I thought we'd finally get to use the ladder after all this time of carrying this ladder. Uh, you to use it. What ladder is this? You gave us a feather token a feather ladder a long ladder. time ago. Yeah. How long is that? 20, 20 feet. feet. Uh, Piece of crap. It's a 60 foot <laughs> tree. 
sexy wood tree. So we could drop the tree down there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, very cramped. and then we could climb down, climb down the tree. tree. Doesn't it grow instantly? Why don't we clo yes, climb a rope? it turns into a tree. Why don't we climb a rope instead of climbing a tree? All right. Uh, tie two ropes together it's and then to get out. Uh, repel seal, seal, seal Team 6 style down the hole. You repel down the hole? <clears throat> okay. And everybody else, where are you guys as he's repelling down this hole? I assume we're standing near the edge where it's stable. Yeah, watch. Watching okay. going. Just on the safe side of the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Far away. <laughs> All right, so you repel down. Down to the land at the bottom, Just and you land there. Yep. Uh, actually, I, I, have it, I have it tied around my waist, and I'm currently suspended about a foot off the ground. Like Tom Cruise? Right. <laughs> you're, you're over the water yeah. section at this point, and you're suspended a Catch. little bit over the surface of the water. Catch the strap of water sweat. I swing over to the land, maybe? Uh, hold on a second. I got it. Go away, Grim. I got it. And then the fish comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing! Pull, yeah, pull, pull fish in, pull fish in, dinner! <laughs> Grim, hold on tight to you, you Yeah. Can you imitate a hook like. <laughs> right. Drive accident, bend like over. <laughs> Grab the gills. Yeah. Hang on tight, we gotcha. I don't have the strength to pull back in. He's got 18 strength. Yeah, He's okay. got 16. We got more than enough strength to pull okay, fish in. <laughs> As you get down <laughs> there, you, you do now see that there's some rope and grappling hooks piled up on the ground on the dry land, right? And you can make out a bunch of webbed footprints all over that dry ground because it's very moist down here, right? And we are going to need a backside. Level, level, level two! Level two! Level two! We won D&D! &D. Oh wait, Pathfinder! Pathfinder. We won Pathfinder! We, we made it to level two! Huh. We only need, you know, almost 800 experience to get to the next level. Whenever, whenever I get home at night, my wife asks me if I won. Mm -hmm. Was there any, was there any XP for the swarm, or is it another trivial? Yeah, it was trivial. That's Luke's secret. He's gonna keep throwing trivials at us. Yeah, he'll, he'll wear, so we he'll never wear us down. No, we are finally there like, okay, we're out of everything <laughs> now. It's an extreme <laughs> battle of attrition between the players and the DM. You've used up all your use, re, uh, all of your expendable resources. You're all low on hit points from trivial encounters for no XP, and now the extreme comes. <clears throat> and now we run. All right. Because so, I'm really gonna run away myself. Well, we Grim, so, you can handle it. Uh, uh, I hate to tell you this, but you're I'm dangling, stronger than you, faster than you. And you're dangling down right dangling here, and right? And thing. you can see tunnel going off this way, tunnel going off that way, tunnel going off this way, and a tunnel going off that way. And you're dangling down there, foot over the water, and you can see creatures down these tunnels. You see... Can I say a look of pinata and Hmm. Jeez. <laughs> you would know. There know. are so two of them here. I don't. This is and two down this tunnel. And then three down this tunnel. And they all look like those same amphibious creatures that he toasted and burned up. You saw at least one of them running away. Don't think it went well for us. You can see their heads peeking up from the water, staring at you. Ho, ho Frog Lord, for I'm an emissary of Balinor. And can I swing to the to the the land? The land. <laughs> you swing over to the land, <laughs> sure. They're not going for the base, <laughs> right? Pull them up and down a little bit. Go yeah. jiggle it. Yeah. Jiggle the line a little. See what we can. Yeah. <laughs> jiggle it, jiggle it. I got the fireball ready. Hey, fish, fish. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> One of the creatures holding a staff <coughs> looks at you and says, um, in common, Who are you? <coughs> you. If you haven't seen the shininess of my armor, behold the flappingness of my cloak. Behold. I Stuff. am a champion 
the hero of the realm. He's dangling from a rope <laughs> over a thing, trying to look intimidating, <laughs> look impressive. I think he landed. Welcome, great hero, to our realm. Thank you. Yes, now tell me, what brings you here? Ah. Oh, here's the part where things go bad. <laughs> Grimms are talking. Yep, this is where everything We falls seek apart. to do good. There it is. Kind of like when I asked uh, Ellar for pers her persuasion test. And of course, by good, what we mean is slaughter the undead. Because they are an evil and vile uh, presence, a thing against nature. There will be hope. Ah, you slaughter the walking dead. Yes. Excellent. They are a plate upon our world. You do good. Indeed. Tell me. Do you wish to do more good? Well, of course. <laughs> you see, there is a great evil that lives they encroach upon our lands, trying to kill us, steal our eggs. If you would do good, you would stab them in the eye, blind them once and for all. I have been known to stab things in the eye, yes. Yes. This evil creature is a priest of a dark lord. You must blind him and make him suffer. Oh, uh, easy enough. Just kind of point me in the right direction. <coughs> Excellent, yes. Yes. Uh, just uh, attach yourself and we will show you where the realm of this creature is. Uh, bear in mind, though, it doesn't live alone. There are more of them. Little tiny shadowy creatures that serve him and worship their foul god, this Dark Lord. Does the Dark Lord have a name? I'm sure he does, but I don't know it. Call me Iotim. <laughs> I think I will need to summon my allies from on high. Ah, you are not alone, champion. <laughs> Jiggle the rope. <laughs> and did I mention I'm tasty with butter? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing? <laughs> what? Butter. <laughs> butter? <laughs> Who speaks? No, they apparently for. Got the butter when they <laughs> let me down here. I'm not sure why. <laughs> we care not for butter, but we would love to see this high priest of the Dark Lord brought low. Mm. <coughs> well, we can do that. Excellent. Then you should be, if you accomplish this, Sorry. you shall be friends and champions of the Wet Skin tribe. Ah, yes. Crispy skin. The crispy skin girl. The crispy skin girl. And I might want to keep that a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't seem to know. <laughs> nope. Just us up, up there <laughs> chuckling. <laughs> 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 it's like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Crispy. Uh, <laughs> frog leg. Come on, frog legs. great heroes of the realm. Mm -hmm. Come, come down. All right, well. Any time now. Your prayers <laughs> don't seem to be answered, champion. Why? They're Why building up their power and their strength all through all meditation mm -hmm. in preparation for the battle with the dark being. Right, light, right. pain, yeah. poof. How are we planning to get down there? I assume. Uh, well, the rope, I assume well, yeah, but the rope's not tied off to anything, right? No, it's, it's tied off to the... Oh, it is tied off to the... It's tied off to the particle. The All right. Uh, yeah, I'll go down. Okay, but we're going down first. <laughs> so I'll grab Krab. Krabby's gonna grab onto me and I'll climb down. <laughs> okay, so he's on you and you yeah. go down. Or you can slide down. Oh, more champions arrive. Excellent. Did Grim get off the rope yet? I was on the land. Holding it in place. <laughs> All right, so is everybody sliding on down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. you guys have all assembled. Uh, the water is probably up to your waist or so. So oh, it's, it's weight of all. Uh, you're not you, right. you're swimming. Yeah. 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 Ye
So the are <laughs> <laughs> climbing on somebody. Um, so you're assembled down there, and there's several of these creatures now have, you know, walked in on your position. They're all at ease. I mean, they 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 have weapons and stuff, right? Yeah. Clubs and javelins and shields and the sort. Um, but they're not at all appearing hostile or anything. Right. And this one creature that appears to be the leader with the staff um, tells you, Excellent! All of the heroes have descended from on high. Tell me, heroes, one of our fellows, we, we sent an exploratory squad up through that hole not long ago when there was a disturbance. And it's re the, the survivor of this squad reported that great flames enveloped them all. Mm. And then he fell down and, well, he didn't That's make strange. it. He succumbed to his wounds. He was weak, very weak. But you don't happen to know what might have caused these flames. It is a, perhaps, a servant of this dark lord. I think you might be right. Anyway, you don't know what did this. No, other other than a servant of the Dark Lord, which maybe if we, you, I saw her something about priests, maybe if we deal with that, yes. that'll get rid of the problem. Yes. Yes, and, and there was this evil weasel. Wait, 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 Oh, yeah, there was an evil weasel. All right, let's go. A very evil weasel. Weasels do not concern us. We are most interested in blinding the one eye of this high priest. Nice. Alright. Alright. That doesn't sound. So you guys gather together in the 20 foot Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. First, the group picture. <laughs> 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 Alright. Oh Don't God. worry, there's going to be a little flash. Flash. <laughs> 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 all of the flash. All of the flash. Step back. So, uh, so would, would it be a tunnel? I put ah, a random yes. tunnel. Yes. So they're they're gonna lead you to the entrance to where these uh, horrible fiendish creatures that follow this dark lord live. Right? They're gonna escort you along. I mean, you're going with them, I presume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's perfectly normal frog people. <clears throat> uh, you guys have already identified them, and you know they're evil. Yep. yep. I know. And they are, they are we're pretty sure they have a proclivity to worship things and yeah. fanatically and all that kind yeah, of stuff. We're pretty sure we know that they're okay. probably taking us to something they that we don't want us, to kill. But then we need to figure that out. It'd be nice to know what their enemy is. Hmm. It could be an enemy of my enemy thing. Could be. Could be. Could be they worship giant balls of fire now. Mm -hmm. Could. Could be. It would also be nice to you could be adopt a, them in their own environment. Like environment and, you know, learn more about the environment first. It did come from the wall. A stone wall that spits fireballs. Right. I mean, that's their next god. <laughs> oh, war. Mm. Wally. Uh, Wally. Wow. 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 flame and death. As long not as visit not your pain upon us. It's only second to the picnic table of flaming death. That's stupid. That's Johnny Table. That was so great. Ah, the table out of table. What table? So they lead you up through this corridor here and this way. And there are tunnels that stretch this way, but you really can't see just down them as they're leading you away. And you get up to here, and this is solid land right here. And there are two big doors here. Um, and in this serene, watery cavern <coughs> that you find yourself, the ceiling is a canvas of bioluminescent mass casting a tranquil azure glow over the chamber's surfaces. The dark, gentle waters lap against the patch of dry land to the east, which offers refuge in this luminous, submerged world. The interplay of light and shadow, water and earth, creates a serene, mesmerizing environment that surely lacks both danger and hazard. Surely. 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 Don't call me surely. Classic. Uh, we got uh, doors. I think tunnels? You said there were two doors. Yeah. Hey, Nondescript the, doors. The barber things are all gathered together. Uh, they're kind of surrounding you a little bit. They're not oh. clumped together. 
Are they going to go through the door quick? No, they're not. They're, well, they're, they're, asking, around they're asking you to do that. they got to go clump together behind us. <laughs> Alright, somebody wanna <laughs> check the door so Yeah, I'll go over and investigate the door for traps. Okay. Hey door, man. Uh you do not see any traps on the door. Are they like large stone doors? They're they're wooden doors. Okay. Two large wooden doors <coughs> standing side next to each other. Uh, of similar construction from what we've seen prior in this dungeon, or um, no, these levels down here appear to be in. I mean, these two doors, I should say, because so far it's been natural caverns. But these two doors appear to be in very good repair. Okay. Um, perhaps not new, but certainly not the age of the dungeons above. Oh, interesting. Okay. So let's open. Them. Give us some help. So Grimjaw, you go to open those doors, and uh, they do not budge. Mm. They were very, very stiff. <laughs> some help. The heroes have been thwarted. Sorry, uh, Bo Bogarts. We, uh, we apparently have come up with a hitch. <laughs> Are they locked or just stuck? That's a good question. Yeah, they're oh, yeah. locked. Mm. So you do not see any keyholes on them. And as you're trying them, this leader of the Bogarts says from behind, Oh no! They're barred. The creatures guard their area well. You'll have to find a way to batter them down, I suppose. But we shall leave you to your work. Remember, find the great one-eyed dark priest of the Dark Lord. High Priest of the Dark Lord, mm. blind him, bring him low, make him suffer for all the evils and atrocities he has committed against our people, mm -hmm. the Wetskin tribe, mm -hmm. and then you shall be our champions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you're saying is we're gathering together now to leave. And they begin slinking off through the water, slipping down below the water and swimming away. <laughs> It does, it does make, they, they do do that, to be fair. <laughs> I don't um, always think it's funny. It's true. Um, Did we knock? Should I pick the lock with my battle locks? No, it's, it's no it's lock. It's not a lock. Yeah. No, I know. Oh, it's oh, yeah. Well, I don't know, I don't know if that's... So, um... Wow. I was going to say, why don't we start by knocking? Seriously. He says they're bar barricaded in there. The, what are the chances that these evil priests are probably good people? No. Ah, 50-50. Knock on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Uh... So, the fact that I get HP I'm sure. name's Grimjaw. Uh, I'm a not a frog person. Uh, the frog people have left. Can I come in? Stand by. Just want to borrow some cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. say you, might wanna, sugar? Salt? you might want to leave that to the charismatic person to ask that question. Mm -hmm. I yeah. am the charismatic. Grimjaw person. is actually charismatic. Right, but you're not, you don't have the diplomacy. I do, actually. He's good at diplomacy. His actually might be better than mine. Amusingly, he's just actually 11. supposed to be good at talking. Oh, we're the same. Yeah. I'm not an expert or anything. I'm more of scary than I am. Yeah. Intimidation, I believe. I'm an expert. Yeah, he's but I didn't intimidation. Sleep at a Holiday and Express on, last night. Uh, deception and diplomacy. Gotcha. You don't want me talking to people. Um, My deception is atrocious. Dolphin athletics. I'm actually fairly good at deception, but not er, ergo, ergo, my comments about the evil weasel. We're all trying to cover different bases. So. so you knock on the door. I will be bumping. All right. Yep. Yeah. Point, and uh, it's a little And after a pause, <clears throat> you guys hear a voice that calls back in Delkir, which a couple of you understand. Oh, well, I'm not helpful. Um, and Grimjaw is not one of them. Nope. Nope. Robby and Simu. It says, Who is it? It's uh, Grimjaw, the uh, adventurer. You don't understand what they oh. said. Right. Who is it? Who is it? Well, well, we can assume you guys are translating that. We That's true. Okay. Have a conversation. Grimjaw, the great adventurer. I uh, assume that you are uh, drow? We are not stinky frogs. As you can tell from my baritone voice, I am a mighty warrior, a champion of Balinor. And 
If you are a drow, as I suspect, rescuer of many of your kind. Are the frogs dead? N no, but they're gone. Some of them dead. Kill them. Why? We'll open the door if you kill them. Grabbing killed them. I mean, they'll just make more. <laughs> It's like in the mud. <laughs> you don't like mud. I mean, it kind of doesn't go with the white cape. I thought yeah, she sure. has the skills, but. A champion. Uh, indeed, uh, I just. Uh, how about. How about you just let us in and then we'll discuss further tactical action on mm -hmm. what needs to happen on this level? Collaborate. And. Uh, you have my word as a champion of Balinor diplomacy. <laughs> I was just about to ask you for diplomacy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> All right, excellent. As the ballista opens up and it's <laughs> <laughs> raining down, it's on us. Uh, 26. A 26? I look back at the monk yes. and realize the horror that I've just been wading through. Uh, disintegrated human be beings. Oh god. And then you hear a... <laughs> and then the two doors begin to turn open. said whatever we wanted, he'd never know. He has done that <laughs> <True>. before. <laughs> oh, you could just translate <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Well, Ralph probably did that a couple of times. Because he wanted to try to kill them because they were scary. They weren't being terribly reasonable, bro. Alright. Doors open. <clears throat> <And> <clears throat> This large chamber has low wooden walls on the western side right here where I draw the little squiggly lines. And the walls are set with spikes oriented toward the pair of double doors that, you're, that just opened before you. And on that side of double doors, you can see two gaunt, skinny creatures with pale flesh and white eyes. And they have just lifted away a thick beam it was probably barring the doors from this side, right? And these creatures look roughly like this. Um, they are small creatures. They're probably about four feet tall. They're pretty skinny, um, pale skin, gaunt, right? Interesting. And what you also see are <laughs> they have a couple pet pets on leashes. Boy! It, it, it puts the wolf I, I think I know who they are already. Probably. Fetchlings? Well, they said a particular phrase to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was that? They said we will turn you to stone. Oh. Well, sure. Okay. I don't know what they are. That's what they said. But I don't know. They said if there's any treachery, so we'll turn you to stone. So, you guys see they have two pets on leashes. They are a cross between what appears to be a chicken and a lizard. That would be the best. Oh. Or cockatrice. Cockatrice, sorry. Cockatrice. Which can do these. But we don't really know what these are. Oh god. We're called out. Could I yeah, could I do a knowledge? I don't know that in, no, in character I do not. I'm not pressing yeah. to know that. But Probably uh, so nature, have we seen those so before? Not cockatrice. Really what's your what's your nature modifier? So, plus a lot of nature. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I say, if it's a canine, I have a shot of his nature. I don't know, sure how normal they were. You have heard of these creatures. Mm -hmm. They are something called cockatrices. Okay. And they are known to turn you to stone. Now, this their their form of calcification is less potent than others. Um, there's <coughs> still a risk of permanent <coughs> petrification, but sometimes people can break out of it. Okay. Are they beasts? I'm just really curious. They are beasts. <laughs> I just can't help it. It's like, oh, now you don't have any. When you don't have any. Oh, is that you swapped out? <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> Up until then, it was everything but beasts. Now yeah. it's all beasts. It's beasts. So, yeah. all told in this room, yeah. you guys see um, there are three. There are three of these creatures, yeah. and then two of the cockatrices. Okay. Does somebody want to make a society check to identify see what those the things are? The humanoids? Uh, sure that, no, that's more. Well, yeah. Who's got? I mean, I have plus six. But that's I mean, I can do that as well. What is your society? Uh, my society is a plus eight. It's probably better than mine for sure. Huh? All right. I think I have the second highest. Assessment. You identify these creatures as a subterranean race known as Caligni, and I shall tell you a bit about them. Stand by. Okay. Society. I only. I've got at least a two in every. Yeah, so is mine. Athletics is my only. Also zero. Now, what were your four? <laughs> but I have a four yet, so I have a six society. I'm not a human, so I can't take the cool version of it. Right, right, right. I can still take the cool team. So they are they're subterranean creatures. They live in subterranean cities. Um, they do come up to the surface to steal, stalk, and make mischief. Um, they're not evil creatures, but they're not lawful either. They kind of do what they want, when they want, sort of thing. Um, now, they, you do know that they are descendants of humans who millennia ago fled down underground, presumably to escape some sort of cataclysm. Um, but that's kind of the extent of what you know about them. Um, they have certain abilities and properties, probably, that they've... Uh, Come into from their underground home here, um, but you don't know too much more about them. Okay. So we kill frogs, or we kill weird ex-humans. The frogs are. Right no, now, I'm leaning to killing frogs. Right so, <laughs> so as you guys are standing there with these creatures nearby, yeah. uh, one of them says, ah, "It's true, you're not stinky frog men." Now, why have you come? Well, we are looking for an ancient coin. Ancient coin? Yes, it's a glowy coin. I don't know, somebody probably knows more about the glowy coin. Ancient artifact that glows. Glows like the sun or something. Someday we'll get that. Burned with the light of day. It's a coin with markings of power upon it. Mm -hmm. uh, don't know if I don't think I've heard enough of that. Uh, perhaps. Oh, Isn't there also a rumor to cauldron down here too? That's not down here. That's not down here. I mean, it could be. Yeah, that's true. We don't know it's not here, but. We have no indication it is. It right. doesn't mean it's not. It's possible that the third eye would know. The third eye. One eye, two eye, three. That means that be you. Mm -hmm. One eye. No. The third eye. The high priest. Oh, good. Of. Stand by. Mm -hmm. That's your third eye. That's my second worst yeah. No plus three. That's diplomacy, intimidation, medicine, nature, performance, religion, and survival. All plus three. The only thing worse, athletics. Plus two. I have a bunch of plus zeros. That's okay, here we go. Find your The high priest of the shadow. And as soon as they say that, you immediately know That's that the, the shadow is one of the dark six. So this high priest 
is presumably a, ha a, sh uh, a high priest of the shadow. This is the dark lord that the Bagars were referring to. Okay. So, not a good. There's, not, there's no means. good people on any side right now. Is that the one of greed? Um. So. The dark lord of greed or something. Oh, actually. Give I me a religion check, please. What? Let me roll up. What's your religion modifier? Uh, plus nine. Plus nine. All right. So the the shadow of the dark six, he is the sovereign of magic and mayhem. The shadow is the literal shadow of Arian, who is one of the um, sovereign host, that attained sentience and godhood as a price paid by Arian for arcane knowledge. Uh, the shadow is a god of corruption, ambition, and dark magic. The shadow is the patron of evil spellcasters and many monstrous races throughout Droam and beyond. The shadow is the maker of monsters and the keep keeper of forbidden legends. Legend says that if the Shadow and Aryan were reunited, the age of civilized peoples would come to an end. Mm, that might be funny. Mm. And then, it, common knowledge that all of you guys would know about the Dark Six is that they are the pantheon of six gods cast out of the Sovereign Host. They are called the Devourer, the Keeper, the Fury, the Mockery, the Shadow, and the Traveler. While the Sovereign Host represent positive aspects of life, the Dark Six represent aspects that people shun and fear. The Dark Six represent evil, destruction, and other insidious forces of civilization and nature, with the possible exception of the Traveler. There's a sovereign host. The no, we all know chaotic neutral is. So. <laughs> <laughs> One step away. That's, do what you want. One yeah. step away. One step away. So, yes, we would like to meet your... High priest. Tess? High priest. Priest. Yes. Priest Tickles. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> <laughs> yes, we will uh, meet with your priest, with the priest Tickles. <laughs> High priest. High priest. Ooh, yes. Priest Tickle. Very well then. All of you. That seems rather unnecessary. Perhaps just two of you could meet with the High Priest. What's the problem with all of us going? Security. We don't know you. We don't trust you. How do we know that you're not assassins? And how do we know we, you're we not going to take two of ours and assassinate, yeah, we can assassinate them? We say the same thing about you, you guys, too. No offense. Of course not. Just we don't know you either. It's all and just friendly politics, right? It's friendly. Well, I have no problem. No, no, no. Very well, then. Wait here. And the one that's talking leaves, and the two that remain are the ones that got the two cock traces leashed to him, leashed to him, and the one, one takes off, and he comes back a few moments later, and he has four more of these calligny with him, and so now there's a total of seven of them, and he says, now we shall accompany, we shall take all of you before yeah. the third eye. Excellent. All the merry. Very good. Do you really want to make the frog happy? First, these kids. So they're beginning to escort you deeper into their compound. Are you okay. going with them? Okay. I mean, yeah. As long as I can stay kind of within our group and not too near to right. it. I think so. Even though those copper traces look really cool, I'm not one of the people. Are they, are they leading the way? Um, <laughs> some are behind you, some are in front of you. Well, see, now you let them spread out. I gotta do burning hands, burning hands. This is right. I would avoid notice, but I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, yeah I'm assuming I can't do like well, I mean, yeah. that's technically what I have off, but I'm, I'm pretty safely right. thinking avoid yeah. notice isn't happening. I want to do burning hands, burning hands, but you I want to do fireball, but now they have them all spread out. Oh. I just repeat I shield. Really? I'm going to shield, shield, shield. That's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Except it might be seen as slightly hostile. All right. So they usher you into this room here, and <clears throat> that is this is a kitchen equipped with several rough-hewn stone counters that serve as preparation areas. Central to this space is a large open fire pit where an assortment of pots and cauldrons simmer, suspended over the flames by iron chains. 
The fire pit provides both heat for cooking and a dim, flickering light that casts long shadows on the walls. This mess hall features several long, low tables made from hardened mushroom stalks surrounded by benches. Two banners hang along the walls. One depicts a gaunt humanoid race massacring humanoid amphibians. The other banner shows the gaunt humanoid race bowing in reverence to a shadowy figure. And you see um, right here, standing in front of that southern door, a very large figure. Stand by. Big um, this creature looms perhaps some 10 to 12 feet high, massive arms and girth, a single, single eye, eye in its forehead. Oh. And yep. at its feet, um, lounging nearby, are four more of these cockatrices. They seem to be gathered around it nearby, and it's currently bent over petting one of them, cooing and and then as you guys approach, it looks up at you, its eye straightens, squares itself away, and it says in Delkir, Ah, oh, welcome! Welcome to the domain of the shadow! Why have you come? I, I, I look back at you guys. Um, Translating? Uh, I... Quietly translating. Ah, ah, uh, I am Grimjaw. We are in seek of, um... Noble class. Uh, we are in seek of a... a shrubbery. ...device of, um, potential arcane values. Coin. Uh, it is a coin, uh, etched with the symbols of power. Light of day. And Cyclops continues to bellow on conversation, and we're going to leave it there for today. Yep. We'll pick this up. Um, good. As you guys talk with this guy and decide what you're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> what we're going to do from here. Just to confirm what I believe yeah, is true, the House of Nine yeah. is the Sovereign Host, right? You're right. The House of Nine serves the Sovereign Host. It's yeah, the because same. Because there are nine deities in the Sovereign Host. Can you yeah. M.A. my yeah. picture, please? How much experience is it? I don't know. How much are we at? I am, in fact, still green. That's what I need to write down. Didn't get a whole lot. No, we ran into all the loot in your encounters this time. But you got a lot of loot. We did get a lot of loot. That is true. We got a lot of good, true encounters. We got a nice little six loot. Did you catch the quartz? I did catch a quartz, yes. I assumed it went out of the party. But yeah, we should be at 270 by now. My calculation. So I'm. Well, I have a bunch of sheets in here, but it's going to have to be on it. So I've got to put them all in one. That's what I'm sure that you guys now have what? Seven of these dark creatures, the Kaligni. Six. Of the cockatrices and a cyclops. Yeah, and, and, a cyclops. and what you're calling the cyclops. Yes. I mean, cyclops is and a cyclops. as good a term as any. It has one eye, so a giant one eyed creature. Right. I mean, we don't know what it is. So we don't know what it is, but cyclops is a good term as any. It's, it's, good. it's a descriptive term. It's a descriptive it's a term, term, exactly. That's why I don't feel bad about using it. Sorry, we're not using a monster name. Even if that is its monster name, it's just a descriptive term. Oh, That's knights who say ni. 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 Why is our oh, figures? What a shrubbery! This is crazy to me. This is the C section, and purple worm is in here somehow. Okay. Why would purple worm be in here? That's we kind of hit that on you. The I will C section, so you couldn't use it. So you could never use it. Yeah, not right. <laughs> Is it a worm never, technically a cephalopod? But I would never look in the seas Ever, for a yeah. purple worm. Nope. And I wouldn't look at a crimson worm and an azure worm. Those Why? crimson I can at least Start somewhat the sea. understand. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna figure that out. Because they're all cave worms. Oh, are they? They're all cave worms. Oh. Is, is that why? Is it literally? That's why. So they're all under the I'll leave them there cave then. Worm. Cave worms. 
purple crimson and interesting. Purple azure and crimson are all cave. Well someday I'm gonna look for a purple worm and I'm not gonna find it. We're yeah. gonna have to remember this. You have to remember it's cave worm. Yeah. So well what is nice is that they've got a pretty good index in the very front, at least of my bestiary. That has oh, a list by their oh, name. I mean, I'll find it in the bestiary. Yeah, but, but you got the card. I want the card. Well. I paid a lot of money for these cards. Card will be cheap. Yeah, they're not cheap. Too many. Oh. Well, I need to. I, I looked at three of them. That I looked at the, the prices on. They have different things on them. It was like a couple hundred bucks. I'll do it next time, and I'll take building one. You're at Gen Con, the beginning of August. You are. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that that falls on our next game session. Let me double check. March 25th. Yeah, that's okay. I might be, uh, I might be gone anyway. So, yeah, Sunday the 24th, not going to okay. be here. That's so we will, I was going to have to maybe miss anyway. Yeah, we will sure. skip that session, and we will play again in... What it would be April sixth looks like. So we'll we'll skip the skiing session. All right. Well, I won't have to rush to get here then because me and my wife will just be coming back from a uh, couple's weekend. Uh, that is today. Done. Just in case something happens. Sheet updated. Oh, I didn't have any points or items or anything updated. Inventory. Parties. You guys got a lot of exploration in here. I, yep. I did. Made it to level Lots two. Lots of encounters. You got to the next the level two. Yeah. I'm always happy this when you get at least two encounters. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> we got a ton of encounters. We did. But they were, you know, they were trivial. But still, they were. They were. I mean, it's still a lot of fun to kick in a sandcastle. And yeah, next it, it, it feels good not to die this time, or not right? to be close to dying. It, it feels good. Or watch <laughs> all of your teammates on the edge. Yeah. I don't know. Of death. I don't know. I like it when it gets uh, scary. It is. It is fun because then you have to really yeah. think. Yeah. To try hard. Uh huh. Think Like like the, the spider pop out. All right, Luke. We'll see you in a month. Yeah. 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 See you then, man. And then they wait to fight you. Yeah. I shouldn't. Tentatively, I shouldn't be missing any uh, um, sessions anytime soon. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. Nice, but. Just throw this pizza away.